Hello, everybody, and welcome to day three of the North American Finals Regionals Co-Stream. My name is Frodan. I am sitting firmly in the middle between uh, three lovely gentlemen. I'm the luckiest man alive. Uh, <laughs> Eniko is here to my right. Broccoli oh. to my left. Uh, Bryce over. Uh, can, we t can we turn on the music so that, like, a, like a smidge? Oh, I love rocking out to the Pentacle music. Easily A2. I actually haven't done my uh, my music tier oh, list you gotta quite do that. yet. That's, that's a YouTube video uh, waiting to happen. It's disco and S tier. It's uh, a couple of others. I'll have to think about You're it. You're a country a enjoyer. I mean, country's all right. It kind of fell down the tier. How about as, jazz? As, uh, jazz is a fan favorite usually. Jazz, jazz is good, but it's not repeatable. You can't, like, loop it. Uh, True. And I, I actually have looped a lot of it. Um, welcome, everyone. This is day three. It's the finals. It's the top eight. We're going to send four players to Worlds, and we're one of the last regions to do so. EMA just sent... Uh, a lot of players. Congratulations to Salvi. Well done. First time. Dude, Thanks that's to the World so Championship hype. To Salvi. First time. Oh, I'm, so, I'm so, so happy for Salvi. Very so happy, happy for, for Salvi. Salvi's the GOAT. And also, Volta, congratulations. Another back back. World Championship appearance is yep. fourth total. That puts him up there with Ging and uh, some other greats. So we got a lot of good stuff uh, cooking. But you know what? It's cool uh, because all those people are playing for what? Like fifth place? Because yep. we're going to go one, two, three, four at Worlds? Yeah, yeah, someone someone responded to my tweet about predicting like, does, wait, NA has four slots, and I was like, shouldn't we have like ten slots at this point? <laughs> but we, but then but then we don't want to necessarily uh, have the ability to target grief people that uh, we don't want to go oh, through. Oh god! So, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna have a long. I'm gonna have like a. I'm gonna have like a long. Wow. Just just spoiler alert. Oh, next man. next time I'm on the pod, it's gonna be like a long oh, a long rant yeah, about yeah, that. Yeah, so let's yeah. make time for it. All right. <laughs> cool. All right. So uh, day number one and two are in the books. Let's go ahead and just start recapping a little bit about how we got here. So the first thing is uh, we have like a like a fancy spancy recap package, not really uh, for you guys. Uh, Dinam two was kind of a bloodbath. We lost a lot of big yeah. names. Setsuko fell off. Uh, we had uh, Soju. We had a lot of expectations for him, well, and Wayne then is dead. yeah, Wayne is dead. Robin songs as well. Uh, seven. I mean, let's start off here. We have, uh, but we did have some other people who did do very well. Uh, Malala ended up clutching a lot of performances. He did very well on our co-stream. A lot of the games that we saw versus Malala, he ended up doing very, very well. He did. Malala's a beast. He he has been uh, he has been amazing from start to finish of the set. If he can put on a solid performance today and qualify for Worlds and then have a good performance at Worlds, it's probably this the individually greatest set that we've ever seen any player, any region in the history of the game. Yeah, that's right. He has the crazy opportunity to go two tournament wins, a top three at an international, very difficult competition, MSI, and then going to the World Championship again. This is him securing the narrow victory versus Kiyun and getting that dub. Kiyun, by the way, also having a, a fantastic day yesterday, able to qualify. Uh, here's another game played by Malala going up against uh, Force and Smurf account. We're just calling him Force in these days. Yeah, Force him. And Force and another really interesting player because he's not really re-rolling, you guys. He's not re-rolling. I mean, he, he came into this tournament, whatever the opposite of chock full of confidence is. There was no confidence in this man. He thought he was going dead last. He did not feel prepared for the patch at all, the tournament at all. He actually it was the worst form he'd ever been in in a TFT tournament. And in the highest stakes TFT tournament he's ever played in, in his worst form, he somehow finds himself on day number three yeah let's bring up his card uh, we made it this morning uh to <laughs> to talk about force and although he goes by the username weird i think a lot of people uh don't really know what to call him these days we call him force just to as a shorthand but his username is weird he is the one trick pony Bryce, you gave him an F. Right, an F at this point? What the <laughs> no, fuck? not at this no, no, point. No, 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 this is the a pre-tournament. This is a scouting report. <laughs> <Go on. laughs> uh, I mean, I stand by that. I, I don't feel bad about it. He, he didn't know how to play AD Flex co confidently. He, the main line that he knew how to play was Yone, which is literally not in the meta at all right now. He told me he was going to be terrible. He told me he was going to finish dead last. There was no reason to believe that he would be here, and yet he is as part of what makes TFT special. You forgot to uh, account for the, the X factor. Uh, the X Factor? What's the X Factor? The fact that he's the best raw dogger on the server. Oh, true. Oh, yeah. He's one of the true. few people who can uh, still actually true open fort and still get away with it. It feels like he yesterday he took like a like a like a sell everything hard commit riven line almost like we were back like three patches ago to the open fort meta and he was able to succeed and i feel very few people are still willing to do that and able to pull it off he's not even really trying to do that i mean it was it was such a cool final game to witness from him because it was this rare example of a player being like you know what i'm in the most tournament tournament important term i've ever played in i have one game left to qualify for the final day i'm just going to play the line that i am most confident and comfortable in even if it's not optimal way to play it on the patch and he just made it work 
Uh, here's a fun clip that we have of Kiyun, our next player that we want to talk about. Kiyun, uh, we joke about uh, whether or not Kiyun is just high rolling, but he also needs to have presence of mind. This is him selling yeah. his Seraphine, not equipping units onto uh, his board. His ghost goes up against Malala that we show. <laughs> And as a result, Malala gets like a free win because so many items are on the bench. Yeah, in fairness to Kiyun, normally when he does something bad, it's like he can't add one and two together or he does something <laughs> equally, like he, he benches his econ trait, right, when he absolutely needs it in for like that final swinging moment. This is not that bad in the grand scheme yeah, of things. It is pretty bad. It did cost him a placement for sure. Yeah. Do we agree, Buckley, with like Kiyun being the best of the rest here? Like Kiyun being very good. He was not part of the elite of the elite. He's not like the Satsuko, Weijin, Dish Open. Now re replay tier, putting him officially in there. Spoiler alert. Uh, where do you think Kiyun sits here? Yeah, Kiyun's definitely just like right outside that tier. He's not like. Um, he doesn't have like that factor where like he'll like just go into a game and just like win like half the time. Mm -hmm. Like sometimes you find like Satsuko or Weijin when they're super informed do. But uh, he really does, like, just tr tr always display, like, a consistent performance, it seems. Yeah, he does. Which is uh, kind of surprising, considering, like, uh, I mean, how, how long it's been since he's really seriously yeah. competed. It, it's hard to put him in Tier 1 based on how long it's been since he took TFT really seriously, but Kiyun's set is probably the most impressive set on paper outside of Malala. His AVP is insane. He has a 74% top four rate in tournaments across the set, which is fucking bananas. He plays a ridiculously t first rate style, and yet he actually goes eighth place much lower than average yeah. for the overall North American field. So he's playing first rate style. He's just going first a lot more often than eighth. He's top fouring a lot more often than he's bot fouring. He's had success in literally every event so far. This is one of my favorite builds he play pulled off yesterday, which was Hologram Lulu. Lulu reroll is my favorite reroll of the set. You get the, the copy of the Lulu buffing your other Lulu with the hyper pop stuff. Uh, really cool stuff. The other thing, too, to note, Kiyun never has been to the World Championship. One of the only players remaining from that practice group to not make it to the World Championship. And also the last time that he made it to the regional finals, what, uh, this far was in set three. And so it's been a, quite a long time since Kiyun's been under this much pressure in tournament. Back when set when, in set three, when he was going like me mech, uh, infiltrator, no scout, no pivot. That was the last time we saw Kiyun get this close. For sure. No cottontail though. No cottontail to, to <laughs> grieve his regionals. Very good, very good. <laughs> All right. Uh, another cool uh, highlight that we have, by the way, is uh, one of the coolest comps that we saw yesterday. This is actually uh, not actu about Wage and Irism, but uh, we want to just show you the coolest comp of uh, the weekend, which was the Lux 3 from Wage and Irison. Being able to get a huge win over 80 Flex, other reroll compositions. Um, this is just a really cool thing to show that maybe there's even more to the meta, Iniko, than we're actually expecting at the moment. Yeah, I think uh, it it's pretty heartbreaking like definitely for Wajin himself that he didn't make it but i i would have liked to see him play a little bit more um just to see more like moments like this i mean he's playing a line that players have explored right with like lulu but teching in the slux for the backline access like we were talking about yesterday gives you a huge advantage in the fights because he was i think top two with dish soap right mm -hmm. dish soap had a really good board he was level nine with Jin, um lucian duo carry but neither of them could stand up to the Lux's burst damage along with the, the rest of uh, Weijin's backups. And so. it was it, it's dual backline threat when you really think about it yeah. because it's Lulu is is casting through. What you'll see is Lulu's going to immediately chunk this Jin in this fight, right? And the fight basically is over as soon as it begins because we Oof. know the next Lulu cast is going to come through and it's going to do... And like the damage on this backline is just going to cause it to get run over. So you're not safe in the corner. You're not safe in the middle of the map. Where are you safe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. I'm it's looking... like, it, it's, it's so much coverage. Like you're just be set on all sides. I really truly do not think there are other players in the field who would have done that like ever for yes, this spot. Yes, yes. They, they they bypass it. They say there's nothing else I could have rolled for. Uh, but he is top two with Dish Soap. Dish another player that we should talk about. Let's pull up his card here. Uh, everyone's saying it's been long overdue. He is the strongest North American player who has not made it to a world championship thus far. Is it time for the PP pee to rise up? It is fucking time. <laughs> it is so time. It has to be time, doesn't it? It has to be time. Uh, he he. So I I um, my evaluation dish up coming to the event. Obviously, put him in a. He's he's tier one in North America. I think no matter what you think his form is going to be, you have to put him in tier one. But 
I think the more I've watched this tournament, the more I feel like it actually is a dish soap meta because I think it puts such a premium on correct macro decision making, right? It's about understanding not just the execution of the reroll or the 80 flex of the lines, but picking the right line to play and when to commit to it is the most important th thing that players are doing. And dish soap does that better than anyone. I, you know, I, when I did, when the PP thing got coined, a lot of what I was talking about was his, <laughs> macro, his macro decision making, right? Yeah. And so seeing it on. <laughs> full display here this weekend he's been such a consistent performer he's the second highest avp in the event behind re replay and i and i think from a variance perspective i think replay is re playing really well but he's had better variants i don't think dish soap has had particularly high variants he played disco twice yesterday is anybody playing disco he played disco twice yesterday twice? that's kind of crazy uh R broccoli R you've Rain done played disco uh, actually uh i want both of you to speak about dish soap Iniko, you've teamed with him before in tournaments uh, and you've also talked about what it's like to 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 like pl practice with Dish Soap. Uh, what does it mean to you seeing him get this far? Yeah, I think um, I think Dish Soap is the person that I like most closely talked to when I was playing um, consistently, at least. Uh, I'm I'm really excited for him to potentially make it to Worlds. I think that both from like the player who we want to send perspective and from the storyline perspective, I, to me it's really important that Dish Soap makes it. Um, I think he deserves it, and I think he'd be a phenomenal player to represent NA. Okay, okay. The thing about Dish Soap is, like, okay, at least 75% of all, like, top NA players just watch Dish Soap stream and just yeah. steal whatever he does, <laughs> and that's, like, how, like, half the way they learn to play the game. Yeah. So it's, it would be kind of, like, unjust if he didn't make it, because then, like, all the people who are, like, stealing his tech make it, but then he doesn't make it, you know, come on. He's kind of like it's the successor to Ramblin' on some level where it's like he just makes the whole server better. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he, he's very helpful. He always, uh, he shares his tech uh, maybe a little bit too much, but we appreciate it. I mean, that's the joke, right? He uh, he actually says I, there's no more tech for uh, people to steal because the meta's figured out, but even if there was tech to steal, he probably would tell uh, a Masters player in chat if they ask him enough times about <laughs> it. He's a very helpful, thoughtful guy, and there's a reason why people said, uh, let's just copy Dish Soap's homework. And if you're out, out of the know, you're like wondering what's this PP thing, are these guys just, you know, <laughs> uh, memeing stuff? It's because Bryce, once upon a time, and his, uh, the, the, the emergence of why Bryce is called a Glazer is because he said uh, he might be the perfect player. I said when he's, I mean, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah when it's clicking, Bryce said when, when, when it's clicking he's for the perfect him, it's, player. it's about as close to perfect TFT yeah. as you're going to see, and, I think, and, is and, what and I said. Well, some players took issue with that, and so they're like, oh my god, Dish Soap's so great. He's the perfect player. He's the perfect player. He's the perfect player. You know what? Just it I, I don't even care anymore. It's been mean <laughs> to death, but it's time. I have the tweet ready. Dish Soap wins the tournament oh today. Oh my god. Fire right. it off, PP. I'm so ready to spam PP at Worlds. Uh, okay. Generational glazing. Let's right talk here. about some of the other players as well. Uh, so we have Dish Soap, who's one of the favorites. The other heavy, heavy favorite. I'm pegging his odds at 75 to 80% or above. Of, uh, maybe even higher, depending on because uh, I, I think it might be actually an ungenerous take is re replay. Uh, he comes in as the highest average placing player right now, and the reason why a lot of people are pegging him to be so is because the highest placing player who made it to the final lobby uh, ends up getting a spot at regions as well. Sorry, we're covering Inigo during this. Inigo, go first. Yeah, sorry. Um, I, I was waiting for you to be done. Uh, yeah, I, I said a lot about him yesterday. Um, I don't have a whole lot else to say. I think he's just been playing this tournament really smart. I think he's kind of solidified himself as the best person who's like, or rather most well-versed with uh, AD Flex. Um, he plays really wide as well uh, within the line, which I think uh, is much to his benefit. Um, he's He's got a good spot with the AVP. I would be a bit surprised if he didn't make it. And I do think that he is a good representative as well for NA. For sure. He's super far ahead in the points. Uh, and I think uh, basically the conversation now, if you're following North American TFT, yes, Setsuko is still there, despite Soju tweeting uh, Setsuko <laughs> dead last every single time. Uh, Dish Soap absolutely is there. Another commanding performance here. Uh, Weijin 10th is still incredible. And he was one point off potentially of making it. Uh, and now I think VB Play has entered into he's, our core four for North America. He's there for sure. I mean, I went on like a like a 56 minute rant on the podcast <laughs> trying to answer the question of whether or not he was that tier short. one. Uh, yeah, it might have been longer. Might have might have cleared the uh, hour mark. And and the conclusion I reached at the time was if he puts on a solid performance in regionals, then I think he is. And and he has put on a solid performance in regionals. So no matter yeah. what happens today, re replay is a tier one play tier one player in North America. It's a four person club. It's a four person mm -hmm. club. We have a core four. Uh, so he comes in, and uh, I'm looking forward to potentially seeing him take his victory lap. Because, oh, yeah, that'll be a funny uh, interview. I mean, he's been avoiding interviews purposely for day number three. Instead, the only time he showed up in an interview was for his buddy, yeah. Degree. 
Uh, and Degree is a player who I think is just going under the radar a lot. Uh, Bryce, you gave him a D for his uh, power index. We called it uh, deadly but silent, but the D is silent here. Uh, Degree is known as the calculator, by the way. He's kind of like a math guy, does a bunch of like the stuff, like replay plays like, um, you know, he's like, he's like, Q, what's the analysis of this? And then Degree kind of chimes in. Uh, how do we feel about Degree? I think, Buckley, you're, you're a Degree believer. Yeah, I just, um, Degree's always been one of those players that like when he's on, he's like super on. And apparently he wasn't on. Yeah, he wasn't. <laughs> but like for some reason he's on. So he, he, he came in saying he was getting IRL diffed. He was super stressed. He was underprepared. But I guess he just went off. ultra instinct mode and just yeah. uh, channeled his inner TFT and just popped off. So I, I kind of believe in him to make it to Worlds this time. We have a clip uh, that we showed probably like 20 times. I'll show it for 21 more times of re-replay going up against Degree where uh, re-replay looks like he has a juiced cracked out board. Degree finds the one slot that this Yasuo can abuse, which is that tentacle where he flips on. He kills the front line. The edge of night triggers on the Zed, so he slides immediately on the back line and two tabs this Lucian oh. and wins this fight, wins this game. Is that magic or is that genius, Bryce? Oh, I mean, I'm down to hype up Degree, but I'm pretty sure he got Giga out positioned in this fight and that this is like the most absurd fight RNG that how this fight so goes So it's magic for him. is the answer. It's, it's magic. It's magic. I, I will say that <laughs> re genius, it's more it, dog. replay positions almost perfectly. You shouldn't frontline Tentacle here. I think it should be frontline Zed, but otherwise, or, or frontline uh, uh, Zach, but otherwise I think it's perfect position for replay. <laughs> the and, edge of night timing and, is and, so and perfect. And this is just like in the most insane <laughs> shit that I have seen. Like, like oh Faker, Faker doesn't win this fucking god. fight, man. <laughs> like, oh my god, it's too crazy. All right, well, that was our, our degree clip. Uh, that brings us to two more folks. Uh, one of them is Rain Plosion, the Dragon Queen. She is back. Her first regionals since set seven, where she went on to uh, perform as one of the top players and then was our last hope standing in the Dragon Lance Championship. Any Rain believers here on the couch? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm a big believer in Rain. Um, I think she's a really fantastic player. I think the one thing that's kind of maybe holding her back a little bit is um, just how she fares like with the meta not even to the point where like it's like oh she can't play the meta because she definitely can it's just i think that a big part of tft is mental and like how much you enjoy something how much you're having fun with yep. it i really don't think she enjoys the meta at all but um if you can squint past that which like i think she has been she's been doing really well in regionals so far and i i mean i think you know i think she can definitely take it she can she can go all the way to worlds wow i mean she said it herself if i can survive day one i'm making it the world she said it herself she yep. promised it uh the the power index is like a d plus baseline where do you feel where would you rank her now in terms of if you if you were to redo it I if i were to redo it right now i would put her in tier two so that means that she would be in the b's i don't know exactly what i'd have to think about the breakdown of that but i think rain is a player that i mean she so, so i interviewed all 24 players she was my last response interview and okay. and the reason why she was is because she responded the day i sat down she's like hey if i have to send you responses right now i'm gonna i'm gonna say one out of ten is my form i'm going 25th out of 24th <laughs> like i fucking hate this meta and i'm out um and she has was able to get herself into a confident style of play, even if it's not the way she wants to play, like Aniko was saying. She's playing it very well. She has the pedigree. She is clearly capable of living up to the moment. She's a player that some people are going to feel the pressure today. I'm not worried about Rain feeling the pressure. She's going to play her best TFT. If she gets the spots to play the way she wants to play, she's going to make worlds. Awesome, awesome. Uh, I think Rain Plosion also... Uh is just one of those players that uh, I think is execution heavy and she usually has yes. tech. Uh, and this time she is executing, but she doesn't even have tech. So I think that's what makes her scared in some ways going into the tournament because she's like, usually I have an understanding of a line that's not popular, but it's very good. And, and I'm able to actually like play that and get an edge. An example was Dragon Mancer from set yep. seven playing Kaisa. Yeah, some people like knew of the build, but she was one who like really knew it ins yep. and outs and was able to get many top two placements. Uh, this set, she says, according to her, no tech, but hey, I mean, some people whipped out things like Lux 3. Maybe she actually has a thing or two up her sleeve. Who knows? Um, the last player that we haven't brought up is uh, probably one of the, like, on the low key, one of the biggest storylines for mm -hmm. multiple sets now. It's Prestavent. Uh, Prestavent comes in at set five. Um, in the middle of set five, starts learning and kind of gets put into a hyperbolic time chamber. He gets thrown into the wolves, right? Uh, K3 Soju is hyping him up. It's like, no, this guy is so good at games. He's also one of my closest friends. Uh, he is, he's going to be really good at TFT. Just trust me on this. 
And then it almost started a, a, a meme prophecy chain. People said, okay, Preston's going to be like the set seven world champion because he's going to need a set or two to get adjusted. Then that got pushed to set eight. Then they got pushed to set nine. And here we are in it set It was 10. always 10, Dan. I don't even know. I don't remember any of that. And it we're was always 10. Finally at the precipice of potentially that prophecy coming true. Somebody talk to me about Preston here. I feel like Preston, uh, one of his biggest issues, what's something that's really holding him back? His skill. Like people always like are like, dude, how is this guy so good? How does he not like have more success? I think he just really has some nerve issues. So um, interesting. From what I've watched him, like, he doesn't seem like he's playing like the way he plays normally. Uh, so I think if he can overcome those, he can definitely go to Worlds and then also like represent us very well. So I'm very excited to see what he can do. When you say that he's not playing normally, uh, you're saying that he's making a lot of mistakes he's or he's mistakes changing his game plan. You wouldn't, like, what's going like, on? you wouldn't normally see from him mm -hmm. uh, that are very like uh, like elementary, like very obvious, right? Yeah, and it's like the only source that could happen is because he's just really nervous, okay. and like you can see it even like uh, sometimes when he like, it just his demeanor as well, right? He just he definitely just seems nervous, you know. It is the last time, or the uh, it is his best chance of making the world championship. It is his worst performing set, four point five yep. AVP uh, has been getting eliminated on the first day of every possible competition that he's uh, entered so far in set ten, and yet despite this, the highest he's been ranked by other people, and then here's the kicker. Preston doesn't rank himself at all. Uh, in the past few power rankings, he's even put himself on the top 15. So everyone else seems to believe in him except himself. And I think that, that backs up what Broccoli's saying, right? Like, it's a, it, there's a mental thing going on here because from a raw skill perspective, he is in the top eight players in North America. Oh, for he, sure. He, he is just such a good player. And he also works his ass off. I mean, this guy, it feels like he is always on the grind, always actually learning. He's not just brute forcing games either. He's watching a lot of people and he's learning from other regions and he's making sure to bring that back into his own play. I, I think he plays really well today and I think he goes to Worlds. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just... Apparently, Iniko and, and my cat Tao are really getting chummy over here. Iniko's here for the cat, she not she the TFT. Really straight up <laughs> nuzzling his hair. I've, I've, been, I've been having fun. Uh, Do you want to take the wig off and leave it before you go so oh, that way yeah, she can probably, uh, yeah. remember you yeah, fondly? He, he, does, he wow. does need a haircut. We can make it happen. It's love at first meow. <laughs> Iniko, give us, in, Iniko, give us a hair bet. What, what, can, what needs to happen today for us to cut your hair on stream? <laughs> <laughs> oh God, uh, Malala wins. Okay, oh, oh, we will take that. Okay, all right, chat, lock it in. Verbal contracts are binding in the state of Washington. <laughs> so, in on that note, we have our predictions. Uh, so, we we did get ready to see who is going to be the four players uh, that are going to be going to the world championship, and we we pulled everyone. So here it is, uh, our four worlds predictions. So we'll start off with myself. I got re replay because of AVP. I'm putting dish soap. I'm putting Kiyun and I'm putting Rainplosion. Uh, and I, I, I want to fit Malala. I want to fit other people, but these are the four that my gut instinct says. And I, you know, it's, it's really interesting because I feel like we can see four of any of the eights, but we had to pick four. So these are mine. Bryce, what do you got? Really similar list. My list is one to one overlapping with you. I have Preston over Kiyun. I think Preston is makes it more often than Kiyun. I think Kiyun's going to depend a lot on the spots that he gets offered. I think he he and Rain are probably the two best reroll players remaining in the field. So I could mm -hmm. totally see Kiyun making it, but I think Preston's going to be more consistent overall than Kiyun if you were to play this day ten times. All right, the Cat Whisper Eniko. Who you got? Um, so, I mean, top two is, you know, pretty consistent uh, re replay just based on the odds, like you said, Dish Soap. Uh, I, I, I just want Dish Soap to win. I think he's favored in a lot of capacities, and um, I think he'd be a good represent, like I said. Uh, Rain also leaning into what I said earlier, just thinks she would represent NA well, and I think she's been doing really well in the tournament so far. I picked Agree because I know that, I know we mentioned that he's been getting like IRL diffs and he's having trouble and stuff like that. I've just always kind of like, I, I I mean Bryce knows you know I'm an underdog rooter. I think Degree, if there's you anybody are. like in any name in this tournament that has made it this far, I think Degree's probably one of the more underdog players. Um I ranked him in Hardsteel Co. because I, I mean I, I thought he was good. Uh I didn't rank him this time around because of the IRL thing. I still think he's good. I still think he can do it. I have faith in Degree. Okay. And Broccoli, wrap us up. Yeah, so obviously same for me. Uh we play dish soap at the top, but then I also went for press event. Nice. Uh, like uh, Bryce said, I think he's just like a really hard worker. So I think if he gets to go to Worlds, he's going to put in more effort than most people would. And he's going to actually uh, probably represent us really well. And I also think uh, he can overcome. I'm just rooting for him to overcome some of his uh, issues, right? With, the, with that kind of thing where it's like, uh, 
That's cool. That's cool. And it's cool. And then, that, um, it's really interesting that the two players, Bryce, are picking like the underrated players. Yeah, degree getting two votes of from Enico and Brock, is really, really good. And these guys are way better than us at TFT. So um, <laughs> it's really cool that these guys had the eye out for that. No one picked weird. No one picked Malala, and I Which think is Malala's surprising. the interesting one. I mean, yeah. you, you knew that I actually had Malala on my yeah. list originally. It, it's for sure. hard to not pick Malala. And, 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 and I lie. kicked it uh, for Rain Plosion only because I feel really confident in Rain's game plan. Uh, but it's, it's like I, I feel like this is almost uh, misrepresenting uh, how we feel about Malala. It's like it wouldn't surprise us. Of course not. If he made it. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if you won. We were going to cut Nico's hair here today. Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> it, 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 I, I, didn't, I didn't make the bet because I was like, oh, Malala can't win. It's yeah. honestly like I do want him to win, and I just think it's like another It's a cool thing. story. Yeah. It's yeah. a cool but story I, for I, sure. I think for me, like, I put Degree over Malala or Rain over Malala simply because of just the meta. The meta. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, like we were talking about it one of the days where he likes to play into, like, the four-cost flex, yep. which is, like, pretty typical of any, like, high-elo player, right? Mm -hmm. Um, I just think that these other players can lean into it a little bit better than he can. I still have a lot of faith in him. I think he's a fantastic You know, player. at the end of the day, really anybody can actually take it, right? For sure. The yeah. skill like gap between these players, obviously there's a skill gap, at least I think so, but it's not like it's so massive that somebody's going to smash somebody else, right? Somebody like could come in with a really good day, like Malala could come in and just smash everybody, and Nico's hair is gone tonight, right? Like, <laughs> That's right. Well, Tao would be uh, very happy about that. Um, yeah, the, and the other the small note about that is that'd be a great look for North America to the rest of the world, right? I think uh, apparently Mila has like a lot of fans in China now because he won Vegas Open and then he won KDA and then he placed third in MSI. So like, yeah, the did tweet, him show right? up? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the tweet with uh, was it was it Flancy? I think. Uh, I believe so. Yeah. yeah exactly. Who who you got Flancy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Flancy's like pointing at him. So um, it's it's fun because uh, it almost feels like emblematic of how Malala's set has been and how he represent North America very well on the international stage. And he showed up twice, twice. on the global stage against uh, international competition. That is another element to think about. It's not just who wants to send the world, but how do people fare on the global stage if pressure is really high? A couple minutes left, so uh, one thing we want to show is the bingo, if we can. Uh, we have a little bit of a revamp on some of them because, uh, quite frankly, I don't think anyone's going to play Game and Reroll. No! So, uh, I, and, and we have eggs to give out. It'd be kind of bad if Riot Games was like, if I asked Riot, like, hey, can we have, like, hundreds of eggs codes give away for bingo, and then we just don't I mean, give if, we get to, if, we, if we get to the <laughs> end, we'll along. come up with something. So, uh, we, we, we changed Game and Reroll to Golden Egg Cash out in the bottom okay. center, which I think is uh, much Seems more fair. likely to happen. Much yeah, more likely yeah. to happen. That's fair. Yeah. And then uh, we change uh, three star legendary, which was sort of tied to eight big max high score. Like if someone get a high score, usually it's the three star legendary. So yep. I was kind of thinking of that, but because that's off the board, I just throw three of a kind emblems because that's something that crazy we saw multiple times throughout mm -hmm. the tournament. Uh, maybe that's going to happen. I like it. But the big thing is, you kind of need to have right now someone grief another player's heart steal. If you yep. want free eggs. You're hoping someone spences it out without the FFA. Let's hope there's a Reddit thread, basically. <laughs> That's right. Man, a lot of Reddit trauma. threads lately. <laughs> a lot of Reddit threads. Yeah. Um, and then, obviously, the other one would be, uh, if that happens, then either two players alive when streaking uh, or a player loses to Crab. But surprisingly, we haven't seen... I actually kind of thought that we would see the, the matchmaking ones. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. I think people okay. were playing pretty tight, actually. Like, people yeah. were... The, the, there, not many people are actively trying to lose streak, right? Mm -hmm. So they're yeah. trying to conserve a lot of HP. So that might actually contribute to it. Okay, okay. If that happens, guys, we'll give away codes. All you have to do is just be present. There's going to be like some kind of giveaway uh, key phrase. You enter, we'll, we'll draw names out, uh, and we'll give out some codes. Uh, the very last thing uh, is that, uh, I mean, it's over. The fantasy yeah, tournament is but over. But let's take Soju's in the chat. So like, in obviously chat. we have to take a victory <laughs> And lap. also it's important because of the average po the point total, yeah. right? <laughs> oh, so man. yes, 500 to 400 is it's a complete blowout. But the most important thing to pay attention to is the raw point count. Uh, and that's the difference that Dish Soap has to make. It's actually up. not Soap. For some reason, I thought he was in second, too. I said that earlier. But if you look at the total points, it's Soap's like Preston's ahead of him. He was. Rain's ahead, ahead of until him. Until the last games. Okay. Where he went 7 7. So okay, right now, Re Replay has a seven point gap to Rain, uh, Forsen, and eight to Preston. So all these players are chasing Re Replay for AVP. But the caveat is. Uh, it's kind of unrealistic if they get an eight-point advantage over re replay to and they don't then, make it yeah. to yeah. World Championship. So just keep an eye out for that. So the magic number is is eight. The thing we don't have to keep an eye out for is who's going to win this fantasy draft. <laughs> <laughs> no eyes required for that. Uh, I mean, we have one eye uh, on the prize. Okay, with that being said, we are loading in the yes! final lobby. That's crazy. And uh, right on time for the pre-show. So Boom, baby. Uh, Iniko is going to take a break for game number one. Tao is going to be very sad. Uh, we also have special guests that are going to be joining us for games two and three. 
Uh, we have uh, two members from the lab who uh, got eliminated day number one, but are willing to show up. Uh, we have Kane Drew and DK. They're going to be joining us for games two and three. Oh, can you scoot down just like a little bit more just so I can? You sure. Okay. Thank you, sir. All right. Uh, I, I asked Robin if he wants to join. Robin uh, finally responded and said, I would love to, but I don't know if a home until later today. Okay, maybe games four to five-ish, then let me know. All good if not. I mean, I'd love to get Robin back on. Yeah, also Soji in chat, not on stream. I mean, he's Sus. busy watching VCT right now, uh, which uh, we officially endorse. We do. Uh, as the uh, second best Riot Games esport. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, stage one, one, Scuttle Puddle, Golden Symphony, and three Kosh Champion. And Game number one of the final lobby is underway. Common yeah. offender, we will play standing on Scuttle Puddle. Very common offender, and it's been it's super meta warping Scuttle Puddle. I think in a way that not enough people are playing around, quite frankly. So I'm curious if we'll see if we get it. What happens? How much of Re Replay's game plan right now, since he's so far ahead of AVP, is to kind of almost play disruption? If it feels like he can, he know he has a game plan for Scuttle Puddle, he's fine with it. But at the same time, it's like he can just kind of cruise to play the simple top fours, top fives, and then have good AVP advantage. I'd actually be really surprised if he plays anything other than the way he's been playing the last two days. He's the type of person that is not that would not shift game plan and go more conservative. I think he just, first of all, the ego thing really matters to him, right? Like yeah, it, it really matters to him that he's evaluated highly. That much is clear to me at this point. So I think having a pop off moment, winning the whole tournament, actually really does matter to him. And also, you can get cute and screw yourself up. Like if you're if you're popping off in the tournament, just keep popping off in the tournament. Don't worry about your overall placement. Right. The chances that he doesn't advance is pretty low. And maybe if you get to the end, you have to adjust fine. But I wouldn't do it in game one. Yeah, if he does, if he plays how he's been playing, and he somehow goes eight, 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 then that wouldn't really make much sense. Right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. And uh, Re Replay does uh, have a history of exactly that, where he one guy to lobby and then played double trouble Viego one cost reroll and then went eighth, and that yeah. was because that was wasn't a meta line. Yep, I remember right. that game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Malala uh, with an with an early Jinx chosen and with an Urgot drop. This is definitely the it's the makings of a Giga opener. We need to see if he gets a mm -hmm. slammable. Oh, maybe he needs some frontline. Parson loves that. Forson, uh, degree with Vi. So a lot of people have some pretty solid one cost melee champion. Another Vi for Rain with the early Senna. Nasher's on the bench. Respective think strong about. openers here. Cloak for rain. Press event with an old... Wait, what the heck? Does anybody have a weak headliner? Oh, I don't think so. so. I mean, I, I, I don't know a lot of people that Does are buying Corky. have a good items for that type of opener as well? I'm surprised that he bought this, honestly. I, I'm curious to see like to see this spot more deeply and to see how he's going to play it because this is not a chosen that we've seen bought hardly ever. And okay. in the spot without a slam on it, I don't know. Considering his board, oh. it seems like he's probably going to end up loose drinking here. Yeah. Stars are born a very popular augment with two cost reroll in particular. Uh, Precedent does have a tier and a rod, and that leans a lot towards the AP two cost reroll. Is he thinking about that now? Yeah, he he, he he said during VOD review sessions that the more he watches Stars are born, the more he feels like it is broken. <laughs> like, he thought it was strong, and now he thinks it's, like, even stronger, especially with the AP opening. I'd be surprised if he clicked anything other than it. Wow. Oh, wow. 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 Gargantuan. Gargantuan. Oh, is he gonna free roll? Well, no, it looks like he's just going to full oh. tempo off of it. I mean, it, 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 it is strong as board right now for sure. Okay. Yeah. That, that's, mm. really that's really surprising. Very Sun's surprising. Guard. Oh. I, okay. And, and, and it could be a nod to the fact that he scouted around and maybe saw, like, all different kinds of people angling for comps and said, hey, if there's, like, two to three people looking at two-cost AP reroll, I don't want to be stuck in a spot where... I am going to be playing contested. I think it also belies a, a broader strategy distinction between Preston and some of the other players in, in the field that are remaining, which is that he is playing heavily towards tempo mm -hmm. and HP preservation in the early and mid game. And so he's saying, look, this is my strongest board. I'll figure out where to put the Titans later. That's not important. I know I have an Olaf, the single best holder of this in the game, and I can ride this augment to preserve a ton of HP and hopefully win streak. Agree with Estra Quest. Win this, the first round. This augment is always so stressful to me. Do, uh, do you always have to level here at 2-2? Two, two? You definitely really want to uh, level here, I think. Especially with the Tom Kinshaw benches. You have enough gold. If he sells 1-2... He oh. has to sell the TK pair. Yeah. Or TK2. Right, because he doesn't have enough gold to actually level. He only can play a, a 2 gold equivalent. The only issue for him is his only I mean, source KDA, of damage at KDA the moment. KDA is a really good yeah. play here. 
is of this Vi. If this Vi sure. dies, the rest of his board is basically mute. And that's why he full surrounds it. This is actually a really big fight because <gasps> both these players are leaning hard oh. in tempo. This Olaf is definitely capable of winning this fight. He needs yeah. to take some damage early Vi can definitely to get take rolling. It out, Vi can take it out. I mean, there's, like you said, there's not a lot of damage. The question is, is Vi going to have enough burst? Because just, just in, you know this Nico and this Lilia on it, and it's going to ramp up. It's getting the you know the big stacks on this Gargantuan. I think Prestivant wins. Wow, and that that's a huge uh, a impact huge because of the escort. Close. Oh, the, stun. the stuns. It's a really big deal. One more stun. One more. Oh, no. Oh, wow. oh, a little bit too late. Wait a second. OT, maybe? No. This is a huge, huge, huge. Wow. wow. Big time win for Prestivin. Big time L for Degree. He can still recover his econ. Normally, leveling there and losing is like game warping, but because he has escort quest, it's it's not the end of the world. But obviously, it is devastating to him and really, really good for Prestivin. Ma with sleight of hand tempo right now, looking pretty good with the runins. Pretty open ended in terms of the AD setup, and then re replay with Lucky Streak into a Morel Nomicon. Yeah, he's committed Senna, very clearly. Huh. He's got he's got the Senna or sorry not Senna Seraphine. 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 Yeah, Excuse yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's got the Seraphine on the lower right hand corner of the screen. He's got a pair of it already without chosen. He's got her most important item in Morello. Uh, so it's a really it's a really solid spot for him playing around Seraphine. Seraphine actually statistically pre has performed kind of weak overall ac yeah. across the different regionals. Uh, it seems like it's struggling a little bit with the meta, and it feels like it's too big of a check on. Do you? Hit it on tempo to then hit Ari and have Ari items. When you get it Ari online with Ari items, it, this comp is insane, but it's just not going to consistently get there. Yeah, I think a big thing about it as well is that it falls off uh, a lot harder to late game compared to, for example, Senna. Um, we, we've been seeing lots of Senna's top two, but we haven't really seen any uh, Seraphine's top two. They usually fizzle out in third or fourth. Uh, because they're not able to really scale into the late game with that damage. So, someone just said in, that in chat, he said, pretty sure it's never Seraphine replaced. You know, but, uh, interesting. I'll be really curious to see what he winds up going from there if it's never Seraphine. I think it's because Gambler's Blade itself sure. is kind of a weak item for the Seraphine in I particular. I thought it's an Ori item. Yeah, and you can use it to generate Golden Temple early. And that's kind of where um, that's kind of where Gambler's Blade is like awkward. Because late game, mid to late game, it feels like it's kind of like less than an item. Not for even sure. like a full item. Yeah. Yeah. And so maybe he's feeling his item economy can't keep up with that. Yeah, super super interesting. I'll, I'll be curious to follow that game and see see where he's going. I I, I I thought he was a right bench holder, not a left bench holder. So when he put it on the right, I thought he was like, okay, this is what I want to play around. <laughs> <laughs> it actually matters, uh, right? No, like, true, true. Dude, some he, people put okay. the units they want to hold on the right, some on the left. He so did I was like, sell, All right, he's by holding. the way. He's holding he's, yeah, he's, yeah, he's, he's, sold. He's, he's definitely not playing it. Okay. It also seems like Kiyun may also be playing uh, Seraphine, so... Uh, Kiyun definitely has infusion into an AP line, and he is level five, so it could be Seraphine, it could be Lulu. I think he's like he likes both. Yeah, for sure. Back over to press event, trying to see if he can keep up that five streak with the Gargantuans. Picked up a tier as his open item or cloak rather. Going up against Force, an easy win. The okay. early heart steal online plus the Gambler's Blade, so full econ strat for Force. Okay, so easy win for Preston. We can pivot out. Malala going against Rain. Rain slams Sunfire with Pandora's and a Nash's Tooth. Malala. Very strong. It's kind of like optimizing for Jinx tempo, and it looks like Malala's kind of sticking to uh, the core game plan of what we knew Malala for, which is slam his items, play for a big level eight, and uh, be very flexible. The problem the problem with these slams, and there are people in the field that are willing to slam Rage Blade and people that aren't, it's a, it is a Lucian waiting room situation. If he mm -hmm. hits Lucian, then this, oh. this is going to work out great. I, if he doesn't hit Lucian, it can get sketchy. The Caitlyn is, uh, well... Ow. How good is this? You have Garen, you have the rapid fire. Can you, can you justify replacing Urgot here or, or Vi maybe? No, I think he needs the front line. It's the big thing. Yeah. Mm, okay. So he's yeah, he's, he's going to replace the Urgot. He's looking at it. He's yeah. looking yeah. at it. And, and it's always yeah. worth thinking about because it's not like the Urgot items are particularly good no. either. They're not, they're not this fight. And, and, he, and he does care about being strong this fight because Preston's yeah. in his pool and they're, they're the 200 streakers. But I mean, time. Urgot is Urgot, man. I don't know. I mean, Spark's pretty fine, right, at this stage, okay. but also... He easy. Okay, okay easy nice. win. Solves the problem. Gets the best of both worlds. Uh, this is Precedent, see if he can keep a streak against Kiyun, who is uh, not not weak, but not that insanely strong. So I think this is winnable. Although, uh, Annie 2 with a uh, Kennen 2 does provide a lot of obstacles with the stuns. But if we have a Nar 2, I just realized, so Precedent should be good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Precedent ending on a 5-streak would be massive for him. Uh, Yeah, chillin'. Yeah, the, the Nar 2 just has yeah, too much uh, raw yeah. stats. Yeah. Re two, replay. Two five streakers, which means a bingo's in play. We still haven't had the uh, two streakers uh, to wolves yeah, yet. Right? Two, or two win streakers will last alive. Degree winning another round with an escort quest. Degree's literally win, loss, win, loss. 
So how do we evaluate an escort quest spot like this? Uh, I mean, three wins on stage two, it could be worse. You're right. That's it's nine gold. Yeah, technically Assu- above. Assuming he got the target dummy to live every time, which I think he did. It feels like the problem yeah. with his spot is the scalability of his board, right? So he gets three wins in this stage, but is his board going to be able to continue to get wins, right? Yeah. I, I, I'm dubious on that. If he wants any future in this game, he's really going to have to start winning some stage three rounds, I think. Just so with uh, pumping up Kale. Kale game. Interesting. Yeah, it's Kale game. Okay, Kale game. Uh, I mean, spot seems good. Pumping up, more attack speed helps with rage blade. Gold is nice as well. Frontline items nice. Wow. Uh, uh, two yeah, tiers. Yeah, two, yeah, no, you could do adaptive plus um, yeah, you bow. Could. It's fine. Y- you could. Ooh. This is a good item holder if he wants it. Yeah, it's definitely great for now until yep. he can get enough gold to get the kill online. Okay. Uh, Force in, no updates here. Rain plosion also open as well. Well, Oops. she Could slammed Death Cap and Nasher, so it's Senna for Senna, sure, right? Senna. Yeah. And so that's going to directly entrench or encroach onto every replay territory if he wants to go Senna. Oh. Precedent, by the way, level to six. He's going to fight potentially against Malala for the streak, and that's a qu- Quicksilver Slam. Is this it, a Riven setup? It feels like I have no idea what Ryan's, what line slams QSS other than... Than, Quicks, uh, than but, Riven? Yeah, and these yeah. items are good for it. It's Titans, Hodge. Yeah. Titans Hodge, red buff. Red buff for the Diego and Caitlyn. the Crown Guard. Yeah. And, and, and oh, wow. Gargantuan, maybe this is tech. Maybe oh he thinks God. Gargantuan. Oh, there's no art. Oh, my it's God. Such a close yes. fight. Oh, oh, my God. Holy. And it's a three unit loss. Wow. That's ended up being so close. So, so close. So up. Huge for Malala. Huge for Malala. All right. Let's see uh, what uh, Malala does here on his 3 2. Establish bin. Crash that dummy is generically good to help give you a bunch of frontline. You could also think about salvage bin. It's a lot of tempo. Capricious Forge with uh, the sleight of hand. Is that a thing? Uh, it doesn't, it doesn't think think it interact, works. right? Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's just sometimes it like you just think about the thieves. Code. I mean, it's just fun. Yeah, does, he, does he have a sword slam? Does he, does he have an uh, open item? Uh, Let's see. Does he have an open item? He does not. Taking a long time. I mean, you could justify basically any of this. I, I lean away from Sword purely because he doesn't have a slam. I think he definitely just really wants some front line here. Yeah. We replay just made Senna two, by the way. He might be committed. Man, it, it, a contested Senna line. I mean, it is the strong. It's been the strongest performing two cost across all of the regions, all the regionals. It is really good. But we see Rain is a hundred percent committed to it, and she yeah. has four, so she's she slightly four. ahead. Yeah, and also Distop has a headliner Senna. And we, we haven't seen a lot Ooh. of this. So that's going to be beneficial to d- this, though. It is for sure. I don't remember the last time that we were watching a lobby and we saw t- contested two-cost reroll. For the most part, people are staying away from each other, but we've seen two-cost reroll perform so well over the course of the tournament. You have a lot of two-cost reroll leaners that are that are making the final lobby, so they're going to start stepping on their toes. It's good for the players like Force, and they're trying to avoid the line. Is there and any Disso. possibility that Rain plays... Kale instead. She's holding one Kale. She has headliner more. Oh, she just blinged out. She's blinged out. Oh, there's no way. Blinged, blinged out blinged plus sure. four. I mean, never mind. Yeah, no way. It's very, very committed. It, yeah. Just so but, found Penta, uh, Kale, by the way. Uh, oh, no, wait, he did not. No, I don't he think did he did. Yeah. So, he so, so actually, this is it's a oh. it's a really. I mean, oh, wow. He's 57 he's HP. Off. That's not good. But he does have pumping up, so he's getting value off of his augment, which is nice. Also, right. LDP with Kale is very that's nice. That's really good. That's huge. Uh, forcing on a cash out. Is he the race? only 80 flex player? I think Malala is. Malala's. Yeah, Malala yeah. is for sure. Oh. He's got the five um, heart steal in already. He's got the. He's got very good items. He's thinking well. about raising 60 HP. You can raise here. It's a pretty sketchy. Wow. Giga wow. Chad. Okay. 69 isn't good enough for him. Oh. All right. Let's see if this is enough for him to. Well, one. How, uh, you know lose and how much he loses by he kill lots of units here yeah he's playing a board that can kill units right jinx is single target dps he has the upgraded front line it's in the Cassante, so it's not it's not the worst board ever I mean, we see people oftentimes when they're raising play my much much weaker boards than this right one more kill would be huge yeah i think he gets it on the lilia come on nice, nice. three unit loss we'll take those that's minus nine hp could get a massive cash out from him here disop going up against precedent i mean Dis-Soap. a lot lost Wow, Good another win. win here. And De- Pressman also has one of my favorite combos in the entire game, Long Distance Pals and Gargantuan Resolve. So good. You get the extra scaling stats of Gargantuan Resolve to scale on your Long Distance Buddy. Yep. And there's a Spatula available. That's really good for people who want to reroll like Senna so you can get the true damage emblem. That's been a huge X factor that helps get Senna over the top. Yeah. Rain takes it for blinged out. And she right? has Pandora's. She's, yeah. So she can guarantee she, it, basically. She's, yeah, she's getting it for sure. 
And that puts Re-Replay in a really awkward yeah, spot. Yeah, what is, what is Replay going to do from here? I mean, what does he have Slam? He has the Gambler's Blade. He could look into Lulu slash Seraphine, whatever Kyun is yeah, not playing. Yeah, the, the Seraphine, <laughs> the Seraphine so, I mean, like, not that it was, I mean, I believe him. He's, he's way better than me, so it, it makes sense. If he doesn't think it's a Seraphine game, it probably wasn't, but uh, it's an it's a tough spot to be yeah. in. He's I'm really, really just lacking, like, uh, items to really pivot into something like Lulu. Maybe some sort of Are You Warrior position, I would assume. Okay. You're trying to go into. Leveling. I think he sees just uh Yeah, you know, the spot's so awkward. And he's like, okay, I can't really contest this <clears throat> Santa. Lala also leveling to seven, taking in a hard steal. He's in a really, really good spot. Very strong yeah. board. And then looking at Prestavin, seeing how he's gonna one mm. Riven, two Garens. Okay. I yeah. mean if he hits if he hits eight bit Riven, he's gonna get really, really strong for stage four. Uh -huh. A little bit of a visual are you, bug. Are here, you worried but... that Forsen wins? Uh, I mean, I can't really see what's happening. Yeah, but... uh, I know that Olaf is a Giga Chad. Yeah, okay, it's Giant like, Olaf yeah, walks yeah, in yeah, the back yeah, line. Yeah, yeah, We're yeah, good. Yeah, 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 yeah. 225 already for Forsen. Two more fights. We replay levels and get stomped by Malala. He sold his Senna, it looks like. Yeah, I mean, his spot is really sus. If he can yeah. if he can find his way into like a fifth this game, it's a really good game for him. I have no idea how he gets there, though. And perhaps the start of what other people are looking for AVP advantage. They just need to get a crack in the armor. That's all they need. Yeah, for sure. I mean, is Disco's on the board in theory, but it's just so it's, it's not a it's not a line that I'm not excited from here. It's, it's not, not a line I'm excited to play like it's low. LVP yeah, as well. it's, it's, but I, what? I mean, I'm I just think thinking out loud. What do we play? Ari Warrior. Ari Warrior. is the only option. I mean, he is. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Looking tough terrible. spot. Tough spot for sure. Degree also leaning towards that AD. So it looks like three people going for it. Forsen, Degree, and yeah. Malala. What about a super fan? So maybe Pentakill for Degree? Maybe. Degree is f okay, wealthy side. I think the three lost. He only won four fights so far. He's, in fact, lost uh, six of his or five of his fights and only won four of them. Yeah, so he is not looking too good. If honestly. he was able to win at least a couple more, he'd be, like, pushing 50 gold. But now... Oh, but this is a pretty big win for he him loses the, he, he loses, loses the dummy. dummy. No! Oh, oh no. no Listen, he's punished for being a coward. Yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. He should have put it in the back line. Agreed? Agreed. It would have been really tight. But I yeah. mean, no, you shouldn't. You shouldn't. Put it in. <laughs> just to be clear, chat, you should not put it in the back line. That situation is just a little unfortunate yeah. how the fight plays out. Yeah. Playing with his augments, he really just needs the juice, though. He's... He does He's going to fall off. Yeah, considering he should be way further ahead economically with this augment, right? Kyun open cells and so rolls. Seraphine for Kyun. Pressman hit seven as well. Pressman hit Garen. Okay, not much more rolling here for Kyun. Oh, I'm wondering how uh, how aggressive he actually rolls on uh, on three seven. I mean, at this point, I think he wants to just hit it, right? I mean, he's he's one Super normal close. plus chosen off, so. I feel like he's going to roll till three star. Yeah, maintain his high HP. Oh my god. We look over. There's an Edgelord yeah. Riven for precedence. Edgelord, so not best case scenario, but pretty good. Okay. Back over to Skeen to check on Dish things. Dish Kale 3 on the right side of your screen as mm -hmm, well. Mm -hmm. He was too off, so it was pretty easy for yeah, him. Yeah, for sure. That's like massive. Work. Okay, come on. Okay, okay just, just he's one. Okay. Oh, okay. yeah, he has it. He has it. Perfect. Set of three for Rain as well. Wow, set Everybody of three. Hitting. Everybody's hitting. What is Riri Play gonna do? I mean, this spot. He's fascinating. Oh, no. This spot is so bad, man. He is. I mean, who else is even contesting eighth? I guess. I guess Forsen if he botches his transition. <laughs> he has a duplicator. Oh wow. Okay. Uh, this transition room is gonna be really important. He can't. Very important. He can't screw up this one round if he's. If he just loses this one round, he's screwed. Okay, I want the Brocco meter to come out here for this roll down. You are one of the early uh, roll down masters that gave you the big edge in Vegas. Let's see what Forces Perfect Out can do here. He lined up the timing, though. The good thing is he has a lot of time. Yes. 4 2 has the most amount yeah. of uh, seconds that and you he, get. And he just got over the threshold, 400. Yeah, Perfect round to raise the stakes. Buckle up, Force in. Big, big round. Okay. He's very known for picking his augment super fast, so let's see if he can get that right now and start rolling down. You gotta pick this augment immediately. You just just trust your instincts. Literally grab whatever, it doesn't matter. Cash outs. Okay. Okay. A lot Rebels. of goals. Radiant, Radiant IE. That's, That's pretty good. Really That's good. That's pretty good. Yep. Yep. I think you can buy that, by the way. I mean, passing a calling in this spot is, I mean, you can definitely do better, but you can do a lot worse. Okay. You, okay. You have to buy that. Get the emo, for sure. emo Poppy. Oh, holy what? fuck, this guy is. Whoa! Okay, he's a genius. Okay. This guy is a genius. He's a genius. All right. 
What do you score on the Brocco meter? Uh, okay, I mean, I guess he gets a 20 out of 10. For that. <laughs> what? What? Uh, he's just that good. Oh, man. Uh, he, you check? he still needs to fill the rest of his board, though. He really should be buying some of these other units okay. in his shop. Yeah, he is. He, he is. He can gunblade the Zed. He can red buff the, the Ezreal. He's got items for days. Going up against Malala. Malala is still at seven, by the way. Malala's man. got Needs to pick MF. Up a big shot for him as well. Yeah, no MF is a big deal. No Jazz. Big shot MF for Malala. Just as a heads up. Yeah. I mean, he's just... He's very he, strong. It looks, he's like very he's, strong. it looks like Malala's just 4-5-ing, right? He's just... he's. It, it, I really like what Malala's done. He's preserved a bunch of HP. Rather than go for the 4-2 low econ, he's just going to okay. stack up the heart steal in stage 4, transition on 4-5. He's, he's not super contested. Yeah, it's a really... Person, so. and, and he needs to hit Lucian as well because of his itemization. So it's just a really, really thoughtful play from Malala to 4-5 instead of 4-2. This is a big win for Re Replay because Huge. he is strong. He, or he yeah. rather, he hits. So he's beating the people who hit. Yep. And uh, he's making do with what he's got. Yep. And I think that's a really good sign so far. I mean, world champ for a reason, right? Replay has played great TFT the entirety of the of the weekend. I'm not surprised he's to see him finding a way to try salvage this. Yeah. yeah, his augments. So he can, he can make it work. If he can win these rounds and then um, find a nice backline carry as well, get some upgraded units on this board, he could save enough HP to go like at least like a fourth or a fifth, hopefully. And that's all he's trying to do, right? Course, I mean, yeah. if he goes fourth or fifth here, it's a great game. He's linking his Akali and his Yorick. I'm I'm a little bit of a greed lord. I think I would want uh, on Karthus. E, uh, e, that or maybe try to see if I can grab some uh, greed some Gargantuan stacks to make Akali even stronger. Okay, okay. Or not Gargantuan, but Titans resolve. Titans, yeah, yeah. You are a greed lord, but I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like uh, Yorick doesn't do m a lot, but maybe um, I'm mistaken. I mean, I'd wonder like because Yorick just has higher base stats, right, than Nico. Yeah, and I he don't really know. Only cares about buffing up his Akali. I just feel like one star Yorick is actually a fraud. One star Yorick no it items is, is kind sure. of a fraud. It is for sure. Uh, yeah, I, honestly, I think you would. I think you would justify in that spot. Uh, you Using the mini dupe on Nico and moving the TG to York. Oh, I, I can see that. Oh, I can yeah. see that. Or you roll, but okay. Uh, the only thing I also don't like about Forsen's uh, spot is that he's at 14 HP. Starting in stage five, yeah. that is danger zone. He well, has the potential just to build an unbeatable board. But... He went. He went TG, so no third Zed item, which yeah. I agree with. I'm not sure there's a third like Zed item you want to use with open, just open glove. Okay. Uh, Malala, by the way, should be gearing up for the roll down here. So we're uh, holding, heading towards his POV. Here we go. Stakes are raised. Oh my God! Wow, he's gonna, he's gonna. Okay, what? He's, wow! He's, he's, he's sacking three more. Is he gonna sack three more? Just yeah, I mean, nine? He has to. It's a full juicer. Wow. Angle. Okay, I mean this, this is a very, very interesting play from here. Okay. It could backfire, but it could... we saw Degree earlier not back rowing his uh, his dummy in, in cowardly fashion, and Malala making up for it for the study group and just saying, "I am going to play <laughs> full first or eighth in this first game." I love it. I'm love looking at his matchups, and they all look pretty hard for him to. to I mean, obviously he wants to lose, but mm -hmm. uh, it, it's also like it's possible for him to take major damage. Yeah, he's probably just looking around the lobby, looking at his items, looking at his arguments. He's like, I really am going to need something super, a lot stronger here to get more oh than like gosh. a fifth or a fourth. This would be a great loss. This is a great if he loses, loss. This is a great loss. If he loses... Oh, oh, holy! oh that is not what he wanted to do what? at all. What? what? Oh. Uh, okay, player griefs heart steal. That counts? That, that counts. He griefed his own heart steal. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God, I no. guess like, oh, Settle for a support item, but oh man, that is so bad. Well, and also, I'm game plan. so tilted if I'm him because <laughs> oh how God. does he win that fight? He's his board is not that good. I think the key is this one star the echo. One star the echo. one star echo, like it's not even like rains, but uh, that's crazy. Oh my god, that, I think that counts, right? Player I think that counts. Steel, technically, Bryce, you're the lawyer. Uh, I mean, she wasn't griefing, she was playing strongest board. No, no, I'm saying Malala greets his own. Oh, I, the, the wording oh, is player griefs hard yeah. eggs yeah. all I around. Think all right. I think it eggs all around. We're gonna give away some it, eggs. That's ambiguous, <laughs> that's ambiguous contract <laughs> drafting by Dan. It, we're gonna allow it. I well, we need to give away these eggs, otherwise, I think Riot will stop giving me eggs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, Kiyun still looking very pretty. Press has been taking some big time damage. We'll ch catch, in, catch up with him in a bit. Force in. No. 5 HP. Okay, he's living. It's a heart steal loss. Don't worry about it, Brock. Okay, okay. Cash out for Force in at 5 HP. See, belt. he wanted that bad. belt. It's not, honestly, it's not bad. In the circumstances. He really is uh, greeting very hard here with his Nico. Oh, man. I, I feel like 
coming into this weekend, we thought Riven was going to do better than it did. And the more I watch it, the more it just feels like the two-star version is not stable enough in Stage 4. Yeah. So you get punished by the Heartsteel Fast 8s. You get punished by the... We saw the litany the of the rerolls all hitting on 4-1. And if you don't hit 8-bit Riven with a 8-bit spat, it still has losing matchups coming down. I think the Robovan game at the very top of day one actually was eye-opening for me in terms no. of how I'm thinking about this line. But you really need everything. Where is this Riven? View 2 helps. I, I think Even just hitting Riven here I don't think is enough is the reality. I think with his augments, he's getting uh, the even shot. He does, have great, he does have great augments, but is it a win-out angle? Yeah. And it kind of goes back to... Uh, some of the stuff that we talked about before. He, by the way, didn't have armor reduction. That is a key. He, there's, there's two things. There's a couple yep. of ways that you can find navigation around Riven 2, which is like Viego 2, yep. if you have armor reduction. But it looks like he finally... Yeah. This is the board you should be playing the, at 4-1. Yeah, the green it, it, has Lucian it's 2. It's entire stage behind. Yeah, it, it itemized Caitlyn as well. Did you see this? Yeah, uh, yeah, Lucian 2. Oh, it's Riven's The green has Lucian 2. Yeah, it's oh, just... Pestman's going eighth. <laughs> the green's a beast. Oh, man. That is rough. real rough. He is dead, dead. Uh, that's a very rough game. Yeah, and re replay does take another loss. Forsen barely hangs in there against Kiyun. Things are heating up here in stage five. Got the edge of night, by the way. Full full edge of night at the end for Forsen. Zonia's yeah, for that's Forsen now. Awkward good. here. And also doesn't want to slam two even shrouds, so. It's like uh, really just about. Now, um, just defensive stats. Whenever Degree's back in his pool, it's gonna be very sketchy for him as well. Mm -hmm. Looking at just one of the players in his pool. Oh, interesting with uh, this Yone setup, by the way. Yeah. Good Lotus not, Dish Soap is not going to hit more than three this game. He is flat broke and has just three copies. So yeah. he's gonna, he's definitely gonna fall off. What? Malala that, has that's a, a cane, cane too. On level eight. With really happening? good items, Warmogs and Spark. What's going on here? That's pretty incredible. Zed is rapping though. It looks like Zed's gonna get Oh, oh what, what was that? <laughs> faker! He's moonwalking. Reverse uh, faker! Oh my god. I think he's chilling though. Yeah, he just has so much raw power. Yeah, so much raw power. I mean, he's got he's got like three item BIS, BIS, right? So it's just really, really strong. Zed board. is just an absolute freak. Oh yeah. my god. Every fight that we really can scrap out here is so big. Was so like that was big. against the ghost? Yep. Potentially. Dish soap here. lost again, so he's down at twenty. He's not hitting any backline carries we play. No Ari, no Karthus too. Looks like he just rolled past a headliner Karthus for a little bit of insult to injury. Mm -hmm. Um Wow, I kinda thought Dissot was gonna be in a pretty decent spot. Well he was, but he just hasn't hit the things that he needs to that would scale his board, right? Like he hit, he's not going for more than three this game, didn't hit enough of them. He's a Kali one, Viego right. one, Karthus. His whole one. board is yes, one star is all basically. All these units are so contested this game as well. Yeah. Oh, I'm going up against this. Degree is so strong. He's going to have to hope that Degree and Force and play each other. He's going to have to play for like fifth. I think his placements right now for him. Yeah. Honestly, you want. Ah, you, you kind of Vigo's like, living for a long time. Kale soaking the damage is good, right? Ah, like it's, actually, it's, 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 actually, it's actually good. Whoa! He's going to win. Oh, Degree's dead. Degree's yeah. Dead. Oh, my God. Wow. How did he do that? I That's mean, crazy. Getting all of the damage onto Kale, just feeding her mana. She's gun blading up. She's not dying. Oh, so. my goodness. That's huge. And I think that might buy him top four if, if, if things line up correctly. Yeah, so good. Amazing He's result for Dish, though. There. That's really good. Okay. Does anyone still need like a last whisper or, or an even shroud or a spark? Looks like we got some resistance shreds here. Orson taking a hodge. Well, I get zigs with the Nashers, and I think he's playing eighty flex, right? So that's very good if he's able to slot that in. Yeah. Check in with Malala. Yeah, check on his gold. Uh, I wonder if he's able to push levels or not. He also, I think, is due a cash out. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, straight up infinity. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, it could be a lot worse. Uh, yeah. This was a Shojin there as well. Yeah. Got, yeah, yeah he oh, should, you're right. That, you're and that's right. what he'll do. He'll send the Shojin on the Ziggs. Okay. How do we feel? I mean, he should be top four. And that came to. I think people really underestimate Kane 2. It's going to depend on the ton on the items, right? Like, I don't think yeah. this I don't think this Kane 2, Shiv LW, is going to do that much. But it, there's a lot of different variants of Kane that actually could add value. And, you know, as much as he got his cash out griefed, he, he did get a lot of power. He gets basically an extra Whoa. gold augment from the Virtue of the Martyr. And it's a right. really good item for his board. So. He just got delayed, I guess, by a turn. Yeah, I mean, it's not far from ideal, obviously. He did not want to get griefed, but it could have been a lot worse in terms of what yeah, that cash think, out wanted uh, to be. I don't think his board is going to be going first, but he should be very, very firmly in the top, yeah. top four, top three-ish area. Yeah. Oh, Dish Soap wins Got again. It. Huge we wins for Dish Soap. 
And honestly, I think six is okay. Pretty good six. It's, yeah. it's okay. Like, I think he was probably going to go seventh or eighth a lot of the time. Yeah, pretty a good six. A lot of six. things went really wrong yeah. from that game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, forced in another catch up, just gold. And we might be in this spot where Forsen is strong enough to apply upward pressure and sneak into that top four. Got a lot of just inherent board Wait, what power a, here. What is uh, Kiyun hitting? He just hit a bunch of two stars. Gragas too. Oh, he's playing three to crowd. I like that. Yeah, with infusion. It's mm -hmm. a really, really, really strong board. Obviously, the re, the lack of re two is a big deal. I like it. Playing around Nico Tank because he has vertical KDA and not necessarily just stacking the echo. It's really Rain, heads up. Rain also not able to hit her duo right. This Caitlyn just just paired. She's holding re by the way, so she's keeping re open as as an out. Yeah, um, like re two Caitlyn two. Yeah, you can, you can yeah you can just swap it interchangeable. The, the the spread is what really suffocates yep. Seraphine late game. Yep, for oh, sure. This should be a big loss as well. I mean, that's expected because I think uh, Forsen had a good matchup. Like, yeah. I think Forsen is probably top two this game. Yeah. Assuming Malaz doesn't just kick him out. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. We, haven't, we haven't seen a board that looks like it beats him yet. Yeah, so he should be making his way back in. It's really about Keenan just fighting for top four and Malaz Lorraine contesting uh, the win slash top two. Uh, Rain, though, I mean... How huge was this true damage emblem for her to really kind of give that spike? Because I feel like that secondary damage source isn't nearly as reliable without it. For sure. The, the tough thing about this line, like these other lines, right? You you want a secondary carry. A Kali is the option that you would go for. A Kali actually wanted to be kind of contested in this lobby. But because she's the true damage emblem, it opens up Caitlyn. It opens up Ari. Yeah, the um, six true damage spike. He has the blinked out as well. Or she mm -hmm. has the blinked out as well. Okay. Uh, hold on to Zig. Still looking for two star four costs. Yeah. And if she does, there's a possibility. Hey. Okay, that's okay, good. There's a possibility she has like a low outside chance of beating someone like Forsen. I'm surprised she didn't. Well, I guess Round she guard, probably. Yeah, Disho hit Karthus too. She've got anti heal as well. It's Disho versus Rain. Is it the yeah. real or is it the ghost? It's the, the real. real. I'm not sure if there's some board. Uh, like, a there's so gonna, much... A Kali is going to immediately get onto this Caitlyn. There is Hodge healing on the Caitlyn. And also Harm Assist. Yeah, so yeah. the question is, can he actually kill it, or is it just going to be feeding mana the whole fight? I mean, the Karth is a Kali combo. Kali, still Kali's really are, good. Kali's already oh, dead. Uh, it's just, it's close, wow. close, close. Honestly, maybe not a Harm Assist diff. Not yeah. Kill the Caitlyn, yeah. All right. And Dissop. Looks like he's trying to play Keen's for like a ghost, lead out so. fourth. Yeah, Malal is lost, so it looks like Dissop's going fifth. Okay. So I guess the question is Kiyun or Malala in fourth. That's a York too. Very good. And his items were kind of mid anyways. Yeah. Much oh, better wow. items. Forsen versus Kiyun. Malala versus Rain. Kiyun was able to find the RE2. So this is just going to be his board for the rest of the game. It's a it's a solid version, right? Pretty decent items on the RE, all things considered, considering how much uh, you know item overlap there is. Very really good items on the cane. Items. Wow, yeah. disgusting. Really good items on the cane. Oh, we gotta keep an eye out for this damage. Uh, that is really scary if it's Kiyun, because this could it could be fatal. Okay, it's so rain, it's rain. rain. Oh, he's clumped up. Positioning wise, putting the cane behind, assuming the jump's gonna go back so it can get into the corner. This this cane actually could wind up getting access oh onto my. the center oh early in the fight. Oh my god. That is beautiful positioning from Malala. Understanding the Ow. dummy was going to jump out of the way, giving himself access onto that Senna carry. We got to clip that one. Really, really nice. Oh, Kiyun man. Kiyun dying. And Kiyun is out. So top three for Forsen. Ziggs. Don't think that you, you sell the Zed for this. You don't have items for the Ziggs, unfortunately. But that, uh, in late, late game situations, you can actually buy that Ziggs. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Uh, oh, Yorick. Wow, what the heck are with these thief gloves? Really nice. <laughs> uh, also, not that it matters much, but Forsen is on another cash injection uh, with the heart steel, which might help him hit Lucian 2, and that might be all she wrote for this game. Yeah, it definitely feels like the strongest board in the lobby. There's just so much threat on the board. The ghost. Easy fight. Uh, I mean, we'll see. Oh, we've seen some uh, surprising <laughs> ghost outcomes. Kane 2 with Morello with the and a again, Warmugs. Yeah. These Thieves Gloves items. Oh, oh already gets dead. bursted down. Yeah, just eats a whole bunch of Caitlyn bullets. Wait a second, but, wait a second, there's Poppy, there's Poppy. Play, there's still plenty of front lines. Oh easy fight with so much HP to get through in this Poppy. Yeah. Very good matchmaker from Alala here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thieves, uh, and we here we go with the Carousel. Rage Blade for Illusion if Forsen wants it. What does Rain want? Was Maybe Kiana he, for the I mean, he does damage. want it. He takes Shojin if not, but. Huh. I think Rain wasn't sure. And then Malala could just take Shojin or uh, Crown Guard. 
Force in, coming in as probably the primary underdog in the lobby, choosing to raise the stakes. Yeah. A really, really good position to win this game. He, he, needs to, he, he knows he needs to take bigger risks. He is the underdog, right? And I think uh, you got to take those big risks to get those big results. Mm -hmm. Also, passing all of those headliner options are a couple of buyables that I think a lot of people would have bought. Yeah. Yep. I'm not sure this was correct, by the way, but it definitely worked out. Okay. My God, does he have lucky gloves? I don't get it. <laughs> uh, I don't get it, man. He does. Uh, it definitely, it definitely seems it. like he does. Shojin Ziggs. So he's gonna try to blitz down the left side of the fight here. This is probably the most important fight of the game right here. Yep, right here. This is a potential placement swing. With that, Kane. Kane is Kane. It's on the Z. Z. Yeah. It's on the Z, but It's gonna die now. No, it's not okay, enough. not enough. Yeah. And there's just too much HP. It's just the so Z much is threat. So immortal. Yeah, force and support is too strong. Unbelievably strong. Rain top two. Don't look now. And by the way, Rain is one of the, Rain and Forsen are the two leading players to catch up right now in AVP on re replay. They yep. were seven points down, and guess what? A first place is a six point differential. Yep. All of a sudden, we're right back in it. For sure. True. Is, is there anything looking... Rain can do to win this fight? My instinct is no. Um. I think Kiana position could potentially help. I don't. I, the thing is, I feel like it has to be a little bit on force into miss position. I think it's big thing. It's just like there's not a front okay. Line. It's on the front line. She's, Nico, she's Nico two, Wait, Echo two. The the Zed might actually get hit by the Kiana. I think the the timing yeah. of it is perfect. It is, and, and the Echo stun as well. Echo stun into Kiana the stun Zed right is after. Still back. It's still getting hit by the Kiana. Yeah. Okay. Zed's okay. Dead. Okay. No, uh, wait, 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 I made the wrong things. All right, yeah. never mind. Your I mean, I, I think she did yeah. everything she yeah, could. Yeah, yeah, nice I, try, I just, nice try. Yeah, really, really nice, but just, just yeah. way too Probably much. Probably super well for her, though. Yeah. The Kiana stayed on the Z even yep. after the Edge of Night proc and everything. Yep. Okay, all right. Well, uh, game one in the books, and Forsen able to get that first game victory, uh, yep. putting himself on the map immediately. Can oh. he keep it up? Yeah, that's all she wrote. Forsen's going to Worlds. Forsen's <laughs> going to Worlds. Uh, so uh, we, we have a couple of options. We have downtime, right? They're going to probably play like uh, five yep. minutes or so uh, between this game and the next game. So we could go back to the 4-2 roll down if you'd like to look at it. Uh, we also, I believe, might have a clip of that uh, that cool moment towards the end of the game. Yeah, down for down for yes and situation. Okay, have so uh, let me see here. Pull it up. So this is 5-2. Um, so right here is the 4-2 roll down that we can look at for Forsen, I believe. Wait, do we have it? Can we switch to it? All right, we're good to go. So this is Forsen's cash out. Okay, so a lot of money. Can, can you pause it before we start the roll down? Let's just like uh, set the stage. Uh, yeah, let me uh, show this so that you see all the items. Okay, so two IEs. Plus a, a very likely gunblade slam, like almost every time. Mm -hmm. um, and a duplicator. Li light on frontline items big. is a is a is a big deal here because it, it it might be why he's thinking about passing frontline chosens, right? If you if you have a bunch of really good frontline items, it incentivizes you to play around like he's gonna pass a poppy at some point, for example. He has his Nico. He can definitely assemble a frontline no matter what, basically. Yep. Um, he just really, really needs to find these damage carries because if they're one star, he's gonna lose no matter what. Yep. Okay. Do you want to play it? Yep. Let's play it. Okay. And so, he buys Riven, which is he buys Mord as well. I think that I think he's like APM himself. Like you, yeah. you shouldn't buy these units. You should buy Urgot. Though, you should I buy think. Urgot for sure. I think. Uh, I think that's what the big thing he missed. Okay, so down. the po the poppy. So you can pause on the poppy, or so okay. The poppy's the first like viable. I I think it is probably correct to pass based on what we talked about initially. I think... He doesn't have Poppy items is the biggest yeah. thing. Nine times out of ten yeah. on this roll down, this is a buy, by the way, because Emo Poppy is not normally... This unit is... It's if probably the single best chosen that you can get yeah. for the lineup. Yeah. HP, I think. Combat yeah. caster as well. as well. So it's like a lot of different things. Yeah, I mean, this this Poppy is like so, so good. There are probably players who would buy this Poppy even without frontline items. You just TG her. Yeah, he right. has yeah. a shit ton of gold domaining though, so I can definitely see the decision, but it's yeah. also... Um, right. He needs this to assemble... He, he does need to assemble basically his entire board. Yeah. I mean, Akali was definitely better than Poppy. I, I like the 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 initial pass was a collie, right? Like With the uh, IE and the blue buff. The, the yeah. IE blue buff and gunblade. Like, yeah. wouldn't it be really, really, really good? I, I mean, so. you can definitely do better, but not much better. I think the only thing that's better than in the spot is literally the Z that he hits. Okay, and he hits a Z. I mean, kind of to Brockley's point, he had a lot of gold as a roll down. He so, did, but I yeah. mean, the number of times I've seen people with a lot of gold pass something like an Akali and then get punished for it. I mean, 
It's different philosophies about how to approach the, well, the 80 yeah, flex line for sure. You could have bought the poppy and then also it's close. Buy, bought some ergots as well and yeah. like an ergot too as well, and that could would have definitely yeah. stabilized him for at least like uh, a few rounds. Yeah, it's close. If, if you find the Akali at 30 gold, I think you have to buy. You find it yeah. 50 gold or whatever. I, I think, think you can just you can justify the pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The decision just making to get your pa- your final board faster, yeah. I guess, as well. I think the decision making overall <clears throat> makes sense, right? Okay. I, I follow it. It's not uh, like s- slightly sloppy in terms of the unit holds, but like overall, I think he had a game plan yeah. he executed the turn well i think he knew what he was doing on his will down for sure all right so that's our uh replay analysis wow okay uh let's pull up the clip that we wanted to see the clip that was uh pretty exciting um all uh, what do we have here it was it's oh the cane, cane position so cane. can we pause it here can we pause it here so, so what about it that you love so much, Bryce? Okay, so the reason why I like this is because he knows that the dummy is going to jump forward in this positioning, and he's getting lined up, and he and if he puts the cane like on the front line middle, it's going to take a bunch of splash damage from the Senna, right? And so what he wants to do is he wants to get access to this cane all the way on the left side. He, he's even hoping he can get like a dash fully into the back line to completely fuck up uh, the the dual carry situation, and so in order to do this, he has to he has to have a melee unit to the right of the cane to block it, and so he puts the set where the set is, the cane where the cane is, the, the dummy's gonna jump forward, and it's gonna jump too forward, and therefore make room for cane to step up and be in really good dash position. I listened to the whole thing. Amazing analysis. Spot Thank on. you. No, I actually really like it because uh, I th- at first glance, this might look like one of those things where uh, Kane being in front of the center is like, well, whoa, isn't that a little bit too vulnerable? You kind of want, like, wouldn't Kane theoretically, like, go to the right side and make his way around? But uh, I think it is pretty clever the way he kind of stacked everything. And, and the crash test dummies, uh, anticipating it to be in front of that center, I think that's a really cool uh, heads up positioning play. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> Shut up. Rain, dude. Rain said you were suddenly my Rain cat said the whole I time. knew this positioning sucked, but I had to kill Weird this fight to go first. Mm. That makes sense. Oh, you're not even positioned for Malala. That, ma- that, that makes it, sense. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay, I can see that. I can see that. Uh, speaking of Rain, by the way, we have uh, one of her fellow lab members joining us as a special guest. Love it. I'm gonna go to the bathroom really fast. Be right back. Okay, uh, Kane Drew, welcome to the broadcast. Hello. Hello. All right. Uh, or is it just you? Uh, DK's here. Oh, DK, Hello? can you say something? What? Is this the mics <laughs> that you guys have? Wait, what? it's something with mine? Uh, his, his mic sounds like he's on a, a, a radio. Me or DK? I think DK. Oh, no, no, DK. Uh, Kendra, you're fine. DK, can you say something? All right. Is my mic bad? Yes, it's very bad. It sounds like you're talking through a walkie-talkie. Um... All right, so we're about, we're about like a minute out. How did you guys enjoy game number one? Oh, I mean, it was pretty exciting. Uh, rain spot was pretty crazy, so we were all cheering. <laughs> Man, can you just sound a little more? Than, uh, yeah, it was really exciting. Oh, and, uh, we were oh all my bad. For rain. Sorry. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> wow, rain spot. Uh, uh, insane. Uh, insane. Sorry, I'll show you scream more. <laughs> no, no, it's not. No, you're you know, fine, it's not screaming, you're Dad. It's just like it's okay. you're just saying, "Oh yeah, we're all really excited." It's okay. Once <laughs> once Bryce gets back, right, don't worry, Kendrew. My energy and your energy, we're gonna balance out these these uh, yeah, yeah, crazy yeah, people around me. Okay, yeah. all right, Kendrew. I first, I think uh, <laughs> we owe you an apology for every single stray you've caught on uh, broadcast. <laughs> Um, yeah. Yeah, we, we promise it's not it? personal, man. It's, just, it's yeah. just so funny that every oh. time you're here, we, you somehow catch a stray. I actually reached out to him and apologized <laughs> yeah. on, on the side. <laughs> yeah, um, too. I actually felt bad. Uh, in all seriousness, how are you guys doing? How are you guys recovering from uh, the first day of competition? I'm doing better now. It was kind of rough, but that's okay. Yeah, you tweeted out saying, like, uh, the worst part isn't necessarily just, like, the results, but you're, like, worried that people are going to be like, yeah, I just know you high-rolled. Uh, talk to me a little about the mental, like, journey that you're going through as you're qualifying as an underdog, and now you're trying to make a name for yourself in TFT. I mean, yeah, like, going into regionals, like, after the, like, week or so of in-housing, like, I was feeling, like, really, really prepped and, like, confident on the patch. And then, like, um, I went into, like, game one of, like, had an insane heart steel spot um didn't hit my units on roll down and then like the two people that had less gold than me then that hit all the two stars that i'm going for so like i don't know what i'm supposed to do uh game two i'm playing like hologram lulu with like bis augments and my roll down just of one nico two echoes so like i have no front line i just go instant eighth and then like after like just like three points going into game three it was like kind of hard to uh kind of hard to focus up yeah. a little bit tilting and then after that i was just kind of jover 
Got it. Um, All right. Uh, now, well, Kendrew, we need you to other... turn on your cam for us, if you can. Oh, yeah, yeah. Turn on your webcam, because uh, I think people want to put a face to the the name of Kendrew, because we've heard, we've heard a lot about Kendrew a lot. Um, I mean, okay, in all honesty, when you when you hear us, uh, say, are, are you taking that person, or are you kind of laughing alongside everybody else? Because you're, you're, you're in chat, you're spamming like, no way, man. Da, 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 da. I'm just kind of curious about your oh. reaction. Uh. About what? Sorry, what? When you, <laughs> you know what? Never mind. Don't worry about it. Uh, DK, <laughs> can you say something? Oh, my God. That's Wait, is okay. DK here still? Oh, I guess DK might be fixing his mic. <laughs> DK is dead. Wow. Oh, okay, hello? Uh, hello? Hello. Okay. Oh, that's better. Okay. That's better. better? Yes. Okay. That's better. Yeah. Okay, okay, fantastic. Hello, hey, Kane Drew. Welcome Kane to the Drew. cast. Wait, wave hi to everybody. All Ooh. right. Sounds good. Sounds good. Uh, okay, so uh, did, did you all get a chance to chat with Rain or other competitors uh, uh, before today? I mean, only Rain, I guess. Um, obviously, we talked to Rain. Did, did, uh, did, did Rain, you, I, did you VOD review yesterday? Oh, uh, other people did. I was, I was like AFK all day. Um, but yeah, I, I know. I think DK was hanging out there. Yeah, actually, um, this is this is probably my first time hearing Cage's voice since Friday. Um, <laughs> so I was actually, uh, I was worried about this guy because I thought he was in the dumps, but. No, he's no, okay no. now. Okay, DK, you sound <laughs> like you're in much better spirits. Uh, how did you handle your regionals uh, day one exit? Um, honestly, I mean, well, I've, obviously, I've had some time to think about it. Um, I think the biggest thing that happened was towards the end of the scrim cycle, like my confidence was just really, really low. Um, and so, <laughs> Wait, really, that's interesting. Um, People were hyping um, you up. One trick. <laughs> yeah, it's it's no, it's funny because I I can tell I can tell the story later, but I I remember telling Rain and Kendry that I I think at some point I should have stopped scrimming because, oh. um, because essentially I kept scrimming trying to find my confidence back and then it just never came back. So interesting. Okay. Um, uh, because you know I don't, I don't know if you know DK, but Kerm was gassing you up to Bryce and trying to say like, Yo, Bryce, you got to pick this uh this DK guy. Oh, damn, um, that's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I I thought my meta read was good. Um, I mean, Kendra laughs because I think uh, I'm I'm pretty anti pilled, but um... <laughs> what? <laughs> like you try to reroll any every time you can? Yeah. So I mean, <laughs> Wait, by... how many anti games do you play on day one? Uh, well, I played one. I forced it in my last game when I was when I was guaranteed out. But uh, okay, uh, okay. I can t I can tell this story now. So on Friday, this is after I had finished scrimming in the morning and. Like nothing was going right. I hadn't top four a game. Mm -hmm. I think in fifteen games, I had two top fours, and both of them were Annie games. Oh, okay. <laughs> and and so I was in the shower, and I had an epiphany. I was like, "Oh my gosh, this is just like, what if I just became Aegon in set four, and I just played Spirit Sharpshooters every game?" Oh. <laughs> um, and so I told I, I told Kendrew about it, and he instantly shot it down, and he was like, "Hell yeah. oh, no! Why would you? Why, <laughs> the, why the heck would you do that?" I was in the that's shower shoot thinking down. about Andy. That's, yeah. that's a good shoot. Yeah. Down. <laughs> friends, friends, don't <laughs> let <laughs> friends twenty out of twenty <laughs> Andy <laughs> in regionals. We're screaming, oh, we're screaming, God. and he's like, "All right, I'm hard contesting, hard forcing Annie with zero Annies." <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and, and it, it didn't go that well, right? Is that what happened? Who um, left? Oh, no. I mean, that game actually it it went okay. Um, but I guess looking back, considering how poorly my day one went, I I think now, what if I just hard force Annie every single game? Okay, wow, okay. done okay. better. But so Annie was the tech. I mean, for uh, that DK. was my tech at least. That I was, was very very high because my big thing was I was really high on one cost reroll. I mm -hmm. think the Yasuo tech was. Or people were pretty high on Yasuo as well, um, oh, wow. so That's I kind of steered fair. away from that and leaned more into Annie. I actually thought Annie was pretty good, but I think so too. Bryce actually was talking about Annie a lot. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I agree. I, I agree with your read that one cost is underplayed, but uh, but I don't think that you would have done well. I think it's possible like, that you should like maybe put that one to bed. No re no regrets on that one. I'm pretty sure you would have gone. E even more dead last. <laughs> <laughs> All good. I like that you're up in spirits. Okay, game number two. We're in Crescendo. Uh, is there any tech in Crescendo? Like Prismatic Glass Augment? Anybody? Uh, not that I'm aware of. Infernal uh, Contract with Bailouts? Is Golden the worst egg. shit ever. Holy fuck. <laughs> Crescendo is so bad. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Wait, wh why do you hate, like, you hate it because silver there's so many broken silvers early and then same thing with prismatics uh, late so it's just high variance 
specifically because okay so for everyone knows that like for two prismatic is like yeah. the most variance right yeah but it's even more variance when you don't have um when you have a low like low impact augments earlier because mm -hmm. like at least like triple prismatic the last prismatic ma matters less but in this one all of your combat powers in four two so like or all of your uh, augment powers in four two so it's just all high roll assuming you even hit a combat augmented four yeah two, well, that's part of it feels it. like <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes like overwhelming force unleashed arcana yeah. and uh blinding speed and you're like what uh, this, this, <laughs> this is my primary beef uh, with prismatics is that they're yeah. way over skewed <clears throat> away from combat so they create you should there should be more generic prismatic augment power Anyone know anyone at Riot that could maybe can I, influence something about can I, that? Yeah. Can I explain to you, actually, um, maybe like some of the reasoning that uh, design has behind that? To yeah, my yeah understanding, go ahead. Go ahead. At That's least. actually really interesting. Go for it. Yeah, so this is something that like I've brought up before, and um, I think that it's not that, like, you know, people acknowledge this uh, in the office, but part of the goal for Prismatics, at least, is to try and uh, persuade people to kind of play the game in ways that they might not or something sure. like that, or add like these exciting moments. And for a really large portion of the player base, something mm -hmm. like Harmasis is not that exciting. Look, that's super fair, and I have no no objections. I, I think 2-1 Prismatic accomplishes that goal, feels like very well. Yeah. I think the, the beef is That's the easiest just, place to do yeah, it. Yeah, right? it is yeah. by far the easiest place to do it. By the time you're at 4-2, you're not influencing me to play the game differently. You're just, you're just, you're just <laughs> giving someone else something giga broken for their board and giving me something that sucks. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I agree, except 4-2 uh, has the golden egg, and I'm, I'm hoping we see a golden egg at least. Yeah, I mean, it's not that anyone. I hate like every aspect of it. I just think that the overall, it's not even the balance of the augments itself, it's like the distribution no, of I offerings. Understand. I mean, I, I know you know that I'm more with you on, yeah. on this type of thing, just from like oh. how I, well, like where I sit and like how I play the game. Totally, you know, totally. Like and I think that's, uh, that's valid, because I don't think anyone really here is going to be like, whoa, Harmus is 3 Pog, or uh, back when we had Thrill the Hunt 3, it's like, you know, yeah. no, one, no one's so excited about that. Uh, Rain took Pandora's and slammed Nashers, so it looks like a run back angle. Uh, so Nashers is mainly for Senna. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, why why not Nashers for like other compositions like maybe Seraphine? I mean, you can, but it, it but if you have Pandora's and you're going BIS, then uh, you wouldn't probably Nashers Seraphine. Okay. And and also if you have the choice to, if you have the choice between playing Senna and Seraphine just generically in stage two, I would take Senna for sure. I think it's pretty clearly emerged as the strongest two cost. <gasps> Yeah, you also not catch. You won't catch Rain ever playing Seraphine. Um, oh, so interesting. Yeah, she just is it that she thinks she's Seraphine just, sucks. She's just not a believer. Okay. She's just not a believer in it. Um, we yeah, she's we've, a we, we, <laughs> we vod reviewed together. I've watched some of her vods, and I actually don't understand because I would do the exact same thing she did, and her placements are yeah. just completely different. <laughs> you know, it, it was like it was like week one of scrims. Me and DK were like kind of Seraphine believers. Um, because we always did well with it, and then I think I, I don't know I don't know how I feel about it now, but like I feel like slowly we we're like oh yeah this comp's actually not that good. Why why do you think it struggles from your it? perspective? Like in scrims, it was averaging like a five point two or something like that. Why do you yeah. think it struggles so much? I don't know. Uh, like it dominates stage three, but it just doesn't uh, like convert usually without Lulu three, Re two, Echo three. Like okay, yeah, I yeah. can see that. I, I can see that for sure. I think Seraphine out of the major rerolls definitely hedges the hardest on like the dual carries of like the four costs mm -hmm. or the Lulu three. Um, yeah. It also can never kill Zed. Yeah. That's, right. Until you, you, you need already. the single target yeah. of something else. Yeah. Whereas, I also like, will Senna say that. Uh, yeah. Oh, go ahead. No, no, you're fine. Yeah, I, I, I also will say that uh, I think Senna, or not Senna, Seraphine is uh, extremely tempo oriented, whereas mm -hmm. uh, Rain is very used to KL two being incredibly stable through through stage four. Uh, and Seraphine is just not like that, so. Okay. It's really yeah. interesting. R Rain gets a Senna on Carousel, by the way. Yeah. It's Very it's nice. actually, I think it's interesting that Rain is doing so well in the tournament in spite of, like, kind of closing herself off to one of the major reroll lines. Well, well I, I think know she's that... She's closed herself. Sorry, go for it, Dan. Oh, I was just going to say that uh, uh, she has been rerolling, like, a lot, but mm -hmm. uh, I, I think it's more like she's kind of sticking to what is the good reroll, and Seraphine is mm -hmm. a exactly. cause you don't have to play around. Exactly. Mm -hmm. she's, she's, it's, it's that she's picked the right set of reroll lines to play around. I think yeah. that speaks for a lot of her success. Yeah. Uh, shifting gears entirely... To shifting gears. Hey. Uh, He's got max value as well. <laughs> this guy is a pro caster. This, kind of like a genius. <laughs> this, this augment is super underplayed. I think it is yeah, so yeah. good. And Dish Soap is putting on a, a switching gears master class with, the, right, with the with the lost win. <laughs> I mean, he, he actually is. He actually is. He's about okay. to win this. He's about to win this fight. 
and, okay. and then yeah, get yeah, yeah, more yeah. gold. Like he he can make twenty here if he wants to. It's true. And and is this is something that enables disco by any chance? Any disco? Believe okay, DK can't draw either of you disco. Oh, believers. oh the lab the lab used to be really hard disco believers. I know that. Really? Oh well, I, I don't no know no! When it's, when it's not launched, uh, they literally only know how to play disco. Yeah. But I, I was not one of them. I was not one of them. Okay. okay. Um, but yeah. I, I don't know. I like Disco. I, I would prefer to play it from like a like a five street because I think that's what Disco allows you to do. Would um, you say Blitzcrank 3 but... is very good in this line? <laughs> uh, uh, I prefer T3. <laughs> I don't know. I've seen, I've seen Blitz 3 lose. Okay, 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 okay. Just, well, I'm just curious. I'm just curious. That's all. Oh, yeah. man. <laughs> <laughs> press event that. that was beautiful by the way thank you thank you uh press event easy win no streak no one uh, on a streak except for kiyun well technically dish soap is kind of on a streak if true. you think about it's it yeah right. yeah in a much more real sense dish soap is the is the streaker right now right because yeah. everyone no one else is also streaking is a huge benefit for him I mean, to yeah. get he, gold again he's up so really much econ ahead. yep mm -hmm. oops sorry why did click on the PP. Oh, and, and he, he it looks like he's going to lose. Yeah. This is yeah, like the easiest he, way to you guys do are it. Sound like, yeah, you guys yeah. are making it sound like putting Nami 2 on the bench oh is some God. revolutionary Ingenious I mean, oh, how could he have thought to do something like this? <laughs> oh. He is, if you went into a lab wait. and built a TFT wait, player, it would he, look like I, the PP. Except for guys, I think he won. I think, uh, yeah, oh, wait, hold sure. on. I mean, it's the bar. It's the bar. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, no. oh part single it. target. No, he's going get it. Oh, oh wow. the PP oh, does it again. PP's in the chat, crazy. everybody. I'm getting in on it. <laughs> he just can't keep doing it to them. He like can that. keep doing he it to them. He can't keep getting away it's with it. Perfection personified. Iniko, there's a there's a rumor that says that it's like the because you uh, lose or win best of creep rounds, the lose, the loss is what counts for it. Is that just the default state of switching gears? Oh, I don't play the game. I don't know. Okay, well, sorry. <laughs> wait, anybody, I, I wait are you saying he's gonna get gold from winning this round? Uh, no, no, it's for for okay. two, no, no, for, no, no. for one, okay. stage one. Or okay, okay, okay. I, okay. I was gonna say. I, I would believe it honestly. I would yeah, actually. You, you lose to one. You, you have to lose yeah. to one. Yeah. It, it, imagine if it was tactical to lose to Krugs, you can get three gold. <laughs> that, now that would that be doesn't, next level. It, listen, it's okay to lose to one Krug. Switching yeah. gears value. It, losing, losing by one Krug is fine. <laughs> How far we've come along. The, the, whether or not he slams here is going to say a lot about his game. Yeah. I mean, it's it's in his favor to slam if he's still playing around switching gears. I just don't know if he wants to still play around oh. switching I mean, he's gears. He's so rich, he doesn't that, have to. Ooh, it's a Gragas. It is. Yeah, it's about? good. Oh. It's good right now. But you can't you, uh, you can't do it and keep disco. Well, you could probably. Might, uh, might uh, keep I kind of like it. You can you move the sunfire. Sword later. You want to move sword sword later anyway to like bard because when you make a Trojan, you want it on bard. But yeah, I think he wants fan. to keep uh, the Nico. Yeah, I, I was gonna say he wants to keep the Nico for super yeah. fan, yeah. which I think is really valid. Yeah. Today I learned that super fan Nami is Archangels. I did not know yeah. that. Uh, okay. This is a little bit so weird. So he wants to win this fight. Will he slam the set fast? I don't think he needs to. I don't. Uh, it's five versus six. Yeah. So like he, he has, has that advantage. He has, he has Sunfire. So this Vi is gonna. Yeah. And now the the yeah, Nami's not to this. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the Vi. Wow. Yeah. Still typically, still perfect streaking. Typically the three item Vi is like pretty intimidating, but he has yeah. really good tools to deal with it with really the Nami good. and the bar yeah. and like high single target. And also it feels like Disco in stage two and three oftentimes is just an anti heal check. Like unless their board is way stronger than yours, you just have so much power from the trait. Yeah. Master class from Dish Up so far. Here comes the three two. Keepers. Keepers. Oh, keepers. oh okay. Oh, this, this is a Dish Oh okay. I want to see Preston cash out. Uh, he's uh, no, raise. raising. In disco. He's raising, right? <laughs> He'll raise for sure. Well, if he raises, do you sell Vi? Because you can, you could theoretically. I guess you can just not level. I think you just don't level. Check pool. Yeah. You just raise. Because Rain's level. getting strong, right? Like for yeah. sure, she's getting strong this turn. He has to scout first, right? Wait for everyone to pick their augments. Yeah, I guess we can come around. back to it. We replay with cybernetic bulk, just soap with support, and got Aegis. Not bad. It's really, really good. good. It's really good. Keon gets remember your roots, and looks like he's holding. Well, he was holding a Lulu pair. He's so, playing Seraphine. Seraphine, Seraphine. Yeah. He's, he's, okay. he's playing Seraphine or Lulu. Okay. okay. Uh, press events. Did use the raise the stakes, by the way. Love to see it. And he did sell he by. So, you know, this is one that's kind of interesting. I think that the more I watch this, the less I like people doing this. I think you do. I mean, obviously, we saw Malala get griefed, although a very different situation. But I think that press event can build a board that's capable of killing more units that is, yeah. Yeah. like... And that was the difference between Forsten because Forsten won with five HP, yeah. and he needed to kill three units across his entirety yeah. of his uh, raise of stakes. I mean, Preston killed two here, so that's actually not bad. In the Maybe three. even three. Actually, this is fine. This. Oh, this is actually totally oh, fine. Oh, clutch! Yeah, this is good. You, who who would never do this, Kane Drew? <laughs> rain, rain, rain. Oh, I know we're we're specifically Vodrigain, 
and like she would never raise the stakes on three hearts steel and purposely make your board weaker for this like i i think wow. a lot of us are like under the uh understanding that it's better just to save hp and then like go for a cash out later yeah okay but, it, like hard souls become a stage four trait almost more than it's yeah because like because like raise the stakes three is just not a lot like it's just three okay three, three hearts is just not a lot rain it's currently awesome. playing around kale but uh likely just as an item holder yasuo reroll for degree tiki what do you think about this spot for yasuo <laughs> uh, I mean, no GA is a little suspicious. We'll get it. Well, we'll he'll get super it. fan. Oh, um, yeah, not yet. Yeah, not yet. yeah. yeah. So, he also he he also had seven Yasuos on two one, so he has really? not he hit one. Seven since. on two one. He did? Yeah. That's he had seven. He had six or seven on two one, and oh, he has not hit oh, a copy oh, since. Oh, so, God. I mean, Gifts is really good. Wow. It's like one of his best dog wins. That feels so bad That's because this, terrible. that means that w the spot was like insanely good, and I really like. I think part of the adjustment playing Yasuo is tempo slamming and then uh, and then super fanning off items to then get your BIS. Yeah. No spatulas. That's even worse. A degree has a vest on Ari. He gets vest, so he gets edge if he wants it. Oh? He's taking Yasuo? Oh, is he that wow. desperate? Oh, that's crazy. Wow. And because this is I mean, not the stacking. Tempo. The stacking is important. Yeah, it's yeah. really important. Wait, he has, oh, wait, he has, uh, he has the uh, augment, right? He has gifts. No. Gifts of the fall. No, the first one. Oh, component? Oh, Pandora's. No, I think he has Buffet. I think he had Buffet. Buffet, yeah. Buffet, that's what so I he, oh, So his next oh, drops, oh. he can kind of guarantee it. I, I have it on pretty good authority that's Buffet. <laughs> oh, sorry. Jimmy or Warren? Uh, yeah. Hmm? Jimmy or Warren? <laughs> oh, good question. Okay, oh, so okay. he hits Yasuo 3. He knew. And that's the tempo that oh. he needed. I mean, it has to be correct. Yeah. I can see it's, it with buffet. It's it's a you you never want to make a decision like that, yeah. but it uh, sometimes you just have to. Makes sense. Dish up still on super fan Dude. disco. This noob has gotten no switching your value <laughs> this stage. I can't believe it. <laughs> this is your PP. Rare miss by PP. <laughs> Interesting. No, I, was, I was all chosen for a round. <clears throat> Get that switching gears. <laughs> yeah, I gotta, get, gotta get that switching gears out here. He has a Nami 2 ready to go, and he also has a lot of gold on his bench. He could actually sell a lot if he wants to. I'll be I'll be curious to see what line he chooses to play, because he definitely does not have to play disco here, so yeah. he, he's he's open to both of them. That was another thing I was gonna say as well, is like all he has committed is a Sunfire ability. Yeah. He yeah. actually could just still play yeah. anything open. So he's holding this like uh Zed yeah. and Heart Steel. And he's getting switching yeah. cures value. He's also nice Nami too. Yeah, he's he's really yeah. okay with just like losing if if he has to because it's yeah. just the plus three. Goal. I don't think he. Oh. I don't. Think, ooh. Oh, like you don't okay. want to. You're just like chilling. He does, yeah, he it. doesn't. He doesn't want. You can even roll for. You would roll here. Steel. No, I mean probably not. But no, but no, but like. Okay. Okay. It's not five. Are you on bench? No, 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 no. Yeah, Are you on bench? Well, we'll, get, we'll get five. We'll get five. Don't you worry. No, 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 no. no. I okay. don't think. I don't think you uh, ever. I don't think you ever take this. No, no, no. I don't think Dish Soap would ever take this no, either. No. Okay, I'm I'm sold. I think uh, he would take it. He, he 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 his version of AD Flex right now is maximum HP preservation. It's not about playing around yep. the hard steel. It's not about raising the stakes. Yeah, I think I think unless he is getting like tiny titans or tiniest titans towards larger legends, you're not going to see Dish up raise the stakes this tournament. This is Kiyun trying to secure a 100 HP streak into Wolves. Amazing start for Kiyun so far. Yeah, his spot yeah. is great. I, I'm so surprised that he got like a clean 100 streak. Must have been a combination of good matchmaking and uh, I mean, his board is pretty strong. His board is very strong. Okay. Let's see, Pressman's cashed out here in just a sec. Oh, wait, Dishop's oh, still fighting. Three hearts short. Uh, three hearts short from, oh, 200. 200 is where you get like rating items and things that's like that, rough, right? That's rough, that's rough. This cat is obsessed with Aniko, by the way. Like, no matter where Aniko yeah, sits, this cat sits. She, uh, she, she likes. She, she wants to go home with you. Tao has I'll Tao has it. great taste. <laughs> I will allow it. Uh, I understand. Uh, Press event. Does he have to four one here, or does he can four two? You can four two. Come. I mean, if he gets a bunch of gold here, you you can four one. But I would be really I would be really worried about four one in this spot. Without it, yeah, no way he can forward. His items are yeah. a little sus as well. Uh, that yeah. helps. What are we doing here? I, I mean, I definitely does help. Yeah. He has no frontline items right now. Slam. Yeah, I mean, you're slamming. You, you, These you are two front. These are two Yeah, yeah. Okay, got it. Like you have to IE. You have to IE here, right? Yeah. 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 And then yeah. you just. Slam. Isaac can hold you over for a turn if you want a four two, but. And you crown guard. Four two for four. Oh, he's going level eight. Oh, he's Press four seven. one. He's, he's four, four one. one. Wow. He's so broke. Yeah, he basically just rolled once. Okay. It's, it has to be because the line's so contested, right? Uh, it might be. Surfing three for Kiyun. 
I mean, hold what? I don't. I where? wonder. I wonder if you ever just. Oh, rain center, rain center three. Oh, nice. Well, Ken, Keyun had a lot of age, uh, gold. Remember, he was like seventy-five gold. Yeah, but going he, had, into it. he had one Seraphine. Yeah. I was I was gonna say this actually. I was saying I wonder if you ever just adaptive the gin now because you're locking front line, so you often end up slamming adaptive anyway for yeah. your front line. So like it's strong as sport. I'm really surprised sense. you didn't slam Crown Guard. Is it like anti, it. It's anti heal? I, I think he wants yeah anti heal and edge of night for Zed, right? So I he has see, two things I to see. play around on huh. Carousel. Whereas Crown Guard is more of like a backup type option. Yeah. This feels like a panic move from Preston. This spot is terrible. This feels like a panic I, move. I think he should have four two. I don't think you can four one here. I really don't. Lotus is a combat. Lucky Govs. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I think you have to take it. Mm -hmm. Takes JL. I like JL. Yeah. He's got to hit something that. I mean, this yeah. is this is uh, very he probably takeable. Has to take this. this is very takeable. The thing Sounds is, the thing, the thing about Preston's spot from a Mac perspective, by the way, he went eighth game number one. If he goes eighth again, it's really bad. It's yeah. very, 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 very unlikely that he's gonna be going through. Okay. He touches the gin. <clears throat> Forces Smurf account. Back at the well. Five hard steel for three rounds. Finds a Viego. Degree. Like oh, wait, he wasn't rolling down. Uh, that spot for four seconds also pretty sus. Check out uh, the P God in rain spots. Uh, yeah, so rain hits center three. Soap's just cooking, by the way. Radiant oh, GS. Oh, Radiant GS. Wow. Ooh. Radiant so Relic's she'll... third option, though, is like something you really don't want to usually have to play around. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. So she'll re-roll the Nasher. Yeah. I think that makes a front line oh maybe? my god! Wait a second. <laughs> yeah. I mean, radiant GS. Uh, is yeah. I mean, this her is no, this is really good. This, this is, is really Turbo Bis Senna. Her that autos really are like out. chunking people. It's crazy. She's yeah. an AP champion. I think yeah, like, probably even like even sorry, sorry. Radiant item. Probably the only radiant item that's better here is radiant Death cap. cap. Yeah, Death but, Death cap. Um, I mean, Demon Slayer is as good as it's gonna get. Yeah, Demon Slayer's mid. Demon Slayer. We got we got a knowledge. I like the item though. <laughs> okay, so More master. So oh, okay. Soap is <laughs> falling to HP a little bit, but I think that Soap spot doesn't. Well, I mean, he has fucking no front line. Holy yeah. shit, his front line is But bad. he has Aegis. Should... That helps. It helps. It does. This is replay play spot, by the way, as well. KDA Kali. Also no front line. And it Ari. seems like everybody has no front we some, line. We got some Ari enjoyers. Everyone's mm -hmm. so Lovely. weak. Yeah. yeah. This is Keen spot. It's actually what I was thinking. Keen is chilling. One star super fan front line. Everyone's contesting each other. <laughs> Nobody can find it. Three way Ari and Kali yeah. contest. Oh, Rain has the strongest front line with a stone plate Mordekaiser. Too. <laughs> <laughs> like, but in that case, that means this was front line's not even that bad then. Yeah. Because uh, it's holding up relatively well. It's not even that bad. What? what Malala's spot good, here. Uh, oh, okay, healthy Kale. Yeah, Kale. Kale Morello. Seems good. I don't think it's. I don't think it's bad by any means. I mean, it's better because everyone's front line is so bad. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. But uh, the spot in gen just generally speaking does not look very good. He's like he has reasonable health as well. I think. Yeah, but a lot of the time you just be free falling from here. He yeah. loses again. So many weak boards. Overall yeah. power level in this lobby is crazy low. For a prismatic yeah. throw too. Very yeah. surprising. Kiana with a tier. Not help anybody. Okay, degree immediately go. Oh, he's playing Yasuo, so he, he likes that. Sona. Another Aria. That might be like the last Aria of the pool. Just yeah. put it out there. His options are pretty bad if you're high HP. I mean, there's defensive options at least, I guess. But yep. Just hope I'm for the sword, though. We replay pretty uh, unsure about what he wants as well. Hop on board with him. I, I feel like he's one of the candidates who might free fall into a, like a sixth or a seventh. Mm. The, I mean, oh, is his Ari. He's looking That's... for Karthus, the EO? Wow. Is wait. he looking for AD? Okay, Zed I don't too. understand. He is, I don't he has, understand. Oh, either. He is looking for AD. He is looking like, for AD. He's he actually has, just he's... straight up looking for Ezreal. Oh my god, he's pivoting into he could, he could actually take this Caitlyn, yeah, and then blue buff the Zed. I think, I think he can actually stick in this if he wants to for a while. Cooking. All right. Uh, we have no items for Caitlyn. He has to get binary in. I mean, like, greeting this is blue buffing the Caitlyn, right? He has to get binary in. This yeah, is like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, he oh, fucked this up so bad. APM diff? That is, oh, that, that is like, one of, the, that's like one of the worst turns we've seen all tournament. This is exactly what I was talking about when I VOD reviewed him, by the way. It's a, he, he's so good, but then sometimes he's so bad. Like, this oh, wow. is... This Such is, insight. Such... Depth in your analysis. <laughs> what do you mean? Do you, do you, see, do you catch dish soap doing that? Fuck no. Like, there's oh, no way man. dish soap does that. <laughs> I will say um, that's almost a re replay patented move where, like, he's really good, but, like, what, once every other game, once every three games, he just kind of makes, like, a 
like a very strange and uncharacteristic error, yeah. except yeah. it is characteristic of him. He was just about to play for he was to play for placements. Like yeah, he, he just like lit twenty HP on fire for fun. Uh, like, yesterday he was like doing this like fancy positioning with his Zed, and they position like a Zed in like the one spot he could get trapped. Yeah. loses a fight, and that costs placements. Yeah, yeah. and that's yeah. this is exactly what you see of his play. You is have that, to. It, it's just that, clean that the up. highs are really high, but the lows are low, especially if you're when we're talking about the tier one that we're putting him yeah. in. Like yeah. the Wage and the Setsukos, the dish subs, they're not doing that type he's, of stuff. He's more prone to blunders than he, them for sure. Yeah. I mean, I, you, I sure. would say in the average tournament, he probably has more blunders than like most of like these type of blunders than the rest of them combined. But it's but how insane is it that he's this good that he can make up for that with his edge? Yeah, for sure. This is Precivin's board looking pretty decent. Akali two with his Zach two, very hard combo to, to take down quickly. His spot's gotten a lot better. He just needs to set yeah. up like what, like one upgrade oh, wow. otherwise from this Akali to get a good Zach. duo carry on his board, and he's chilling. Fortune's worth the cow, is he dead? <gasps> for he first dead. eighth? Oh. Wow. Oh. oh my gosh. We already did the bingo, man. Come yeah, on. I mean, <laughs> that's right. That's huge. Oh, that's even it up, now, um, yeah. It's it's big oh, time no. even up. Also, degree still still no Azure Knight, so hopefully he can get it here. But... Oh, you're right. Oh, I mean, surely really with, he needs with to... Buffett. He needs to pop off. Wait, he needs why to pop is he not off. popping off? Like he really, really, really needs to pop off. Right. Okay, 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 okay. He, he knows. knows. Okay. Right. Yeah. Right? Uh, he, he can put it, yeah, he can put it on right now. No, no. Oh, he no. Just, oh, 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 wait, no, he's doing a super fan. Oh, he's just not going to play it. He's just not going to play it. That's fine, too. That's fine, too. That's fine, too. Okay, okay, okay. As long as he gets it on somehow, that's yeah. all we care about, right? Like, I, I guess it's just like if you... Three animals. Yeah. Surely oh, there is three one chain. vest. One chain. There is no way. Three coin flips. Three hit the fifth. I mean, Soju yesterday misses vest here. Oh, oh blue buff Kiana. Okay. Yeah, buff. yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Not the worst. Okay. 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 He's like a glove. Yeah, I'm curious about the glove actually. Maybe Hodge. It's probably Hodge Gunblade. Hodge Gunblade. Yeah. Okay, I can I can rock with that. Interesting. You guys don't I, like I, blue buff I, for the fast. I'd rather rock with the blue buff, but that's okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, I personally Ooh, like blue. He buff can a itemize Viego. I was gonna say, here, do you ever actually, just itemize yeah. Viego instead? Yeah, this is for, better. Like, I'd Gunblade, Gunblade Viego. It's better for sure. You would. Yeah. Going up against Rain. Rain has Kiana three items. Oh gosh. Holy shit. Rain's a cheater. Can he? Nah. <laughs> the Yasuo is Yasuo gonna get access to Senna? Uh, I think uh, Senna's yeah. about no, to get access to Yasuo. Is Yasuo <laughs> just gonna get fucking insta kill? Uh, oh. Man, Raid is oh, such man. a shooter. I actually cannot believe this. Is Degree dead? And she gets a blue buff for her Ari. Wait, There's no yeah, way. Why is the blue buff not combining? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, crazy. The biggest, the biggest rain hate watchers are in the yeah, lab. Yeah, I thought, I thought are we invited that's you because they've been, that's been hiding on. the whole time. <laughs> no, no, not, not a I blue buff, just, just a tear. Just a dude, tier. It, it, I mean, it's not gonna happen. What if Kiyun 100 <laughs> this lobby? Oh yeah, what the heck? Yeah, we look over. Yeah, has... I, I keep looking up, waiting for him to lose fights. It hasn't happened yet. So DK was talking about this. It's like Seraphine is so tempo dependent, and just that she's he's so far ahead, and everyone else is so weak. He's like soaring past everyone. This is a game yeah. where Seraphine can go first. Has, yeah. he, has he just dodged? His front line's crazy. His front yeah. line's crazy. Has, has he dodged oh, Rain? Because so it feels like Rain, rain would should beat, him. beat this board. Yeah, I think Rain should beat him. Probably. I mean, we know he hasn't played it at least for one fight. Disop on the other side. Oh, no, it's Malala. Malala, excuse me. Popped off the uh, Morello off Kale with Super Fan to get the Gunblade on. Smart. And then. Does also have a Karthus 2, but with just a Quicksilver and a Glove. That's actually a lot of AP that he got. Yeah, his his board's coming together. So, bigger picture. His board's Ki pretty good. Kiyun has enough HP. Do you ever angle 10 and full Legendary transition here? Because if we're worried about the Seraphine cap, like, can you uncap this board and basically just full sell? I, I, I think you can if you, can, if you get to uh, 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 9 and you have Sono 2 and you hit RE2. I think that should be good enough, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I don't know about full Legendaries, but I think RE2 is, like, the way to cap. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't know if you can make it to hard. 10 in this game. Like, you have, you're going to have to roll a lot of gold on 9 for Sonos. Oh, Dish just had 11 HP. Oh my oh, god, wait, he, the switching gears. I mean, he's a victim of the whole entire lobby playing the same exact line. He couldn't find any Ezreal's or Zed's this whole time. Yep. Oh no, it looks like such a good start. It's Ghost at least. Okay, yeah. Ghost fight, Re replay at 15 HP. Going against Kiyun, and this might be one of those oh, situations where Kiyun so is dead. getting free wins. He looks so dead. Gonna rod his Zed for binary. That feels really bad. Yeah, <laughs> Zed, Zed's about to die to Are the Are you guys sure that he loses this fight? Uh, It's not looking great. 
I just feel like Kiyun sacking, and so these are good rounds for Riri play to go against. Yeah. No, it is for sure, but like uh, even so, it's not it's enough. Not he's not just too weak. Wow. He's dead. Wow. Yeah. Sixth wow. and seventh yeah. were Riri play. Rain lost. Who did Rain lose to? Was it Kiyun? Prestivant. Prestivant. Prestivant is coming way back. Ooh. Lost against. A colleague carry. Jazz and a jazz rapid, rapid, oh. rapid, rapid fire on, on Lucian. Oh. I wonder if Rain can use that. Disso, oh, no. your gold. Switching gears. Yeah, Rain can use it for sure, right? <laughs> Disso is jazz. 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 That's big. Jazz. Jazz. Malala, pick up is the gold. It, actually, is it big? Can he use no, it? No, no, there's a bug. <laughs> Whoa. That, that is, that's what your gears hold, right? That's what it is. Yeah, that's that, that, so is that is, that is. Can he use this jazz spat? Does he have it in? Oh, he has, yeah, okay, he has yeah. MF. Oh, okay, he's chilling. Yeah. I mean, he's not chilling. He could, he could get he it could in even it. if he didn't have uh, it Lucian right? would be a massive spike here as yeah, well. would be, be able to get it. Oh, God. Lucian would be insane. Right. One more rejuice and win the game. Yeah, 79 and 80. His jazz value is relatively low com yeah. compared to, to most boards you would see, though. So. Yeah. yeah, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. He sold Zach to roll for the Lucian. Yeah. This is Rain's board. Rapid fire. Four rapid. Four rapid fire. Whoa! All right, she's Super strong. Woke. She's really strong. She's really strong. This is some Kanju tech for and, rapid fire. And if she can, <laughs> she can farm it. <laughs> what does oh, that even mean? mean? Dish soap. Wait, what? Oh, she's oh. positioned so well into dish soap as well. Oh it's man! Be instant true damage because both those are non-craftable on the set, so set's gonna go down right away. Oh, our front line's dead. Our front line's dead. Oh. Okay, can he? Uh, it's just not enough. Damage. Oh, the Aphelios didn't cast, the cast, 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 cast. On the Senna, you idiot! Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Oh, 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 dead. No. What do you mean degree? Econ Lost is dead? <laughs> 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 I don't know, two more unit kills and that's a cash out. It's, okay, so it's, a, it's fifth. a fifth. It's a fifth. So it's not a bad. Ah, uh, it's back to back oh. fifths. Yeah. Not happy to see that. <laughs> Dude, Prestivant pulling this game back all yeah. the way. You can get enough people are playing around true damage Akali. I feel like this unit is like it's good. It's good. looking good. like underrated in this tournament. It's for sure, one hundred. Part of it is that it's punishing like a lot of contested boards that are weaker. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It's but true. We'll but to your point, uh, I do think people really sleep on this unit. Mm -hmm. uh, ironically enough, it was uh, re replay. That was one of the people <laughs> who really found a lot of edge with true damage Akali in particular. I will say, Precipice Frontline is just a single unit. Mm -hmm. It's um, pretty impressive how much miles he's, like, he's gotten off of just Zach 2 and then eight other units. Yeah. Eight other backline carry units. Sakali is still doing her thing. Wait, in this the front is the person line. that uh, beat Rain last time. Oh my oh god. My god. So There's just not enough damage. The Ari away from the Akali, so Akali just pops off for the whole fight. Jewel Lotus 3. Rain goes down. That is crazy. I did not. I, I don't know if anyone expected fourth there out of, uh, out of Rain. Yeah, Rain a, lost him a lot. Yeah, yeah this is such a good bounce back game for press events. Huge, huge. Uh, looks His like spot was looking terrible too. It was. It yeah. was looking really sus. Well, let's put together a really nice two healthy board as well. Uh, miss. By the way, it looked like Malala. Actually, slot is great for this two healthy. Yep. Yeah. Uh, uh, it looked like Malala actually beat Rain. So. Yeah. Yeah. It's my mistake. Um. Oh, Miss Jax too. <laughs> what's he? What's he rolling for Man, here? Just a Kali, I guess. I actually think if it's any oh. other KDA, uh, board like position or whatever it's called, that Rain would win this fight. Yeah. yeah. I think it's be specifically because it's social distancing hexes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Rain loses that fight. Is this, really is this the clear best KDA pattern? Uh, no, not really. It's actually under debate. I like the diagonal one. Well, oh, like a lot of people like so um, uh, I forgot which one it is, but you basically Dorito. have like a like a. It's not board. the Dorito, that's for sure. <laughs> no, not the, <laughs> no, not, not, not the Dorito. I'm not I'm for like sure, but it's, not, it's, like, it's like the one where you have it the is full. Not the Dorito. You have the full board, and then it kind of makes like almost like a hexagon formation. You know, you have like the three, and then the front row. Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly, I know exactly no. what you're talking and about. And it's in the back row, th four. Yeah, 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 yeah. People yeah. like that one a lot. So I really do wonder if Kiyun needs to think about ten in full transition. I just, I, I feel like, like he's thinking about it. Uh, it feels That's to me a lot of gold, dude. It's, but look at his board's a lot of gold. You don't need any of this shit. He has to sack two at least. Sack and two. Even then it's hard. Suspicious. Sack two. You could sack two to go ten with how much? You could gold? seven. You could seven one it potentially. Weren't you the guy? It? What you, is this hold guy on. talking Bra about? Was it, wasn't Bryce? You don't think he can live to seven one? <laughs> 
Wasn't Bryce the guy who said that you should write a sticky note and say don't, don't, don't breathe? Green. Yeah, but in spots like this, I mean, if you're not greeting from here, I mean, like, the question, okay, so rolling for a Kali 2, right? That's his, That's how he improves his board from here? Sona 2. Sona 2? I think Sona 2 is in the, it, yeah. or at least, at least the most realistic Sona thing Sona 2 with Lucky Gloves is really good as well. I'm personally okay. against it. Is it actually good? Like, what do you actually roll with Lucky Gloves? Because, like, Sona items are really, um... Specific. True. You, like, spe really need Rage Blade or Shojin? Yeah. But you can also like, hit six two. Up with the JG, JG I think buff. I think that the way his board is set up, <laughs> like, uh, and the way that the other boards maybe not pressing uh, it, but loses. against the Kale specifically, I'm pretty sure no matter what Sona items there, he can put it on damage, and as long as she casts once, that's good enough, and she will usually cast once. So he won a fight, so he can seven one theoretically. He could. We'll see. He, he is, he's. I think he's pumping XP. I think he wants to go ten. Yeah. No, I think he, I mean, he, he is. For sure. He is. He's going ten. The question is whether or not he's actually like pretty. Yeah. yeah. The transition. Yeah. All right. Level level ten, and then I mean, a lot of the advantage of going level ten is also uh, rolling for a, a headliner for five cost. Right. I don't think he's going to do that either, though. But I'm not sure. Maybe it's headliner Ziggs or something. He could go for Ziggs or Sona. Yeah. Ziggs. Double Sona carry. You believe in Sona headliner carry? <laughs> Double Sona, oh, wow. Me? That's crazy. Oh, I, no, I, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 yeah, no. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm, I'm on board with that. I think with these items, you could do it. I, I mean, just can, don't think can, it's going to be that much I mean, you can, gen, you can gen, you can blue buff GS, last item gen. You could. And, and, and then you just put the Shojin and the Morello I, on, I, on a Ziggs, and I, then you just put oh, infinite wow. front line with these Preston TGs. Loses? I think you're right. But he's but winning. I think if he's that's, winning, he's fine. Yeah, and, and I also think that's like so many calories to do in a 7-1 transition turn. So many calories. He when, might like, just win anyways. Yeah, he might win. I mean, it's, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I'm not saying yeah. I, the, this is. So, I was really theorizing if he TG. feels like he's out capped. TG Another on TG. his side. Wow. Very he's good. There's no way. Very wow. good. Okay. So Kiyun won two fights while Green at ten. It was entirely correct. That's so, not even greed. That's just correct. Do you think Rain sees this game and sees him sacking all the way to ten and is like maybe Seraphine is playable? Oh, I like <laughs> that question. I like that question. I mean, this spot. I mean, the, he, was, it, he, was, he was 16 straight wins. Uh, I mean, <laughs> yeah, wasn't it kind of yeah. uh, a crazy stars align moment for yeah, Kian to get this game? This lobby was so, like, laughably weak. <laughs> Nico was <laughs> laughing <laughs> at you. I never said I was laughing. I just said it wasn't It's the hot weak. emote. Ha. Oh, we went to 10 now. That was one of my favorite moments. He, he's just emotes. trying to close it out. Oh, for what? It's five, for spell what? Spell five spell. Five spell. Okay. Five spell weaver is very, very good. It and I know sure. Kyun is big on yeah. five spell weaver, apparently, from what I heard. <laughs> night, so. I mean, the breakpoint so jump is nice. Slander. You get extra AP. Yeah, it's really good. It's very worth it. You know what's not good? Nine spell weaver. Oh, man. <laughs> I mean, it, it certainly it can't be that bad. Fight looks good, right? Like, yeah, really good. Like, looks like Kyun's got it. Stomps. He's just too far ahead. Lost circle stuck on eight. Nice. Kyun! It is so over. Rat! Wow. Not bad. Hey, I said that uh, part of the reason why I picked Keenan because I feel like he is one of the players I trust the most with the high rolls. High rolls. He, he, and he's gotten good and he, spots. And he converts off of it really yeah, well. That's a perfect example it, of My it. thing about Keenan is that it felt like if he gets to the spots for the reroll lines he wants to play, he's going to play them better. Yeah. And, and so he's going to do really well if he gets those spots. And he's gotten two really good spots for it in the first two games. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and Keenan's in a great spot so far. Uh, that brings us to a question. Uh, what is the scores looking like and who's ahead? Good bounce back game from Preston. I think he wanted a little bit more, but in reality, it's a good he could have he could have yeah, gone as, as low as seventh or eighth. He, this is a good third. So to make that comeback uh, was really good for Preston because yep. that 4 1 did not look very good. Yep. Yeah. So uh, I'm, I'm happy about that. He and AVP tied with Ri Ri. Is oh, that really? so? Oh, that's what chat says. Already? Yep. Is that so? It makes sense when you think about Wait, how really? replays games have gone versus how well, it, how Keun's games well, have gone. Well, replays really was seven. very far ahead. Wow. Uh, uh, that's not what the sheet wait. says. Oh. The sheet says oh. that re replay still says... is ahead. He's still ahead. Yeah. It, shows, it says oh, no, he's tied with Rain. Wait. Yeah, Rain oh, is. Rain. No, Rain AVP is tied. Okay, not Keun. Rain is. Oh. oh, I can believe okay, that. Okay. You said Keun. I can believe that. Well, that's what they said. No, because look at the difference. Four. Do is lost. It's, it's yeah. four between Pretty two chat. and six. Mm -hmm. And then it's three between four and seven. They were, she was seven points behind. Yeah. Rain is now Who tied eight in points AVP. Behind? Precedent. Oh, Preston. Okay. Preston was eight points behind. And so, oh my gosh. Oh, wow. All of a sudden, Rain Plosion might be AVP in. Although, if she's going no. at this clip, she's just going to get it. I mean, the problem is that replays struggled, so 
the chances that he's getting into the top three at this point is lower. Yeah, you know? that is true. He could. I mean, this is. I mean, I'm not wishing this on him at all. I would love to see him bounce back for life. I, I, this is the yeah. start of the day that could be scary for replay. That is very very yep. scary. If we were to say stop the count right now, it'd be Kiyun, Malala, Rain, and Re replay that are going to Worlds right yep. now. Uh, Malala again, very quietly put on a good performance. Uh, really good job by him so far. Yeah. Yeah. Malala. Very good at TFT. I mean, if this was our four that we sent right now, I think that's a great lineup. I it's wish Disso could go through as well, personally. But uh, that's a good four. Q and Malala, Rain, and Riri play. In, we've started to see early separation. Obviously, we're only two games in. There's a lot more TFT left to be played. But you do have very clear top three right now. Okay. Uh, but, I mean, anything could happen. Anything could happen. Uh, what do you guys think of the, the way EMEA did their format, by the way? They played, like, 12 games, and then they cut to the top eight. So everyone didn't get eliminated for bottom half. Uh, gave people a chance to play for D two. Twelve games from was it sixteen to eight or was it was twenty four to eight? Uh, it was. I think it might have been twenty four to eight, right? 20, so it was twenty. So it was twenty four. I thought it was thirty two to eight. So, oh, maybe it was thirty two. Oh, okay. So it's it so sim it's kind of similar to the idea of worlds, right? Where you give yeah. them just more sample size. Nine minute break. Oh Holy. my god. Okay. Uh, Wait, I need that format. Hello. I need that format. <laughs> I mean, I I, I like yeah, that. I, yeah. I, I think I, I think I like that format better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it feels like if um you 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 grind all set. Yeah. You're you you get to uh, regionals. You play three games and you feel like you're out of the tournament. That feels bad. The twelve games feel like it gives you like nine games to fight back. Agreed. Um. So I do enjoy that. Uh, EMEA format, I think, and I think the players like it as well, which is like the big ultimate thing. Yeah, yeah. I think as long as the players are happy, and it, uh, to be fair, it's hard to achieve that. Yes, but what are you talking about? That's a big plus. My experience with the TFT community is the players are always happy, complimentary <laughs> of the dev team, the game, <laughs> the tournament organization. Rarely everything. ever complain about anything. <laughs> yep. Hard to find things to complain about. For it's sure. just such a, it's too positive a community. I wish, I wish we would whine more. Yeah, need to make more. We actually friends. need, we actually need a Bryce W Glaze emote. <laughs> what's going we on do, here. we do. Sign uh, me up. That might be a sub Someone emote. get on it. That might be a tier three sub emote. Sign it's me w up. Glaze. Sounds and great. And just the Pepe Frog with the the, the, the Glaze. Uh, we did have a bingo. Let's go ahead and bring it up. Let's kick on some low music. Oh. Let's look at the bingo sheet, and we can do a giveaway. Yes. Um, oh, nice. Okay, yeah, we got that. We got that. Uh, all right, let's take a look at uh, the bingo sheet to show what happened, actually, if we could. So what ended up happening... Oh, this is the giveaway. No, we'll, we'll, we'll do it in the right order first. Okay, so what happened was... Malala greased his own hard steel. Yep. <laughs> so we're counting that. Counting it. And uh, we're going to do... The top row bingo. And so we'll give away, uh, let's see, 10 codes. That's 50 li little legend eggs. We'll sure. give away 20 codes. 20 codes. How that's, many do you have? To give, how many do you have? I have to give 50 away? codes. You have 50? So I'll give away 20 codes right okay. now. That seems fine, okay. right? That's sure, fair. sure. Yeah, okay. Like All right. So 20 codes right now. We're going to roll 20 random winners in chat for some free little legend egg codes. That's right. We're giving away EU prize pools. <laughs> Huge big giveaways. The stakes of your participation in this bingo is roughly equivalent to okay. the stakes of competing in E regionals. What's the keyword? What's the keyword? Uh, how about, how about uh, uh, Spencer in honor of a griefing heart steel? Okay, Spencer. I like it. Spencer. <laughs> no. Keyword Spencer. <laughs> just had Spencer. Did you guys see the. Uh... Like the S S E A. Dude, uh, Soju was the first person yeah. to type in fucking Spencer, man. <laughs> You're a billionaire. If you went to eggs. free little legend eggs. Bro, that's oh, too funny. There is, a, there is no fucking way. <laughs> oh man, that's we, too funny. More dog, more dog also users? in here. I hope I we hope can, Q, Q and Soju and Mort all win eggs here. <laughs> all right, we're gonna give away eggs in five, four, three. Two, one, let's roll it. Oh my God, if Soju wins. <laughs> wow, we Zoe, 22. Wow, we congratulations. Let's do uh, a few more. Bajello, congratulations. Are they all getting one or are they getting five getting, each? Each code has five little Okay, legends. okay, so they get four uh, winners. Yeah, so you have four winners. Okay. No, 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 we're picking, we're picking. No, no, we're, we're going to roll a lot. We're gonna, oh, okay. We have 50 codes. We, we like pressing the reroll. Oh, you yeah, yeah, we're going to roll. Yeah, 50 codes. Oh, Yeah, shit. so we're giving away 20 right oh, now. Oh, we are depressors. All right. Yep. Uh, uh, roll it. Congratulations, Zyclone. A, few, a couple more times. Zygok. Congratulations. Stuff my bra? I mean, if I have to, Dan, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Maxwell on, on, Oliver. On the broadcast? Uh, Just off stream, off stream. Okay. Almond pra Praline. Spencer, <laughs> Erd, Beer, Q. I think two more. Cool, zero, one, one, zero, and one more. Uh, Matthias. 
Congratulations. Congratulations. All right. So that was 10 people. That's 10 codes. We, we roll 10 more. I mean, we have nine more minutes or, or six more minutes. Five more minutes. I'm down to roll some more. I'm down to roll 10 more. I'm yeah. 10, 10, 10 more. 10 more. 10 more. 10 more. Here we go. Here we go. Dude, Doc bro. U. Ray D. Cheetah. Derek, 90210. Great area code. Bird. 24287. Another great area code. Is no that... clue where that is. Venator. <laughs> thank you for Venator. subscribing. Thank you for supporting. <laughs> Rikamon. Bruce oh, the yo. Moose. Bruce the Moose. That's a banger that's username. A, that's, that's a banger, banger name. Banger name. <laughs> Anjo, Anjo, thank you for saying very much. Majority SC, also a former sub Yo, as well. Wait. wait, that's Lab, that's Lab. Oh, is what? that Lab? Wait, oh, wait, what? a what? Lab member? Yeah. Oh, shit. Naisu, no Naisu. Wait, how many are we at right now? <laughs> it's Yo. rigged for wait, sure, we, we, it's rigged for sure. Are, are we at 20 or are we, are we good? That's 20? Okay, that's 20. All right, wow. thank you very much. That was our bingo giveaway. Wow. Good job for keeping track. Sorry, Soju. Sorry, disappointed. Sorry, this Q. Time, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we'll Damn. do more bingos. Actually, let's bring up the bingo again because maybe this can uh, incentivize some people who are watching. Because now that I know that Kuhn's watching, might as well oh. show him what's at stake. Wandering. Oh no! If we, we get a bingo, if a player loses to a crab. So if we're oh. at crab rave, you guys know what to do. Please for us. Crab for rave team. for more bingo eggs. That's Wait, right. Okay, if I was playing, you guys would have wandering trainer for sure. Like I would definitely step on that for you guys. <laughs> that's, that's my favorite portal. <laughs> Or a golden egg? Would you take? Would you do golden egg for us? You have to cash uh, it out. though. That's the thing. I would. Yeah, the thing is, like, I would maybe click it. I'm not cashing that shit yeah, out. Yeah, like the hardest part <laughs> is that people people don't have to like just pick it. They have to cash it out, so they have to make it. To cash Ooh, we need out. some for fun portals. To, to I mean, stat. the thing, the is funny thing symphony? is, golden egg. Oftentimes you cash out, but you just lose the, the round after, <laughs> yeah. and, then, and then you die. You one HP fighting against somebody who played hard steel or and, something. And you, and then you just yeah, you, you usually die. Um, and then there's another possibility: two players alive. Last two players alive are win streaking. So basically, like four players go down to two, but that happens to be the two players are still win streaking. That can That's happen. So it doesn't rare. happen. It's not that rare. It's not that rare. Yeah. yeah. Surprisingly. So got some matchmaking. We got crab. We got golden egg. Those are the ones to pay attention to. Also, I don't think we've seen any 10 traits, believe it or we not. We have not. Yeah. Well, well I mean, I, that's. A more to be expected. No wandering trainer. Wandering trainer okay. obviously kind of enables that, and then every, every yeah, like hard like, steel. Yeah, subscription. So. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Like exactly. Pentakill and stuff is generally yep. the easiest one. People yeah. have been playing Pentakill. So. Yeah. Okay. Uh, fantasy draft again. This is to point out the overall point totals, uh, which is re replay was at seventy seven, but look at the bottom right. Rain. The five forty seven. Or no 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 no. Oh, not not that bottom. Okay, no 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 no. no, no. That that. I mean, yes, you could look at it. Man, wait, we're waiting by a full hundred now. That's, that's embarrassing. That's kind of rough. Yeah. Uh, seventy seven to seventy seven, right? But look at who who's also behind. Uh, Forsen, three, three points behind now. So the gap is really close. Yep. Kuhn, four points behind. And so these are the players who could still make up for some of the point deficits to the to the AVP leaders. We play. I mean, honestly. At this point, like you were saying, 80, 85 percent. At this point, it's looking like less than fifty, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It, was, it was his line to lose for sure. So. Yeah, for sure. And he's got to pick it back up. these first few games, but there's still four more games for him to bring it back. So yeah, yeah. Got time. It's not like he's doomed or anything. When you were watching downstairs, broccoli, yeah. did you notice anything about re replays games at all, or no? Uh, I mean, he just seemed like he was in like a really bad spot. Definitely, yeah. Right. He um. He was salvaging he spots. His, he was screwing up his transition a little mm -hmm. bit that game yeah. as well. He definitely. Uh, I mean, that was the game where he had binary, right? And he just didn't get any yeah, binary. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. He like took like a turns. solid 15 damage just on that one turn. Just got absolutely oh. railed because of it. He just got <laughs> stunlocked, I think. Like, yeah. I, I think that in that moment, you have to make one of two decisions where it's do you want to, if you're in a full contested lobby with AD Flex, do you want to still greet it and greet for Ezreal and put the blue buff on the Caitlyn, itemize her with that? Or do you want to go for strongest board, blue buff Zed plus one on him? And like, you have to, when you have binary, you have to make that decision quickly. Yeah, because then you're you're gonna save a lot of HP at the worst the next round, you know. Uh, and he might have even won the round. I I, I didn't I don't remember the. Yeah, fight. he had that Caitlyn in his shop, and you just thinking yeah. really hard about whether he wanted yeah. to transition to it or not. When in reality, with the with that lobby just being so unfortunate for him, I think the first lobby as well was also really really unfortunate for him, where he yeah. didn't really have a, a line to go towards that he could like do solo. Um, and he just kind of basically has to play for upgrades and just hope he gets as high as he can. But it's really hard. No spots, totally so. okay so how do, what, do you have any mental trick or tricks to get your mental back on track if you kind of know like ah oh, those first two games are just terrible I, I either i messed up or like i got more dog do you have anything uh, my broccoli? personal tricks like if i'm at home mm -hmm. i will like under un, like unironically i will go outside uh into oh, my backyard you would touch and, and grass I, no no i would just no. sit there on the chair and just meditate 
You know, oh, first interesting. Like a couple that's broken. Minutes, that's you actually know? broken. And just uh, get back <laughs> in. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what my favorite my favorite tactic is that I've ever heard from anybody? I hope I'm allowed to say this on yeah. your broadcast. Sure. But it was. Do you know TXC? Do you remember when he went yeah. to Worlds? Yeah. Do you remember what he did? Uh, did he go? Did he relieve himself? Yes. In the he went in his no. He went in his backyard <laughs> and did it. He didn't do it in the bathroom. Uh, he went to his backyard uh, to do it. You know, I <laughs> really <laughs> hope. Yourself. I really what hope so no funny. TXC's neighbors are not watching. <laughs> so <this. funny. laughs> I mean, if it works, it works, uh, man. Maybe what he lives, the what heck? The, maybe he lives in like the middle of nowhere. Dude, you know? no OCE man. Yeah. Oh, he's an OCE. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah OCE man. man. He's got he's got the whole you know wilderness. He's got the whole back, back there, behind the, him. Yeah. Oh god. Yeah, that's it's nothing but <laughs> desert, anyways. Yeah. <laughs> Might as well water the plants. <laughs> Here we go. Artifact Anvil gate number three. Kiyun re replay Malala. Okay. Uh, the thing about Artifact Anvil is uh i'm wondering um, if anybody has some interesting uh like like underrated artifacts that people are willing to pick that people don't usually go for is there anybody out here that like either dk kangeroo is there like an underrated artifact item that oh, you guys like uh we don't know i've been talking to rain about like uh um manazane katarina has really good stats and we wanted to test oh. it out whenever we have a chance well that's too bad oh. she, so. she wait, is Forsen locked has a, Forsen had a, a manazane any spot Oh, wait, you know what we could see this game? We could see Anna versus Garen. So people are pointing on your chat. Oh, very, yeah, very Anna very versus Garen. <laughs> yeah. um, you like Ma uh, Mana Zane even on um, Spellweaver, Annie? Okay, yeah, it's, it's uh, Spellweaver. Never mind. I want to <laughs> point out. I want to point out. I don't even know how long you were on Forsen's board, but like DK like snapped to that Annie. Yeah, he was like, yeah, hold on yeah, a second. Yeah. Somebody has an Annie spot. <laughs> I like it. I like it. He, he's, a, he's, a, he, he's drawn to the Annie. He's Annie pill. Yeah, so. Uh, just so, by the way. Needs to kind of put together a good performance as well, kind of two fifths. We'll see who's able to kind of muster that up here. You firmly middle of the pack at the moment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Firmly in the middle of the pack. And you can see the score some jacks. Some Zonya's jacks. Oh funny. yeah, you're right. Zonya's into like yeah. a jacks reroll. I can see that. Pre level for just soap. Wow. For heart. He's seal. really going for heart. For heart seal. In the past, I feel like he said he doesn't like doing oh. this. He, no, he lost the opportunity for a character. He lost one oh, of the Oh, that's right. You uh, lose, you lose yeah. it to them. That's right. That's right. I mean, he doesn't fully lose it, but he loses one of the procs, right? Which is, I mean. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Pretty, yeah. pretty big. You can gamble really hard here. Tiny Titan. Oh, Titans. he's doing it. He's doing he it. He didn't hit, though. Moguls? Kasante is one of the better Moguls uses. She has a stone plate as well. If oh, you want to slam that. Moguls. Yeah, yeah Moguls, or Gargoyle. Fast, Moguls. Whichever. Makes sense. Okay. okay. Either one probably work. Rain with the diamond hands. Degree still hasn't opened it yet. Gamblers, Gamblers probably. Played. Gamblers looks good here. Gamblers kill. It's yep. pretty good. Pretty good start. Rain showed her hand uh, really early, by the way. Bad. Um, Rain popped on one, one four, one three, I think actually. Uh, one, one three, three or one four, one of them. She showed her hand super early. Okay. I mean, I personally like popping it before, Ooh. so that way you can inform my augment decision. But yeah, I know I some people like the inverse of it. I'm a, I'm a pop before as well. I like should okay. pop it on the first round. I wonder if Replay is going to try to play Samira. Samira here. Oh, wow. Samira with Collector is. is these, really good. These items are definitely Samira. I was expecting. Samira, Samira yeah, I was expecting maybe an LW though. Last Whisper. Mm. I think he, I think he really wants to greed for the. Uh, need IE. Uh, need IE. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, he just wants to get rid of that. Get rid of that oh, he might win this fight. Oh yeah, especially with like country version like. Yeah. Oh, oh my wow. god. He's no gold, though. No gold. Yeah, is no gold. But uh, you get the one goal for winning, at I'm least. The thing about this comp is that uh, the collector even scales into the late game a lot better than most. That is true. If you can just keep getting uh, keep getting those three stars. I think we didn't do the full tour, so let's go ahead and look around. Force the Smurf account with a uh, switching gears, but he didn't lose. He didn't lose. He Usually. Didn't that's lose. pretty good. Oh, that's lose. rough. Yeah. Yeah. He beat Degree, and what does Degree have? Oh, he picked a Gambus Blade as well. Oh, I think he... Oh, he was a, he was a Kale He was player. the Kale, but yeah. he... he well, this guy's Kale for sure. Uh, okay. Kiyun picked Triforce, or Infinity Force, rather, which I think is always, like, okay. Yeah. More of a flex option. He's for sure just AD flex this game. Okay. Very, very strong AD flex at him. Yeah. Strength of Freaky Friday okay. makes a lot of sense, right? So. And then Malala also picked Diamond Hands. A lot of Diamond Hands. Very good in this meta, right? There's a lot of bursts, so stop it. Yep. Okay. Line, Everything's always been broken on 2 1, especially. Rain took um, 1 2 3, and she's holding 2 MFs right now. Oh, interesting. You're right. I think she should have slammed to Marine already. Yeah, I think she's just holding because she can. She makes 10 anyway. What if some. She looking to play TF here. She could. She did no, play TF please, yesterday. Rain, no. So I think Wait, this may be another TF game. Did, did Rain talk to you guys about the TF game yesterday? 
Yeah, she's, okay, I can actually, so, she, she, she told me that she fell asleep playing. <laughs> really? <laughs> so actually, um, my, my evaluation of Rain is, I actually don't like her spot right now in terms of uh, the standings. Okay. Her, she plays her best TFT when she's under pressure. Mm. So the fact that she's on the bubble or that she's, she's, or she's part of the uh, the gap here. Yeah. Uh, there's a good chance that she just falls asleep. She just gets lazy. What are you talking about? Yeah, oh she's also no, she's also playing no, like three hours of sleep. No it. way! Oh, yeah, no it. way! She's not actually gonna fall asleep. The thing asleep. is, is is isn't regionals final what? lobby like enough pressure? Yeah. You know like, what I come mean? on. There's... No, I believe in the story arc. She's oh no, fall she does, asleep not, now. She's not actually falling asleep, but like you know, she's falling asleep. Like. Yeah, of course. Totally makes sense. I'm with you. She's not a witch streak player. She's not a witch streak. She's not witch streak. She's loose streak. And not be asleep. I like see. she straight up told me that in that her last game yesterday she checked out. Yeah. I mean we could we could so. kind of tell to be honest. No flame of course. Okay. Wasn't the strongest showing. Fair She's, enough. Her spot right now is great though. I, yeah. 20 I would gold. say if there was a spot to play disco. Okay. Hard steel by the way for disco. There are lots of spots. If Disco's there was great. a spot to play disco, this could be one of them. Disco really just has the barrier. You need to hit right away and then go to level nine. Yeah, you need to hit right away. You need to streak early. You yeah. need to bleed out to that third, that second place if you can. I mean, if you get to level nine, it has one of the highest ca caps of any comp in the entire game, See, right? You say that, and you still lose to every hard steel board anyway. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, that's, it's that's, crazy. That doesn't count. That's fake. You can get there. You can get there. You can. You can. You're right. It does have. It's because it gives you an excuse to play all the five costs. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you yeah. can cap extremely high. And you get to play them enabling like their synergies, right? Like four Dazzler for Ziggs, for example. Which yeah. You, you never yeah. get to enable, right? So. That's true. That is true. Come. Okay. Let's check in on uh, Preston here. Tri oh wait, Bart? Preston was the only person we hadn't checked, and he oh, has wait, Bard? he has Caretaker's Bard. Caretaker's Bard with the uh, with tricksters. tricksters. The tricksters. <laughs> what is Yo, what is going on here? He's this is cook. Some dark so, technology. Yeah, well, well, <laughs> one thing I will <laughs> say, <laughs> one thing I will say is that Trickster's Glass helps a lot with that front line. If you can just get like another Echo Two or whatever, it can help a lot. If you can hit a three star. Then you can get like a ton of extra front line there. Okay, that's the only uh, application I see with Vard. Hear me out, and I mean really hear me out. Here. <laughs> okay. Trickster's glass. Okay. Do you ever play for Lux from here? Oh, oh. Because her Isn't headliner it? effect is the spell crit. Trickster's gives you extra crit. I mean, he has JG as a thing. Wait, does like, that, does wait so isn't it not very good though? Because like the, the second Lux doesn't actually EDM. She, she doesn't bar, proc yeah. EDM, but it is another beam. It's another beam. So, it's like, so she is the EDM. Yeah, she she, the it, EDM. it technically is another quote unquote EDM proc, is, is what I'm saying. Uh, He'll probably just play for Bard. <clears> but I think it's an interesting. Oh, 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 You Trickster's Glass to second Jax. Oh, no, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, you Trickster's Glass Jax, then you trap both of the Jaxes in the corner. So then you have both you of them like being... one jack's going AFK. <laughs> <Yeah, and> then... <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Um, apparently, we missed a tip. So, President able to get uh, one tip. No, we saw it. Don't worry. I called it out. Okay. Nice. I got you. Good yes. jet. Uh, Re Replay looking strong. Looks like he is committing to Samira, by the way. That's cool. I haven't seen a lot of Country Samira a lot. It seems like it's... Why, why has Country Samira fallen off? It's just too, like, too slow. Too slow, I think. Okay. I feel like she... I feel like Samira is just really, really favored into stuff like Riven and Yone. Like, when those are meta, yeah. she'll be meta because she's really good single target burst down. But, mm -hmm. like, against, like, Ezreal, and even, I like, I say Yone and Riven, but even Zed can kind of, like, drain tank her a little bit. Right. So it's hard for her to, like, take down stuff like that. Yeah, I agree. You also Ooh. just need more gold on average to hit everything. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's true. Because you need, you need a Mumu 3, Vex 3. Um, yeah, and then preferably even, like, the set and the Urgots. Yeah. Just, like... I think if there's any any a oh. spot to play Samir though, he is in one of the best spots possible. Yep, three okay. out of Samir with gold collector on uh, in like early stage two is really Arguably, Ray like, stakes. Samira. Oh no, it's next turn. He got it on two three. He's using his punk roll. Okay, I like it. So just oh, he just hope it, just hope is a heavy punk roller. Yep, looking for five like, hard steel. I think it makes sense. Yeah. Okay, I like that. He's addicted to punk rolling. I mean, it's it's high value. If you have to think about it, you just get cheap discounted rolls. Yep. yep. Uh, Degree has hit the pentakill. Nice. Forsen. I'm surprised his items end up on the uh, on the, the one star one. Yeah. And he uses yeah, like... he uses remover as well. What I don't know they? if you noticed that. Yeah, oh what? no, wait. Oh, never mind. I'm it's, not, it's not gamers. Blade. It's not it's gamers. Not lucky blade. Yeah, yeah, my bad, my bad. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, another I'm just rage blade. Like Annie sold Annie. Annie. Yeah. Because Annie holds those items so well. Yeah. Oh. 
I don't Red know. Buff. I'm I'm not sure about forcing spot here. Yeah, it looks. It does not look like a strong AD flex spot, and it looks like he's not been able to piece together like good switching gear value on stage two. Yeah. Is he one of those like wishy washy spots where he's not like super super firm, like about what he's gonna be? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's not gonna be hit with super high resources, right? Yeah, he's gonna be I agree. kind of a little bit lacking, and then he might just bleed out and die. Same thing with Malala, by the way. At least Forsen is at five fifty gold. Malala is at thirty seven and kind of similar HP. So like both of these players are looking kind of on the eh side right now. Well, at least set does have two. the extra econ generation, right? With the uh, diamond hands. And that also, is true. Just a set two is a set two. It's like that it's is true. pretty insane. Set tie equals tie yeah. for sure. Makes his transition easier as well. Actually, you're entirely right. I missed, I missed the set two. Yeah, that's very good. Okay, Keen is taking the loss that's here. Good. Rain still hundred streaking. It's an easy win for Disco. Game? Ooh, Disco has wait. Disco has Zach Ergot pair. Wait, let's hope. What? On bench. Oh, what the heck? Yeah, that make that make. I mean, we were talking about smoother transitions. That helps him a lot for sure. Hey, that's one way to play disco if you want. So do special. Oh, so special. <laughs> we already checked it off our bingo list. We don't need it. <laughs> Wait, it's actually <laughs> low key. You pro I mean, you probably rather have like healing orbs, right? But like low key. Uh. Low key. Fast nine? I think he, like with Blitzcrank specifically. The thing the thing about healing orbs is it helps your front line a lot, and your front line. I mean, the disco disco struggles so much on eight, both for frontline and backline. Oh, young wild and free. Oh my God, is it? Oh, young yes. wild and free. Fuck it, fuck it. Young wild and free is really valuable. Come on, Rain. Come on, Rain. Come on, young wild and free is definitely the play, but oh, oh she it. wants to. She wants to. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, she's, oh, she's not an idiot. She's not an idiot. Thank God. <laughs> disco raised the stage. I wonder. I wonder if with better items, she would have clicked it. Oh, better yeah. items, yeah. I mean, her items aren't that bad. Right? Yeah, she I was, just I was needs rods. Say, she, that's all right. Like she's oh, just but just rods. like just like no rods. Like yeah, yeah and you need rods. Like if you yeah. don't have like Archangels or Deathcap, you are going dead last. Or Morello. A lot chosen MF. Is him. that Jazz yeah. MF? That is a Ooh, that is that's... a Jazz oh, MF. Oh, that is so good for him. Holy. That's precedent. Yeah. So oh he he God. has Caretaker's Bard and he has Jazz MF. So he's just gonna play a Jazz oh. game here. Oh hell no. Okay okay. Uh, what are the odds <laughs> for Prismatic? 50, I think. 50, 50, 50. 50, 50. Yep. Big golden. Either dramatic. happens or it doesn't. It's not like... gonna, I think it's actually 50. 50, 50. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> we can bop you later. Wait, what, what whoa, happened? Whoa, hold on. There's a Blitzcrank too. Well, What's going okay, on here? All right. He must have... He benched his, uh, well, his heart steel, right? He, he benched his heart yeah, steel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Love it. Okay, taking a look around, Kiyun. I mean, I'm just looking to see if there's any other crazy augments here. A lot of vampirism. Yeah. I mean, are you... Is Riot okay? I mean, you guys are cool with how like often powerful people pick vampirism. Um, Does it feel I, like it's too so powerful I, for silver. Or? As you know, I've been working a lot with like set eleven and like future sets in general, set twelve stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, personal so take. Personal take. I haven't actually like. I mean, personal take. I think I think that it's okay if like silver augments have like a handful that are stronger than the rest. Okay. Um, but I can't like give the official like yeah, 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 team totally. perspective right now on like what we're okay with and what we're not okay with. Uh, heads up, by the way, Forsten has seven Kaisas. Oh, do not tell Bryce. <laughs> Bryce <laughs> he's downstairs, he's downstairs hate watching. Yeah, right he's, he's for sure hate watching, shaking his head, arms crossed. Like, <laughs> can't believe he would take a line like this. I'm not going to lie, looking at this lobby, uh, I don't think Forsten is. I think he's cruising for a boozin. Yeah. And he's right now, you know, kind of in that like weird zone where if he falls even a little bit behind, he might start being too far off the mark in terms of lobby scores. Needs to be really careful. Okay. Uh, Dish up still raising the stakes. I believe he still has a couple rounds to go. Here we be taking that uh, that cloak. Did Preston end up getting um, glove by any chance? I didn't see. Uh, one more turn until Dish up. Uh, Preston did not. He got a tier. Okay. I use a huge spike for this MF. Yeah. Um, especially with Tricksters. Yeah. M MF is uh, very good with all that DD. No, no attack speed for the MF, though. The thing is, like, she'll hit so hard with these items, I think. Especially at three stars, she'll like, I mean, stack it up naturally through the passive. Oh, uh, really have you GS, like, surely. GS, have you yeah, seen okay. MF with no Ginsu? It sucks. It's yeah, awesome. it feels like she just doesn't deal enough damage. Or rather, she's, she, she, she has a lot of damage, she just can't get, she just can't get it out. Yeah, it just falls over like an idiot. I actually have faith that the Bard will help out, though. Like, I, I know it doesn't, he doesn't have the, the dude spread of the headliner effect, but the single target will help MF a lot. Okay. Okay. I'm a, I'm a little bit of a doubter. I, I like that Nico's a believer, doubter. though. We'll see. 
I'll hold out faith. Yeah. Re Replay getting overwhelmed by Malala's amazing tempo board. This uh, Blitzcrank 2 is just so tanky. Holy shit. He just, he just hasn't taken damage. Titan's Blitzcrank just beating the pants off those guys. Hey, uh, Trickster's got some F. The clone. Yeah. Just so yeah. means yeah. Okay, yeah. Perfect, nice. loss. Perfect loss. Perfect loss. Wait, is that a zero unit so loss? PP. PL he's actually, from the he's PP. He's actually the PP. And so now if he loses, he gets Ooh. that 200 cash out. He's at 74. He's got hey. five as well. Do we do the double? Is it the double? Oh, do we raise the stakes gosh. again? What's the he PP, at? PP? 74. He actually can if he wants to. Can. If he takes Holy. a good loss does, here, it's almost like he does, should. It's really you risky. Take a lot of damage on. It's C4. if he thinks if he if he thinks he he needs the points here, then he should absolutely go for it. Uh, but I he's think, he's on the border looking in. So I think the if he, downside if he, is if he goes eighth here, he's out, right? Like he's like he's not yeah. out, but like mm, it's hard. It's not out, it's but really, it's very, it's very hard. hard. But if he oh. gets. Oh. Kyu should have grief him. Oh, wait, no, oh, what? Kyu, wait, Kyu does a Triforce, though. Kyu does a Triforce. <laughs> Kyu's oh favorite my God. Here to win. Oh my God. Oh my God. What's that going to happen? Wait, what? I think I think uh, I think Kyun wins this, doesn't Kyun's he? Kyun's lower HP's got more vamp value. I think I think he does. I think he does. I yeah, think he does. yeah, yeah. Vamp wow. Vampirism versus vampirism. Wait, no, Dishup started at 130, so his vamp oh, value might oh. be this equivalent. But he has Triforce. He no, has Triforce but, and even Triforce and anti heal. Is... Wait. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I think he's fine. Oh, PP does it again. Holy I mean, what else did say? I mean, just what about the moguls though? The moguls full charged. Oh, you're talking about getting the plus two. Okay. Yeah, the plus two, the plus two. I don't think, no, I don't think we got this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> successfully oh my the moguls. god. Yeah. Kiyun trying That's to go crazy. for the grief, and it did not work. Nice try, guy. If it was anybody, it would be Kiyun. Insta cash out. Oh, oh. Kane. Kane. He can go for seven, seven. hard steel, potentially. What Wait. I was going to say is, uh, I think the downside of trying to raise again is if other people are playing this line, you're going to miss out on a lot of yeah. like, potential yeah, yeah, when you're yeah, rolling. Yeah, yeah. And so there are, you still don't have enough time are. when you roll. Hey, like, coins. Yeah. You basically have to do your entire transition in like a normal time, and then you just die, yeah. most likely, even if you're like a superhuman. It's a ladder play. 4-1. I don't know if it's a tournament play. 4-1 for Jisoo. It's a Setsuko play. It's a Setsuko play. I, I sure. feel like, I, yeah, I feel I feel like cashing out here is correct. Yeah, I think But that's because I... Mean, I did you do raise... You're, you're honestly probably going for the five costs and like you're just ignoring like yeah you're going straight for Lucian too oh Jin Pair. Jin Pair. is this a bait though he has no tears oh, oh that, we're back we're back that's we're back. what I'm talking about I, bar three back. for precedence this is looking Lucian oh, Lucian oh, wow. and a Lucian yo yo yo, yo, yeah. yo. that is okay. so much better okay GG GG alright uh, his spot is fantastic at this point Kiyun alternatively tried to go for the grief did not work three Alala also rolled at eight by the way this is Malala's board. Ezreal. Oh, Ezreal, Ezreal, Ezreal chosen. On. Oh my god. Do we it's big shot Ezreal. Can we start four costs? He's got the Gojo Ezreal. Oh, I see. Blue and red. He's, he's still rich as well. He still has some money in the bank. Yep. He's going level nine. Doesn't uh, really have the best offensive options. He can go for GS. He can go for Ruron. All right, like he lost. Yeah, he the, lost to Kale too. The problem is that <laughs> he doesn't have a good secondary <laughs> carry, and Ezreal's low damage with red buff, blue buffs with the nerfs. Yeah. Prismatic. People really like stationary a lot of the time here. I'm, I kind of lean harm assist for What does he long. have for... All right. Well, like I was saying, harm assist, obviously the worst option here. We've never <laughs> taken that in my life. Very clearly. You don't have a roll the dice holder, do you? There's no... You roll, you roll left first, probably. Um, oh! Oh! oh, 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 oh I thought he used oh, clicked it. Veg. Come on, man. GS. Radiant GS for dish soap. Okay. I mean, that's a that's really, really good. good Zed item. That's pretty fucking good. That's pretty good. Press event's got... Oh, oh, he he sold the MF. He went for Bard. Wow, and okay. he hit Bard 3, and he hit Dash Where did the... Uh... Oh, yeah. yeah. He's got some money remaining. Yeah, and, and, I, and I actually like this. I, I talked about this before, but I think the Trickster's Glass on a 3-star frontliner is actually, like, a very low-key, like, win condition. Because it is, just gives you so much frontline. Is this Echo going... Is the... Sorry, is the Clone Echo going to cast, like, consistently, though? Uh, it... Can I personally don't even? I think three star definitely does, obviously, but uh, it, it depends on I how mean, you position it. You almost rather I think if he's able to get like go. if he gets bling bonus on his second echo, that'd be pretty good. I think it, it's trickster's echo. <laughs> I demise oh, him. Oh, he's oh, oh, get bug plus oh, bling he's bonus. Memeing, he's memeing. <laughs> that'd be pretty sick. Memeing. He's got. I, I, I'm not used to looking in the mirror when people do like the dead the, the, pan. The king you know? drew dry humor. <laughs> yeah. Dude, this, his, oh, bard, his, his bard is oh, so wow. stupid. Holy crap. Yeah. Shot everything but it. One shot, Bard. Come on. Hey, Kiyun. Oh, how's Replay doing, actually? We haven't seen him for, for a while. That's true. 
Oh, what? Oh, he's <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm um, okay. Okay. That was AD flex game. Oh, I thought. The, oh, yeah, Alawi okay. and Ziggs. One roll. That Rain is rolling for Disco. Yo. Oh, her board is looking good. Oh. Her HP count is not. Wasn't she 100 HP on stage three? Where is one? Yeah, but she gets she gets an Archangel on TF here, and she's chilling. Surely. Adaptive. I like it. Uh, then she doesn't have. I guess she just can go guard breaker. Oh wait, she used her. Oh yeah. Okay. Probably. Guard breaker is pretty good. Yeah, I like guard breaker. It's just that TF lacks damage. There's so much utility TF. And you have no uh, combat power inherently. She also yeah, used her duplicator. No duplicator yeah, on the yeah. bench. She used her dupe. In Disco's a line where like saving the dupe is actually really good because you can play around so many legendaries. Yeah. yeah you can hit the five cost but that's only if you're really far ahead, I think. Yeah. Plus, so you get like three dupes in this line. Holy yeah. Shit. I don't know. I'm not sure about this <laughs> spot here. No, no player could could commit such a grievous error to this oh, battle. Dude, three dupes in this line is actually insta win. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. It's clearly not. It's clearly not. Oh, man. Yeah. So surprised we play uh, ended up pivoting into AD flex. Yeah. Considering how contested he was. And that's and and, and since he's looking like he's missing, oh man, it, it's it's looking stars. pretty bad for re replay right now. I feel like this AD flex line has just become like, like over the course of the tournament, the fastest like crabs in the bucket thing, where like you're trying, you're clamoring for the top because it's the strongest line, but you're pulling everybody else down with you. They're pulling you down like. I mean, it is it even the strongest line? Is it is the strongest uncontested the strongest line? The strongest four cost line. Yeah, fair enough. Because it plays out of hard seal. Like, he didn't play it out of hard seal this game. Four cost line that can, can actually contest winning. But like, like uh, with Kiyun, re replay, uh, degree. Oh, wait, degree. Oh. Dish soap as well, right? Dish soap, yeah. Oh. And Malala. Oh, right, it was it was dish soap that was playing the four cost. Oh, big shot Ezreal. Oh, he has that though. He can't sell. And this is a Malala playing the four cost. Yeah. yeah. It just feels like it's so tough for these people at the bottom. Kiyun going bot two. His also opens up the standings a lot. His board is oh, so good stars. if he gets if he gets a frontline upgrade. But he just can't like these units are all taken. Yeah. So hard I think he has two. one upgrade and it's chosen. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's, <laughs> that's pretty yeah. good. Oh, this Could like, be worse. is kind of a freak. But yeah, like, so but like, uh, you get no chosen. Like, you never know. Oh. Dude, that Akali almost almost popped off. But... I, I just I just think this Ezreal unit's a fraud. Okay, but this Yone. Oh. Okay. Yeah, the Ezreal is okay, so extra bad. units. Yeah. I mean, I think, I think I think Drew. I think people. All right. Jesus, <laughs> man. I think uh, I think people have known nowhere, that. Like, come on now. I think people have known that Ezreal like wasn't the star of the show for a while now. Like it was it was Zed carrying yep. the Heart Seal line the for a very long time. Yeah, it's Zed specifically and, uh, just like the Emo four Poppy. cost. Uh, they call yeah. it, they call it the Warriors. Warriors like this class of uh, melee carries that they call it. Like instead of a. Attack Reaper. It's, uh, Attack Reaper. <laughs> Attack <laughs> Warrior. We, we call them warriors or uh, fighters. So uh, I, I feel we maybe play Spock a lot better all of a sudden. Yeah. Yeah, hitting the upgrades. Caitlyn yeah, with Lowry. Collector actually pretty solid. Yeah, he just has so many one stars on his board. It's just the like the carries are upgraded, no frontline upgrades. Yeah. The good news is he has Vamp and Alawi. Harm assist as well for some extra HP, so. His the bad news is, line is like, really strong. Echo cast again. Does he have an even shard yet? I think he's going for even shard, right? Yeah, I think so. Oh, he doesn't have it yet. Oh, man. talk about units that can't aim. This Caitlyn, man. I mean, I think she. I, yeah, I she think takes it down the anyways. End, shot the bard last though. Keen's going eighth. Yeah, he's done. Surely, probably. Unless. He got Zed. Uh, juice. I mean, oh, he did hit Zed. That is nice. He, he, if he wins and rejuice, he can play for placements here, right? Like, the important thing is uh, the difference between first and, or sorry, eighth and like fifth is a huge deal. Dish Soap streaking. Dish Soap is streaking with what it looks oh, it, I mean, it doesn't, it looks like a minimal amount of board strength, doesn't it? I mean, he has the Zack, but like one item Zed. Granted, it's a really good radio item for him. Two item Lucian's Lucian. Broken, I guess. I think he just has enough value, I guess. Like, Lucian's a bit OP, I guess. Yeah. Like, what about his matchups? Awesome. Kiyun, Malala, Forsen, Riri, play Rain. So yeah, matchmaking could have definitely gone into it as well. Oh. oh. What is this? What is probably, this? Probably, here. this garbage. Probably Runon's. I'm guessing Runon's crown guard. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit rough though, for sure. Okay. Uh, Wow, Forsen hits a Alawi 2 and still stuck on... I, frontline is kind of amazing. Frontline is godlike. He's like the opposite problem, a lot of people, right? Really yeah. good frontline, just no backline. Yeah, it might be um, at some point, if he can't hit anything, he might have to just sell this poppy. Yeah. It's Maybe, up against yeah. Prestivant. What's the D 
do count at. Bards in front of the tentacles. No, two dudes. It's got some time still though until um. We're locked onto onto the Alawi though. The fact that this Bard three, with his dude cast, doesn't one shot a one star Corky is like so sad. <laughs> I mean, this Bard it took a while to get ramped up. Bard is so bad. Bard is so bad. <laughs> Oh god. It, it's yeah. bad with it's bad that this dash jazz. Press event taking big time damage. Q catches out. The rejuice. Oh, oh TG oh, for our yeah. MF. Okay, well he has the TGs, but he needs a frontline upgrade. Set two, yeah. please. Set two. He and needs then to get a Jax one off the board. <laughs> oh wait. <yeah. laughs> I mean yeah. Yeah. Oh okay, Lucian, Lucian, Lucian. Lucian. Oh, that's something. That's something. And that's a TG holder. Sold a Kali for All right. it. Set two. Satch. That, that's a TG holder, but it's also a Runon's holder. Oh, man, that's right. I guess he's just going to put this on the front line like Jax. Does he have a MF? I think he puts oh, he's MF. MF once. Okay, oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. MF. He holds an LW. That's good. Yeah. I would just throw it on Jax so I can move it. Yeah, but it is better on MF. You're not, he's not wrong. And he's also at 11 HP, so. Okay, Zed is being Zed, Zed things. Zed. Pressive is going eighth. Wow. Oh my god. This is what I've always kind of disliked. Seventh. About... We replay 7th. Oh, oh wow. We wow. replay 7th? Dude. Six, Wait, seven, that's 7. And that means Rain takes the lead in AVP. That's really huge for Rain, yeah. Oh, I'm surprised. Did Rain not able to okay, obtain a Rain's rod? Okay, Rain's the goat, I guess. At any point. <laughs> another rod. Uh, but, uh, but right that's behind cool. Rain is uh, Forsen. Forsen also is climbing up the AVP standings as well. Moving the TG to Lucian. Level nine, but no um, no zigs. No zigs, no Sona, no Alawi. No Alawi. No no yeah. no <laughs> Nothing, basically. We just went last turn. Kion hit Yone, too. He made Jax and put the TG onto Jax, just like he said. ZZ Rod is helping him a little bit, at least. Yep, that that is a true. Issue. Definitely. Juice. He split his, like, Zed and his Ezreal. His Ezreal's, like, not attacking, like, the even child targets. That's on the back yeah, one. Yeah, oh, oh, the Zed, the Zed. Oh mm. my think, uh, God. The Zed should win the one v one as well. Oh, it's yeah. not even a one v one. It's a twenty v one. Wow, huge wait, win here for wait, Q. Wait, wait. Oh. Oh. That's Zach. Oh, oh, oh my God, God. He's, he's dead. dead. What is the Zed unit? He's, he's dead. dead. Wait. <laughs> okay. That was crazy. Rain's dead in fifth. He's dead. PP Jim. strikes again. That was insane. We need to watch that fight again. Clip that. That was some PP shit. That was Faker on Zed. <laughs> I think Dish Soap is manually inputting all of his unit's movements. Believe it I or mean, not. that's got to be like a positioning diff. Like, as we're not hitting Ethan Shroud. Yeah. Dish Soap has good options here, too. You can take Hodge for Zed. You can take Sterax. Goes for the Hodge. But Makes Malala sense. in top four again. Looking good for him. Yeah, Malala is taking the lead here in the standings. Uh, and also a big statement game from Degree and a big opportunity for uh, Dish Soap to make some big uh, some ground on the people ahead of him as well. That's a Zix too. Are you ever trying to go ten from here if you're just up to close out the lobby? Uh, I would take a look at it for sure. Also, I can't believe this just got three items on set. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. No. For sure. Five. Five. He finally gets the third item for his carry. Unreal. I mean, the, the front line has been paying dividends. That last fight was as active. The Zach got an extra cast off, and that is what allowed him to win the fight. I don't fight. think he has time to go ten. I mean, he does have time. He does have he time. time the, the question is, uh, how impactful? How much gold can he have? Exactly. That's what I mean. Does he have time to go ten and steal his upgrades? It might also just be like getting just more jazz value, things like of that sort. Yeah. Oh man, but he needs these uh, upgrades on. The Diamond like hands thing. is so much better than Mogul's Mail at this stage of the game. So yeah. much better. Does Zed just face tank to every single Caitlyn shot as well? An, God damn. There's an Alawi difference as well between their boards. Yep. 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 Is there a possibility of Malal him doing something crazy like going for a three star four cost? I don't think so. Malal's at level nine. Two. Okay, Yorick two's huge. Caitlyn two. Everyone's getting stronger. Mal you know, here's a question too for Disso. Would he be able to? Would it be better for him if he just rolled to zero a while ago and try to secure like a top two, top three instead of trying to play this? Because I could see him go forward from here. Yeah, I could definitely see that. I I think his the big thing for him right now is the only person's placement that matters in this or of of the top four is Forsen, because they're they're five or they're four and five right now. Okay. He probably thinks that he can't outcap uh, Forsen's 
force his board by rolling on eight or okay. rolling on nine rather. I can see he that. He thinks he has to go ten to 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 cap. I think another thing too is just Soap is really good at identifying strength even if he is losing. So like if he thinks he can make the ten and that's his win con, then yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. Like he's he's somebody who will just do that. Okay, anyway. so he gets there next. He has two lives, so he yeah. gets there at six one. He can get there at six two if he wants to greet a little bit extra. Malala also on a free fall. Jin two, oh. Jin headliner yeah, with blue buff. buff, and buff. Malala. Oh, this might be this might be like over. M Malala is also very good at playing protect the Jin. It's one of his uh, specialties in these level nine boards. Got really like solid items as well. His, yeah. his items are crazy. Got the Yorick in the front line yeah. as well here. Yeah, red buff for what looks like to be Lucian, and then Runins and guard breaker unless he gets something else better like a giant slayer. I guess the big question is, um, can Dish of Zed get through fast enough, right? It's so much fun. Line. It's pretty unlikely. Like they have the rest of his board. Yeah, Just so went to ten. He went to ten to play Ezreal. Ezreal. Extra jazz value. Okay. Oh, oh the Gunblade oh, Zed. Oh my god. Oh, Rins, 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 the Rins, biggest Rins, believer in the Gunblade Zed. Wait, Gunblade. Yeah, I love Gunblade. It's actually broken. Yeah. All right, and then Malala has yet to pop his item anvil. He's trying to surprise his he opponent. Big, pretty big fight here, but. Deathblade? DB. Yeah, like DB. I don't know. DB Runins? DB. Oh, no, DB. Runins. Oh, listen, yeah, see, can see how intelligent as that is. Oh, he's on the right side. Oh, the Kiana. Oh, the thing is, oh, the, the Kiana. Hands. The Kiana's waiting. Oh, oh my. Oh, God, Kiana. oh, that Kiana cast. Wait, but the Kiana's the, 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 the Ki infinite. The, the Kiana cast saved the Zed. Oh, it's dead. Wait, did the Kiana cast just save the Zed? Because he bumped him away. Oh, that's a crazy. That, oh, we gotta watch that back wow. again as well. Oh my gosh. Wow. Kiana just trolled him, pretty sure. Okay, no, we gotta watch calculated that. Calculated by the PP. Can't believe Dish oh Soap just God. mind controlled that Kiana to save his Zed. And also, uh, <laughs> a side of relief for Kiyun because then, like, Mala's not gonna pull that far ahead as well. Yep. How far can Dish Soap go? Force and Smurf is up uh, next. This soap just needs to sneak it, around this poppy. If 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 that previous front line could not hold the Zed back, I don't think this one does I mean, either. This but Demon Slayer, this dude. It is it is unified with like two star legendaries, but we'll see. Here comes the Zed once more. He is he's an on anime right character. Side. He's, he, he's on I right think side. Soap immediately wins see this fight. See how much vampirism value this dude has. Yeah. I don't even There's think this is going to no be way. like reasonably close at all. Woo. Yeah, I mean this Lucian is not doing enough. Yeah. What, what's going to kill this thing? I mean, the Lucian's just taking oh, care of it on the other side. It doesn't matter. Yeah, Take like, if you can just get to the back line at all, that's enough. Degree with another win as well. If, if Forsen wants a chance to win it, he has to land the Poppy and the Caitlyn in front of the Zed every time. Mm -hmm. That too. Finally. Yeah. <laughs> that took a long time. If there's anybody that knows matchups with Caitlyn into melee units, I feel like we have probably the best couch there is. <laughs> For that <laughs> specific scenario. Yeah, and Nico, you know a lot about that one. <laughs> Their oh positioning my beast. <laughs> when, when, when Broccoli came over, he pointed yeah. at the, the Yone poster right next to me and was yeah. like, uh, Red oh, free. Uh, not, not this uh. one, the, the one above it. Uh, <laughs> the less yeah. attractive version of this poster. Yes, the I've, had, I've had dreams about that champion. And, and the Yone melee and the Caitlyn matchup. At oh, least man. he's not meta right now because I'm not sure if I'd be able to cope. <laughs> yeah, Broccoli would just call him sick. <laughs> This is uh, Disso fighting Degree. Degree looks very strong. Degree's at level nine. Oh, has all this Zed's binary down. value. Does Degree have the counter pick. Degree has just too much value, I think. It's just yeah. binary. This Kale is one of the only things that can just like get onto the Zed and just bop, 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 bop it, and it just dies. Degree is playing for a lot of outs as well. He's chasing the Viego three. He's playing for Mordekaiser three. Mm -hmm. well, Another Viego. He's leaving so many options live for himself. Three spats on carousel. What is this? Uh, yeah, just no real free components. Uh, okay, Morella for dish soap. He wants to. He wants to hold this Viego as well, for sure. To deny degree. Yep. Okay. Oh, he wants a spot. Yeah, is Penta. Oh, he does. Oh, he has a Penta spot. Penta. What? He he actually held Penta just okay. in case. I wonder if you uh. So what can you yeah. drop? With so does it i mean like like you can technically like drop super fan he sold zed he sold like, zed you can't really like you can't really dish soap coming oh, in oh no shit. mana he thinks this is stronger oh i believe him i mean I, i've learned to not doubt him in, in cases true. like this man his reason he sold the pp yeah i will say that zed is running into some issues for sure he has no allowance the ghost the issue, ghost fight but... yeah. degree versus forcing 
Oh, he's testing the waters with the ghost fight to gauge the strength because oh. he knows he wins anyway. Oh. The scientist. Five. <laughs> Still limit testing even in regional finals. Uh, this is looking good for a degree. Is it, yeah, we're still not through this poppy. Oh, wait, is it looking good oh, for a degree? Wait. It's not oh. looking so good wait, anymore. Wait, is, is it looking good, though? It's looking oh, good? My god. oh my god! Oh, that was so close. Really close. And Disso was banking on forcing dying there for a top two. He gets a rejuice. Rejuice. MF2. Oh. Alright, blue up from over. Blue up from over. A bow. A bow. Bah. That's not even possible with 80, hello? <laughs> 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 was that Ziggs viable at all? The hyper pop zigs. Uh, I don't think no, so. I think he, it's not enough uh, single. It's pretty damage. rough with these items. What's actually? If there's anything that's better than this gin, what is it? I mean, maybe another it's Lucian. Second Lucian. Yeah, jazz. Uh, yeah. Lucian. I think second Lucian. Is it? Like jazz, but like it's oh, yeah. more jazz. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, 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 okay. That's the only thing I would even like. No reposition. No reposition. Poppy's in front of the gin technically. I mean, the tentacle is, but Poppy's second up. This uh. This Poppy's Jin. trying to, I mean, the front line's almost dead. Jin's kind of in the splash zone for this Caitlyn eventually. Oh, oh wait. here we go, here we go, the ramp, the ramp. Oh, and the Jin's the Caitlyn, the Caitlyn's dead. Oh my yeah, gosh. Yeah, yeah. Oh wait, he's got like perfect, like he's got like oh 500 life still in his Jin. He can actually just heal through most things How much actually. healing was this Jin doing? It's crazy. Vampirism, Gunblade, and Hodge. Oh, tip. Okay, okay. sorry for doubting. <laughs> don't worry, oh, don't worry. Oh, repent, repent. It's GG. It's GG. I think he wins. Oh, grab your tip. Wow. Lowey too. Degree can, Degree has a lot of things he can hit here, but he doesn't really have the gold anymore, so he's gonna have to make a decision. Right. I look like he was. Uh, I mean, I think Card three is like kind of out of the question. <laughs> he's yeah. actually just holding six of each. He's just holding he, six he cards probably, on the bench. Yeah, I think he, he might want to sell. I guess technically he has as many cards as he does Viego. Viego. Oh. Not anymore. I you think he's the Carthus. Ops for Pentacane as well. I mean, the very least, 30, he he's probably get HP. To open this. He's stun locked. He can afford to wait around. He sold Karthus. Okay. Sold Karthus. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> same ones. I mean, it kind of is because you can't even hit the headliner unless you uh, sell those. Yeah, you know, it's oh, okay. That helps. Okay, okay. That mm -hmm. helps. That helps. Does, Does he sell anything? Oh, no, he doesn't. He's got oh. that next round. He's got that next round. It's all good. Okay. okay. Yeah, one extra gold. He needs to pop for binary. Death cap? Edge of okay. Night? Yeah, one of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know. There's Vamp, so I think you can argue Death Cab, but Edge Knight's definitely a safe choice. These are good items for uh, the binary across the board. Yep. Can you get through the value on Dishlip's board, though? He looks like it's almost on the gin. Kale. Oh, no. The Kale's walked up. Kale, the Kale's walked Kale, up. Kale, Kale. The Kale's walked up. Oh, my God. God. Wow. That Damage. is crazy. crazy. And Degree wow. strikes Doesn't back. A huge first for Degree. That was massive. That was insane. Him. Yeah, he really needed that first. Yeah, and Disso uh, really good finish as well. <laughs> uh, Disso gets second as well, so he also gets a huge jump of uh, up to 15 points. Um, and the, the standings are going to be a lot tighter now. I believe Malala should be in the lead Pretty firmly. by a couple points. Yeah. Uh, and then Kiyun and I think it should be the rest staggered down from there. He plays probably pretty firmly in the bottom as well. Uh, yeah, he's getting left behind the dust, and uh, his his... AVP lead has completely evaporated. So now he is vulnerable and one of the players that's unlikely to make it. So he has to fight almost back for AVP at this point. He's, if, if you look at top three, he's nine points behind third. Wow. It's rain. Rain and Forsen now in the in the major contention for the AVP spot. Yeah. And, and so close in the middle there. Th this is also uh, sort of an interesting twist of fate, if you will, because uh, when Re Replay was going into like a final lobby with Setsuko during the championship, and Setsuko was considered to be one of the heavy, heavy favorites, what happened? It was uh, Setsugo that went almost yeah. like 8888 that True. entire finals lobbies at Worlds and almost shocked everyone with like a, wait, I kind of thought he was like in contention at least play for like top three or something. The fact that he went like dead last and it almost feels like we're witnessing that come to fruition on the other side. Yep, except Forsen's the new replay. Forsen's the new replay, <laughs> I suppose so. <laughs> uh, and at least replay, it, it's, he's not alone. Uh, Precedent is keeping him company right now. 838 for Precedent. Uh, it's not looking good for Yeah, I'm just saying my uh, my four predictions are bought for right now. Dish soap degree precedent and replay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh okay, that's true. Um <laughs> we'll see. I mean, it's funny because uh it, 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 it's it's only three games. It could technically entirely flip, right? We could actually see these entire uh results invert. 
But for now, at the moment, if we were to cut right here, it would we'd be... We'd be cutting my hair, too. We'd be cutting your hair. It'd be Malala, Rain, Kiyun, and then it would replay. be Forsen mm -hmm. as the highest... Oh, wait, AD. you're right. You're right. Actually, Forsen passed replay, yeah. That's wild. I did not expect that at all. Okay, uh, looks like the cops, the BIS police is coming for, <laughs> for somebody, coming for the lab. Oh, uh, shoot. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. Uh, DK, Kendrew, thank you so much for stopping by, you guys. Is there anything you guys want to say before you leave? Kendrew, you go I first. Mean, uh, just good luck to Rain. And uh, yeah. Woohoo. Go All right. Lab. Okay. Uh, DK, any final words? Yeah, thanks for having us. I mean, when this is all said and done, I mean, two Minecraft players will be at Worlds. So. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Rain and who? Rain and Forsen. Forsen. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Player. Okay, awesome. Huge. Yeah, for people who don't know, uh, most of the lab didn't help Rain, Kendrew, or DK, or Beery Beery uh, practice because they were too busy playing uh, Minecraft. <laughs> We've been <laughs> playing Minecraft since, like, the beginning of the set. Yeah, they yeah, really, like, yeah, yeah. Skill. So, uh, good luck. Thank you so much. Congrats on a great set. I know you guys didn't go, go as far as you wanted in regionals, but I think it's a good first step, and hopefully we'll see you back next set. GG's, guys. Thank Peace. You. All right, later. Peace. Right. Uh, I don't know if you looked at Discord, but Soji is going to join for the last couple games. Wait, oh, really? Yep. I didn't, wait, I didn't see that. Oh, okay, I, I see it now. Oh, sweet. He's watching VCT, but he's going to join after. Okay, uh, for four to six or just five to six? He said it depends when it ends, so. Okay, all right. Um, cool. So, uh, how much time do we have before the next game? Six minutes. All right. How'd you watch? How'd you enjoy watching uh, that game from downstairs? I had a lot of fun watching it. I um, I really like how Dish Soap approached thinking about getting to. I, I agree with going to level ten. I agree with the transition to Jen. I think he was worried about the fact that Ari was going to. He was going to lose the Zed fight, uh, like lo lose on the Zed board because Ari was eventually going to get onto it. And it was just too much of his damage, especially with the Radiant item investment. So. I, it wasn't BIS Zed or BIS Gen, but he felt like he had enough frontline to pull it off. I mean, ultimately, you know, it's hard to beat that pentaport. It was like so, yeah. so, so capped that by the time was insane. by the time it was all said and done. But uh, oh, yeah. PP, PP strikes again. All right, let's go ahead and watch these two highlights. And I'm curious your thoughts because it's funny because Iniko yep. actually gave his thoughts during. I want to see uh, if, if uh, you agree or we agree. So here's one moment that stood out to us uh, from that game. Yeah, I mean, this is for sure a positioning diff, right? Like, if, if Ezreal's on the right side, he wins for sure. Uh, yeah, exactly. So, like, I, I'm su I'm surprised. What do you, oh, what, do you yeah. what do you think he's even trying to achieve with this? I think this particular? is just I think this is just a mistake. Yeah, he just needs the even shroud right behind it. That's what always. Yeah, I I think this is just a you know Ezreal's just stuck on this this Zach that's just doing yeah. nothing the entire time. And with so, Ezreal jumping around as well, it's kind of hard usually unless you're specifically trying to target um, wow. when he needs to start the fight. I mean, Kiyun has played. Four non reroll games in the whole tournament. He played six out of six reroll yesterday. He was three out of six on the, on day one. He was and he's played only reroll today uh, until this game. So I think it's just a, maybe a little bit of an experience on the line or focusing yeah. on something different. It's hard to say, but I I don't think there's anything intentional happening there. Yeah, he's probably just focusing on something else. Something yeah, else, and he's like, oh shit. Yes. Yeah, and, and sometimes when uh, I, I know this from my own experience competing in tournaments, I'm not sure if it happens to either of you, but sometimes. You feel under pressure. You feel like you have to do something when, in reality, you didn't have to do anything at all. Yeah. Like you, you just like switch your Ezreal for because you're like, oh, I should swap. But as a result, you kind of made your board no way less efficient. Too, right? I, I get a little vibe of that. It's just like he didn't need to do that. And uh, the positioning is bad in a couple of ways too because he's he's Zach one holding his uh, even shroud and, and he's leaving it on an island on the right side where if it's Zach two fully itemized, sure. But like you can easily because you're, you're wrapping hard seal hard seal boards, eighty flex boards when you're playing around Zed fight side to side. So, that, so you want your primary range carry, whether it's Caitlyn or Ezreal, and your and your primary melee carry, whether it's a Kali or Zed, mm -hmm. stack behind your even shroud. You want that yeah. tank to live for a long time, so that aggro doesn't reset onto them onto whoever your warrior carry is. And so you you can actually protect that Zac a lot better by having more tank units that are closer to it in the middle of the fight. So, uh, I think just kind of fundamentally bad positioning from Kiyun in this fight on the line. Wow. All right. Fundamentally bad position. I don't know how else to say it. I think it's the first. I think it's the first. Oh, my God. Kiyun is fundamentally <laughs> garbage. Oh, my I, I, look, God. I, I, I think, wow. I think part of, like, being the glazer oh, that I man. am is you, like, it should be a spectrum. Like, you have to call it like I see it on the negative and, and the positive. And, like, my compliments mean nothing if I'm not willing to True. call oh, out a really, really clear mistake when one exists. I mean, it was just really bad positioning. When it was, my I, man I said Kiyun only, got I said cooked. only nice things about Kiyun for the entirety Ooh. of the tournament he made a mistake he it happens fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. like it happens to the best of us right. anyone can make that mistake let's watch the second replay i think we're about to start in a couple minutes here 
Uh, I like it, Bryce. I like it. Flame on, flame on. Uh, so this is the other one where uh, what, what was what was the highlight here? Oh, it was how Dish Soap was able to uh, barely get the advantage here with the position because we want to know if the Kiana actually ended up. Well, this is the fight saving. where the the, the the Zed at the very end becomes crazy. I don't I don't know that Kiana like does, yeah. It, Broncos actually did, did reset we save aggro. It? Do we know? Uh, yeah, the Kiana. Okay, so let's go back a little bit. Let's, let's go back. Let's go back. Uh, let's go back. So, um, so this one star Kiana in the center, who's just waiting. By the yeah. way, she's yes. doing nothing. She walks down to the <laughs> bottom here. Okay, and does she actually reset aggro? Because I don't think she, she ulties does. the Zed. Okay, no, it's she doesn't. Aggro wasn't on. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so I, I didn't think so. Okay, yeah. so we just wanted to watch yeah. that yeah, yeah, confirmation. Sure. There was one fight that was just insane, where the Zed lived with like one HP. It was it was before at three items. It was it was like Runin's. It was before he removed her way earlier in the game. One more time, let's rewind it. Do you think it's a mistake to trap the the uh, the Kiana here, or is that totally? Fine? I think it's complete, almost irrelevant. I think the bigger thing is like was Bryce was saying earlier. These fights, you need to have more tanks in front of your gen here. Um, what happens is like the one tank dies, and then like your entire tank frontline is up in the bottom left, fighting the enemy's team, and then yeah. the, the Zed just walks onto his backline and kills it. In fact, tentacles just shouldn't be frontline in this matchup because so, to, 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 you can you can solve both of your points, right? Like okay, you can easily it, get it. more tanks over there, and you can get the Kiana in the front line. One more time, for, for... one more time from the beginning. It, you notice one thing too. Uh, watch this Thresh in the bottom left. Look what happens. If you had, if you put this Thresh uh, perhaps in the top right, sure, it would have changed it. Look, just watch what happens to this Thresh. He AFK. stays here the entire time. When he gets an Walks opportunity up. to move, he's stuck yeah, there. He nothing. And then, by, yeah. but, and, then, and then when he makes an opening, he goes to the top left. So he just actually misses the opportunity yeah, to block Unless he's gym. worried about a Kali, then you can usually just second row for yeah. splash damage and hope you get a cast this out. This fight was actually probably winnable. I think it was. It's very minor optimizations. But yeah. uh, really yeah. interesting. I didn't notice that thresh when I first watched it. And I mean, how can you? There's like 30 There's things so going happening. on. This is the thing about this 80, 80 flex line is that this is, this is by far, by far, the most skill expressive econ trait tree that they yeah. have ever printed usually econ traits naturally lend themselves to like a very narrow set of units that you buy at, in the aftermath streak, you can to buy exact units yeah AFK. And, and instead of full lose streak you can win and there's the raise the stakes component and there's the tree itself is just so rich there's so many different combinations of, of boards that you can play but yeah you're right uh, oh, I, I really like it, actually. Yeah, I think this, you, I think this uh, is, like, the best econ trait they've, they've ever it is, designed. It is, And we talked about it a few times on the podcast, but once more, if you guys uh, haven't heard it, is that every, historically, the cash-out econ trait has always had, like, one and a half variations you played. It was yeah. always, like, the same Piltover. Yeah. It was also the same Mercenaries into Vi Urgot. It was always, like, Fortune into a specific way. Fi even Underground. Even clear. Underground yes. was, like, the same way we played it every single time. Uh, Hearthsteel, if you look at, like, Solagasan's tab alone, he has 20 different variations yep. depending on what headline you hit, and that's not even all of them. There's so it, much There's more. so many different ways, and that's also just a level 8 board, let alone you get to 9 and you have to think about how to cap yeah, around that. For so sure. Such a, it, such a it, rich it is bananas. Dream. I think it is a, a success of the set. Yes, Hearthsteel has probably made it worn out its welcome many times over, but I do think that, in hindsight, people are going to remember this. When we, when, if we have an econ trait and it's boring again, inevitably sometime Here, in the future. Here's the reality. Econ traits are it. always going to be at least slightly overtuned because yeah. yes. there's a huge percentage of the player base that really loves them and really only wants to do them. So they always have to make it slightly stronger in order for it to make sense, at least overtuned at this level of competitive play. My right? personal uh, uh, read about econ trades is that uh, they need to be open to both AD8 and AP. Yeah. And I think that's, for me, the biggest issue I have with hard steals. Is yeah, that's tough. Yeah. That's tough finding a way to do that, but that's interesting. That's a good point. If you're playing AD and you're not playing hard steal, you're basically trolling. But, right. Yep. But if so, you're playing AP, you can't really access hard steal very easily. You can, yeah. but it's like not. So AP becomes this very yeah. um, standardized thing where, where AD becomes like hard steal flex. Very true. Okay, uh, man, it's game four. Can, can I make like one bigger picture point that I, that I just, because we're about to get in the game or yep. we're in the game, but it's not totally. really happening yet. So Prestivant in, in the bottom two, to me, it feels like a macro bottom two, right? If you think about his games, he had a really nice second game. His Both his eights, I think he, I think he played Riven from a, from a spot that he shouldn't have played Riven, and then I think he... I mean, he played Bard because it was what he got. He lower world caretakers to play Bard, but I think this Bard line sucks. Oh, I think he definitely just should not have played Bard. Yeah, he should just not play Bard. He should just use it for Econ. So I don't even think that Preston has played badly today. He has picked the wrong lines. Yep. Okay. I think and then, for what um, it's worth in that Riven game, he really low rolled. He did, for sure. But I, I, just don't th I just don't think that you can play Riven from those spots. I mean, it's I, 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 just, I slightly disagree with that. I actually think that Riven is playable, but it's so easy to to look at like uh, the results of Riven through the lens of like, okay, it's not if you didn't hit, it's not 
a good spot for it. I think that his items lined up nicely. He played tempo when he played from ahead. He, he low rolled it. Had he hit reasonable time, he definitely would not have gotten eighth. Riven boards can compete. I think they, they, can. they can. I think he could have went out pretty hard with that. Yeah, and we it. and we see people with worse spots yeah. with Riven win out, right? Like in, it, it, even earlier in the weekend when Beard Beard yeah. played it and was That's like, fair. Eh. That's fair. I, I guess I guess I guess the, the Riven is more defensible than the Bard, and, and the yeah. the Riven line. I guess they, I, I guess I am just kind of down on Riven a little bit overall because it just feels like as the meta has sorted out, it's just like hard for it to. It's hard for it to succeed. There's so many, so many conditions that you can't at all guarantee when you come into the line. Okay. Yeah. Prismatic start. It is prismatic prelude. Cool packs. Perhaps pack, a cool pack. Level up. Harvest this. Okay. Uh, cool pack is considered to be very weak given how strong people can spike. Uh, don't expect any player to go for it unless they're trying to put on a show. Progress. Or there's nothing else better. Okay, a lot of margin progress. Malala with the Morello slam. Malala looking really good. Malala very quietly again. Three doing games doing away. What Malala does. Three games away from the basically the greatest TFT yeah. competitive se season we'll ever see. I thought you were going to say but greatest you, moment, you, and, I, and then you were going to say Nico's getting his haircut. <laughs> not just winning, not just uh, qualifying to Worlds, but also just winning regionals. Yeah, I mean, winning regionals, winning KDA Cup, winning uh, Vegas, and going to MS and getting third MSI, which he was also very competitive to the very end. Yeah, and he's been on the come up as a player for a long time. This set has been brewing, and it's fun that it's finally here. So let, just keep an eye on that. If you can keep this pace three games in, is all that separates Malala from Eternal Greatness. I really don't I think mean, we're going to get a better set than this. How do you replicate it? Yeah. I mean, even just making Worlds and having like a top eight finish at Worlds, I think it's probably the best set of all time. But if you were to win regionals, yeah. win Worlds, I mean, my God. Yeah, if you're going to dead last in Worlds, I'm pretty sure he's ranked one in North America for the set based he, off that. Yeah, he would. I would rank him one in North America based but off also, that for sure. There's not that many opportunities to replicate it, right? Like how many uh, land tournaments are there going to be yeah, for sure, year, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Yeah, imagine oh. being in that spot and having a chance to win and not and not working out. So you, they'll haunt you for a really long time. <laughs> <laughs> wow, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, Brock knows I was rooting for and you. At least you had a documentary made I'm about gonna, you. Uh, Malala got nothing. That's pretty you, good. You, you, That's had true. An, you had an entire true. DSG movie made about you, man. Did you watch it? I watched, like, one of them. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, it was nice. D this guy's put up a full, like, uh, documentary. Uh, Brock, he's, like, a big part of it because, obviously, he was in the final yeah, lobby. Yeah, yeah. But, it was very uh, cool. Uh, what they didn't know was underneath that uh, that that hoodie that you had was a don't talk if you oh, don't know yeah, shirt, and you were ready to bust yeah. it out if something happened. But uh, alas, yeah. Malala stole it from us. Katarina two, Samira two, Samira two. What the? I think wow, and I he took spoils he's three, going which to be playing country here with the spoils here. I mean, most people think spoils three is really bad. I, I wonder what his options were. Uh, spoils in this comp is specifically is known to be like one of the best augments. Because you get mini dupes, lots of mini dupes. Uh, because it just yep. when you um yeah exactly mini, yeah. mini dupes mini dupes and like when you uh, spike with the two stars you get to get to farm a farm lot of gold right away and then hit your three stars right away. Yeah. Yeah, and then you also can get items like game and uh, items is a really big under uh, difficult condition for a country to achieve because you want to itemize Urgot and Vex and a frontliner and maybe even the other three stars that you hit as yeah, well. Yeah, after this, like you could like hit the three star Samira normally and then not be able to cap higher. But yeah, with spoils in there, you can cap higher a lot Dude. easier. Also, okay. one thing to note: uh, Kyun is the second he, uh, out of all the people who played country. He was the one. He was top two in the players who actually played in terms of the number of countering scrims. So he knows how to play this line. Okay. This Samira, by the way, did a full cast on this Cassante. Did like five damage. I mean, she has no items. Yeah, he needs a sword. He needs a sword yeah. so yeah, bad. Probably the most. It's, it's actually insane unit. how badly he needs a sword. Sword yeah. or bow, but yes, yeah, sword preferably. Oh, spats. I mean, spats are really good for the country line because that's that is uh, the difference between seven country and five country. It feels like is the difference between bot four and top four in a ton of games. What if we replay secretly just wanted to become the underdog again? Maybe he needs that. I, I mean, uh, if he if all he three spats. flames out and ends with like ten points, he's he he might do just that. All three spats, <laughs> one two three pick. By the way, insta grabs. Yeah, it makes sense. Let's go ahead and check in on those and see uh, what they're likely to be after this. So press events. Uh, no obvious spatula right now, unless he wants to make hard steel emblem. Rod Grinch. Uh, KDM as well. He also has a reforger, so uh, options. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. okay. Honestly, it makes, makes sense. sense. He has to play yeah. for big. He has to play for big Three results. Three games left. Fuck it. True damage emblem immediately in for Senna. I mean, she's just. Is she a one trick? 
Uh, I mean, she believes Senna is the strongest two cost, so. I mean, she's right. Like, getting, it, it, it honestly, vibes of when she made Worlds before, where she was just playing around Kaisa a lot, and we were like, why does no one want to play this line? So she can and, play it, just play it. Yeah, and Rain's just like, oh, you guys want to just give me the best line in the game over okay. and over and over again? Cool. Chill. I'm down. Sounds good. I mean, she Dissope has the opportunity to do it. And also, here's another thing about Tree Damage Emblem. I don't think you have to play Center Reroll if you uh, make yeah. it. I, I'm pretty sure you can just play the Broccoli line. Yeah. Yeah, you can. But yeah. pumping up, and she's level 4... I, my guess is she's playing Senna. No, sorry, I meant Dish Soap. Oh, yeah, uh, for sure. have to. But oh, the thing Dish Soap, is, Dish yeah. Soap has much of progress, so it feels like it's limiting. Yeah. yeah. He, needs to keep, he, he also needs didn't to buy He also didn't buy Kennen. So that means that he's unlikely to lean into Super. I wonder Kenan. what he is leaning into. Oh, you know what he might be going to? He might be going to Riven. I can see it actually, yeah, the, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He can make something like Infinity Edge. The moment it's a bow, it becomes an 8-bit emblem. He's holding on to Corky's and Garen's. I, I think this show is looking that at seems, Riven right now. Yeah, like me, probably the most likely. Yeah. Okay. And uh, Dishope loves Riven. He does. Yeah. He, you know, uh, weird uh, Force and Smurf account is a really, good, really, really good Riven player, but a better Yone player than he is Riven player. Dish Soap might be the best Riven player on the server. He's okay. been playing Riven the entire set. There, there were tons of patches where the only time I ever saw someone playing Riven was Dish Soap. I mean, it, it's one of many possibilities. It entirely depends on his drops as well. He gets yes. rod, rod. He's for tier, sure not like, committed. Yeah. This part of yeah. Dish Soap, right? Is yeah. like he's he's going to be among the he's going to be among the least committed players in stage two in general. His spot is generic. He can play whatever. Oh, he wants. Kiryu gets a two oh, already. If he gets an Urga two in stage Wait, three, I didn't know he could get one on stage and two. Makes, and he makes twenty. That's I insane. Was, I thought it was getting to stage three. That is you insane thought how wrong. wrong. Yeah, I did think wrong. I saw. <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't know that either. For it's worth. I mean, is he gonna take out this poppy? Uh, how good is poppy on stage three? No items. I eh. Mean, uh, yeah, I'm not. I, I wouldn't buy poppy. Or I wouldn't spend gold poppy to hold poppy. How about that? I mean, she's great, but she's also expensive and doesn't have traits. Yep. All or right. items. Yep. Okay. Uh, Malala, Seraphine, Seraphine yep. Senna, and Kale. All available to him based on the, the shop and his item slam. Very interesting. Well, I don't think you can contest Senna because Rain already spams. Oh, so that would you're, right, you're right. Okay. Rod, wow. which is so Morello good. Is what, is uh, it's Nasher's probably play around the Rod, I would imagine. Oh, it does have the bow. Yeah, it does have the bow. Um, okay. Rain's Let's see what she hits. Asler. Oh, wait, it's one turn away. Okay. Press event at five. Uh, so we are joined by K3 Soju right now. Wait, how do you even know I joined? Wait, oh, what? The, I, the uh, I, I sensed it. Yeah, oh, yeah, man, yeah. don't ruin the magic. Oh, my bad. That's my, my bad. My bad, my bad, my bad. <laughs> he sensed it. There's no producer. He, he, he read the heart of the cards. Oh, man. My bad, my bad. Oh, no, the, oh, no I, I rejoined because the, the, the stream is like 2 FPS. But it's okay. Like, whatever. Oh, oh. you made Heartseal Spat. Yeah, yeah. Do you like Heartseal Spat when you kind of go for this? I mean, no, but I mean, he, like, like, he needs a first. Yeah, so, like, he's swinging for the fences, right? Have you, items. have you had a chance to talk to Preston between games at all? Oh, no. Did you watch his games? Oh, no. Okay. He played. He, he, I, I was going to watch the later half. He he, he played a uh, Riven game in the first game and went eighth, and then second game was a pretty good 80 flex game, and then the third game he uh, got he took Caretaker's ally and got Bard and played Bard and went eighth. Bard. B-I-S Bard. Well, uh, he had JG, but so. What, what was the, uh, what happened on the Riven? I, I, I like tuned out after the five streak. He never hit Riven. Missed three, really bad. Yeah. He never oh, hit he Riven. he just didn't hit? Like the entire oh, lobby hit three stars on four one, and he didn't even hit five, like five two. He, he hit his uh, stage oh. four board at stage five. He, yeah, so it was, it was oh, pretty okay. bad. Okay, uh, Rain took team building. Looking to see okay. if she rolls here. No roll. She's not rolling. Uh, she oh, probably wants she to buy just this. wants to buy this and sit. Okay. Yeah. I, I have no idea if is this stable? is stable. I mean, I, I mean, fucking no idea. No, it's one item. Uh, Soju, is this stable? But also, how, I mean, how no, much better no, can you no, actually do? Yeah, there's no damage here, but... I, I think, like, Echo 1, Echo 2, no diff. It's just, like, you want to hold her for the, uh, the Nash is true. Yeah. Okay. Slams hard for, for future, yeah, future Kali. I mean, he, he knows, she knows she's lacking damage yeah. here. Going against Degree. Degree went uh, Vex, Emo KG Vex. plus Guardbreaker Slam. Silver Veil? What do you play with that? Is he going to play? No. It's, Kat mean, it's Katarina. It's got to be Cat, right? Gotta... Oh, I can see it. Yeah, he's Katarina. It's got to be Cat. With, yeah. with Pharmacist. Yeah. Like, it's the only thing that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. This should already playing. 
XX is there no digital player? Well, we don't know what Digital's playing yet. Uh, uh, we'll Q's playing, playing XX, XX, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, no, no slam of he this bat. Yeah, he's he took, he took Indomitable Will, though. What do you think? Indomitable Will. I like the augment. I E slant is looking more like Riven yeah, the more it's it, more like passing. Riven. Yeah, he and he really really likes the um, the crit version of Riven because a big part of hit for him is that you can't expect to hit Riven three in stage four. The crit version of Riven will actually kill a bunch of units and win some fights. The like standard version of Riven often won't, so that's why he prioritizes playing around it. Mm -hmm. Wait, did he tell you that? Yeah. Oh, what? Oh. <laughs> they should just what, like... that, what do you think? That, that's what he's using the interviews for, man, because he wants to learn. Yeah, what, do, you think, I, do you think I ask you these questions for fun? No, I, I feel like he, here it's like, I, I think this guy is just just speaking to speak. Like, I feel like he just sent <laughs> IE and then he was just like playing the game. And then, oh, here, here's a spat. Time to play Riven. I, I, I like, oh, I'm going to build crit Riven. I'll, <laughs> norm, I'll normally agree with you, except yeah. this soap is that much of a sweat and that thought. Oh, my God. Another duplicator? I mean, look, I'll normally agree with you. There are definitely times when you are casting TFT that you speak to speak because, like, go, 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 Dan go. has been Dan's been talking for a while. You know, the other people on the couch are, are, are not yapping, so I have to step, step up and yap some. But, no, this is th that was real analysis. He actually prefers the crit build because he thinks it's stronger in stage four. China prefers crit build as well. Yep. I don't know. You're not a fan of the crit build, it sounds like, Soju. Oh, I, I don't think it matters. It's just... Yeah. I mean, he has IE, so... No bow for dish soap. Is this going to be one of those games where he just never hits bow? He'll bow eventually. I think he wants to complete the Hodge. Okay. Yeah, I can see that. Just Yeah, again, 8-bit uh, emblem is not important to slam early anyway. Yeah, right? yeah, it's literally you just need it for It's the like end. a yeah. stage 4 thing yeah. at best. Surely he gets a bow. Check back in on Precedent. Zed. I mean, he's only 3 heart steel. He's Dude. like low, and he, he can get 5 heart steel later, but like you're not even going to get that many stacks. Like, yeah. he, I think it's he's fine. fine. 7 heart steel. <laughs> we'll, we'll save him. I mean, he's buried treasures with like really good items though, so not really. Hodge, Hodge, Gumblade. Yeah. So he has dual carry at least set up, but uh, I wonder if he's gonna try to like force five hard steel, or would that mean he plays a better uh, board and three hard steel? Either way, it's gonna be tricky. It Rain is. with eight Senna's. Who is this? Is this degree? Wait, eight Forces. Senna's. Wait, what? What did they come no, from? No, no, it's oh, five, oh, sorry. Five. I thought this was a Senna oh, too. Oh, sorry. No, 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 you're good, you're good. My bad. Three damage spell on an, an RE. Yeah. Very nice. That's good for sure. Rage Blade, Rage she, Blade. She also has an Akali. Malala. Five Seraphines, it looks like. Oh, the CN build. Shiv Morello. I mean, you can always pop one of them off, but yep. uh, sometimes they actually. I have seen them keep it on when they, in the worst case scenarios. Yeah, the nice thing is getting to play the tiers for your RE, right? Yep, yeah, 100%. This March of Progress augment is so broken. It's so good. Yeah, I feel like it's been broken every set. Yeah, so there's some sets where Especially it's just this like meta, unplickable. Though. Yeah. The reroll metas in particular. It's especially broken in Seraphine because you can go for like Lulu 3 as well. True. Let's go for everything 3. Yeah, you might. I mean, yeah, that's, that's, you hit Nico 3, Echo 3, Seraphine 3, Lux Lulu 3. 3 fuck it. You're Lux, Lulu. <laughs> that's true. Lux 3. Did you see Wajin go Lux 3 Soji uh, yesterday? No, no. He played it with this line, and then uh, that was like the way he beat like Lucian two, Jin two. It was pretty sick. You get literally everything three star. I mean, random, he, he I, I know you can go random a moon with three as well. You can, yeah, you can go moon with three. It's the three cost. Augment is just like plus a hundred, like plus a hundred gold. Yeah. Yep. I mean, hundred gold doesn't guarantee that you hit though. Sometimes, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> So like this Augment, you can go zero on, you can literally go zero on three two, zero on four one, and you you like you're no matter what you're top four. Yeah, yeah. More loot for Kiyun. 82 HP, really good spot for him. I I feel like this is just one of those games where even if you have all the reasons to think you should play country, you still should just play executioners. I I, I just feel like it's almost never country unless you get a spat. Yeah, I, I mean I think he can. I mean he's just gonna play this core. He probably can't greed the chosen. So if he gets some okay, it might be as like country, whoever he hits. Okay. Because aren't you just? Pl I mean in this spot, don't you just? Pl you have to get as strong as you can as fast as you can with the yes, spoils. Yes, you're right. right? You're right. Especially because you're teaming up. But I agree. I'd much rather hit the executioner. Uh, from here. Oh, oh, we get sword. some GS. That's so big. Oh, yeah. Oh, there you go. That's Samira. literally BIS. There we go. And he's one off. Yeah, I, I mean, I think he was angling towards it anyway, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Wants. Man, this spot is so good. One more Samira. Is he going to roll deep for it? Maybe like the 30? I would roll super yeah. deep yeah, for this. 
So again, it's more spoiled value. I'm for sure this. rolling. Yeah. There's, he's rolling for the whole board. Like you don't need what? Oh. Oh, I guess like... He's rolling for the whole board. Yeah. yeah. He's rolling for the whole he, board. He should, he should be going zero, but I mean, it's whatever. Yeah. Did he get an Urgot drop? Like, is that why he took spoils? Um, he had he a Samira. He had Samira pair. He had Samira pair. He had Samira two in stage two. Yeah. Okay. And he didn't have the Urgot, and he still took spoils. Yeah. We, yeah. Did, we didn't see. Correct. We didn't see this. The other options. We talked about the fact that like spoils three is pretty unpopular. Augment. So we were surprised. Took, but we didn't see the choices. So it's hard to say. He wins this, right? Nice. Plus Vex like full troll. Oh. Oh, nah, wait, he no, was. Is it Ezreal? Dude, this Ezreal with a yeah. red buff. Uh -huh. this, this guy doesn't do anything. He just tickles everyone. <laughs> a one cost. All right. Uh, re replay. Th oh my god. Re replay. Press it again. Seven eight. Oh god, you guys. This is not like this. Cybernetic bulk. If he wants to potentially pay for hard steel. Unify is also all, all right as well. Yeah, it's unified for sure. Okay. Oh, actually, it's, he, it's he best has, friends. Uh, no, nah, it's unified for sure. It's, it's way too much combat. He has he has buried treasures. Oh, so he is, bulk. okay. He has buried. Plus items. Sword for Zed. Okay. Oh, okay. That's good. Oh. Hit some okay. front line. We're chilling. Oh. Okay. Uh, no. He can sell his extra Zed if, right now for more gold if he wants to dig deeper. I mean, this spot is not bad. Oh, this spot's nice. really good. Nice. Hey. Si nice. Wait, he's back. Yeah, he's, he's back. so back. 40 HP is not even that low as well. No, for yeah, this spot. Yeah, yeah. And he has, he has a hearthstone emblem, so he can cap really high. Really high. Re replay on the other side. Replay's board. I mean, this the only thing board looks like yeah. the only yeah. thing he has going it's for him the, is that he has this fucking Lucian, but that's it. It's the at home version of this board. <laughs> it's, it's the Zach that he. It's like yeah. It, it does not look very good for no. re replay. Re replay go eighth. God. It really is the Setsuko final lobbies. Wow, of this treatments. is fucking tragic. You know those Yu-Gi-Oh like starter packs that like have like that one good card and then a whole deck of trash. Yes. He has like the chosen Zach and then yep. a whole deck of trash. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I, I, I feel like re replay. I, I we didn't watch his roll down. He does have extra rolls on his uh, shopping spree. Okay, that's helpful. Uh, okay. Yeah, zero items. So this, this is any... Yeah, he has no items. How are we so yeah, yeah, broke? It, it, it literally doesn't matter. I mean, he has a Lucian too. I'm pretty sure. I think he can slam the Rage Blade well, for Lucian. Has eight components. Oh. Okay. Hold on a second. That's pretty it, big. It's, it's not that good because like the Poppy two is like a fake upgrade. He might survive like an extra. He'll probably go like sixth or, or seventh at best. Would I you slam Rage Blade here anyways. on Lucian? Oh yeah. I think, uh, I think. Uh, nah. Like you, you need to go for like third item on on Zed ASAP. I think Dead I would. Blade. I think I would move the red buff and I would slam the Rage Blade. Uh, red buff to Lucian. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think it's Lucian with those two but items. Then, but then you don't have will... a third item for Zed. I guess it's not ideal. But I, I think you have to go for the bailout of, Z uh, of Ezreal too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Is Ezreal two a bailout with these components? Yeah, it's better than Ezreal one, I guess. But also, <laughs> like, you can cash out a component for sure, and then you're still gonna go GS on Carousel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I don't know. You some Ginsu, and you're not guaranteed a third yeah. Zed item, which is like another sp three spats again. Oh, a sword Zed. Rain, rain at twenty seven. She can get another spat, but I think she's too. Or for that, that's a sword. Yep. So it's Gunblade for Wait, Zed. Dish Soap gets another spat. Oh. We gotta check in on did, Rain, did, did Dish Soap. Yeah, Dish Soap Slam. Uh, I mean, we, we can look at Dish Soap. Six, eight pits. Yeah, yeah. Okay, he slammed. Oh, he has it. He's got chosen. Is that a fawn then? Or what, what is this spot for? It might be. It it might be. Drop, it's just drop Corky. I mean, well, I mean, does he have it right oh. now? Is the question. Yeah, does he have items? No. Pentakill? Pentaspat? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. oh, he had eight. Oh, I'm surprised. I'm surprised he's like greeting the QSS. Like he doesn't go for GA on. On Riven, yeah. Uh, yeah. Really interesting. He's one off. Please. Oh, okay. He'll probably just open cell. Please. Nah. I'm a dish soap hater. I hope he doesn't hit. Whoa! What the fuck? Come on, man. Please. Uh, nah, press him and clears dish soap. It's all good. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, Q just oh hit Urgot God. 3 and, and Dishop's fighting Urgot 3. Oh, he's full Urgot mode. Oh, bet. He's fighting Urgot 3. GG's. That is not looking good. Wow, this Soji guy. Is he going country version? Looks like he is. Oh, was, he was one off. Uh... I thought he got. Oh, oh, he didn't even go for the. He got country Urgot. Even though he's one off. He was oh, one off what's... Samira. Yeah. Did wait, he just wait say... he sold like all of his Samiras. Yeah. Did he wait, just say, oh, he just got another golden interest. Another Shitter Nico as well. But, yeah, he just hit another. Oh, okay, he's a fucking beast. Wait, wait, he's willing to do that. 
Yeah, what the so, heck? Soap took second spat because he, he, he sold. He, he had six Samirs. He, he had eight Samirs. He had eight Samirs. Yeah, but he didn't even. Ha he probably hit it all in one chop or something. Every Urgot. He, like he was holding Urgot on bench and didn't then he just found Urgot. Wait, he has he has he has Vex three right now. So Dish Soap just hit, by the way. Okay, Dish Soap just hit. And, and, and oh, because man. he has two spats, he can actually <laughs> he can actually go six eight bit, which is such a big deal from here because yeah, he got the edge yeah, yeah, chosen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now I think that's why he took the spat for the the yeah, insurance. He, he, yeah, because he, mm -hmm. he was clearly playing around Garen chosen. That's why we saw the six eight bit. That's why he's the PP. Replay versus Dish Soap. Th this oh. QSS item on, on Riven, like high key, it, it's kind of fake. Like people say you, you need it, but but you actually don't. I mean, we've Riven's been, uh, dueling uh, the Zed. Edge Everyone's procs, edge surely, procs. Right? Yeah. Zed is dead, very dead. Do we have enough DPS left over? I'm assuming don't no. think so. Riven is quite the juicer. Ezreal 2, Ezreal 2 sometimes helps you get there. Re Replay loses again, Rain lost again. Rain, have Rain still hasn't hit. Three. Oh, no, oh, what the oh, fuck? Oh, fuck, she no. still hasn't hit. Oh. There okay. We go. Okay. Okay. Asking well, shall receive. I mean, I feel like the tempo is completely. I, it does, it's too late. Has yeah, a too at least. But. Dish soap at Caitlyn too. If Dish soap gets a bow here, and he's also he also held these Mordekaisers. He actually he he's a giga Chad. Okay, forcing. Yeah, I think I'm gonna sold for the K2 upgrade immediate. Yeah. Yeah. Precedent has won out the rest of the stage. Great spot for Precedent. He's going to nine, and that may be the first time we've seen Precedent get to nine with uh, Hearthstone in a fight. Sometime he's been rolling at eight like almost every game. Yep. Kian looking good. Malala looking good again, by yeah, the way. True. Staying ahead, he has Lulu 3. Cut Aniko's hair. Cut Aniko's hair. Okay. We replayed May to 9. He has 9 rolls okay. and 2 gold. 2 gold? He can go blue buff <laughs> Gunblade Ezreal, I guess. He can go... Malala hit Nico 3. And then he's in his pool. Seraphine 3. Oh. oh. That is really oh, bad. Is Gunblade? I mean, missing tier here feels friggin' awful. Yeah, there's not even a chain for frontline items. Yeah, so this is really bad. Naked yeah. Poppy. I, I feel like Poppy without items is just not actually that good. No, she's not. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't have a choice. I mean, this board oh, looks wait, pretty wait, sus. Is this is, 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 is he a binary? What, what, what's going on here? Oh. I think what's going on here is a high chance we replay is just dead. Uh, replay can win this fight for sure. Zed's getting access Zed's... to the back line. Lucian's already dead. Onto a Kali. Okay. Call is dead, so replay oh, wins. Shit. Nice. I like his itemization here, by the way. I think this is correct. The, I, I, don't, oh. I don't think it's... I, I think Redemption is so negligible that you, you'd rather just itemize it. Yeah, agreed, agreed. agreed. Also, uh, Forsen and Degree just took big-time losses, and they're at 13 and 15. The HP of this lobby is basically like a combination of your matchmaking as well as, like, can you mitigate these losses? Yeah, and those those two are, you know, right on the bubble right now, so it's a really, really big deal in terms of overall standings. I don't see Degree's board going very far. Can we, no. can we peek at Dish Sub just to see if he got 6 Penta or 6, six 8 bit? He did. He did he get got 6, six eight, 8 bit. One off more 3. He's one off more 3. If he gets more 3, this looks like a win out. I mean, it's Malat Malat's got the juicer board. Q just hit Vex 3. Oh, oh Nico 3, what is and that And this thing? is a bad reposition from your sub 2. If he was on the right side, he would be able to get easy access onto the Seraphine, but instead he's going to get stuck on the Nico 3 forever. Uh, I mean, forever, it's one item, never mind, but it's I mean, for a while. It feels like forever. Oh, she's in the back line now. Seraphine. Too much single target oh. dirt for Lulu, Lulu. Uh, that's a positioning oh, diff. That's a lot of damage. We replay versus press event. Oh, the Caleb! Oh! oh man, that was crazy. It's a hard to loss. Hard to loss. What is this lobby? Preston's at 150, 18 HP. He should be able to catch up. But it's two fights away. Rain lost he again. Oh, Preston actually high. He's about to win out. Yeah, if he can get the cash out, he needs to win one more fight, and he's there. Uh, just soap at 10 HP as well. This is so close. So dicey. Uh, he, he hit. Um, he just hit Viego too, which is really nice. Yep, for sure. Yep, yep, huge. He doesn't have anti armor, I just realized. Yeah, yeah that's big a big deal. problem. Uh -oh. Pushing that last fight, we can get through the Nico fast enough. Kay. Oh, on the other side of Rain? Oh my god, Rain might go eighth here. I mean, Dish so might go eighth here. True. I'm like worried for both of them. I think he got the Indomitable like really fast. He did, yeah. Oh, Riven, where are you going? Fine, Indomitable. I, I don't know if Sunday okay, first. Fine. Yeah, we're Oh, we're Rain went eighth. eighth. Wow. Re replay. Oh, Re replay is about to die as well to Malala. Wow. This lobby is so bye -bye. close. Re replay is down in seventh. So, Drew, are you an everyone hate watcher? Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. Saying, I'm only a precedent non hate watcher. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Honestly, respect. Oh, my God. Another true damage emblem as well Wait, for Rain. Wait, you're rooting for Kiyun, too, obviously. 
Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? You don't even have your boy Kiyun? Nah, I'm only rooting for Preston. Oh, I thought you and Kiyun were boys. Yeah, but the thing is, like, all he does during the uh, like during the non-regional season is he just plays Valorant. So, like, I don't want someone like that to win. Oh. Yeah, Pre Pre Preston works he his ass off. Him. He resents how Pre Pre Preston works so hard. He resents Keen's natural talent. Is that what it is? No, I, I just don't <laughs> want someone that's not hardworking outside of regionals to win. It's like undeserved. <laughs> then why do you practice with this guy? <laughs> uh. Oh, I mean, he's pretty good, but like, yeah. <laughs> like right. I'm rooting for Preston. All right, Preston. Man, he just has to live. He's got a 200 cash queued. Who did he lose against? He lost three fights: Dish Soap, Re Replay, and Kiyun. That's not a very good vote of confidence. We want to play Forsen. He might play Malala, and he's the strongest in the lobby right now. I'm down to play Forsen. Oh, Dish Soap. God. Oh, this match is kind of sketch. He does have Zach, though. On the wrong side. Zach has to get in front of the Ribbon. Riven still hasn't been seen. And this, this is Viego's yeah, scary. Viego. Viego's kind of just feeding mana though, high key. Oh, wait. Oh. No. Oh, this is not looking good. It's not looking good. Oh, President's dead. dead. Fuck. The Gui also oh, dead. No. no. Force, is, Force is dead. Force is dead. Force is dead. And that's probably nailing the coffin for Preston, sadly. Uh, nah, he can just 1-1. One, one. It's all good. He can 1-1, one, one, and it kind of, I think it's not a 100% out, but that yeah. is brutal. That is brutal. More three for dish soap. Um, more I mean, low key, it's good because then maybe we can play some Valorant tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! This fucking not even, guy. He's not even giving the night off. He's not even gonna let the body cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, I know you're he's sad gonna, about losing and all, but like, get online. It's gonna be it's gonna be two minutes after he's officially eliminated, <laughs> and he's gonna hit him up for the Val question mark. Yeah. I mean, if he makes it to Worlds, then he's gonna be like busy for another three days. So it's like, at least yeah. Yeah. maybe six days. Six days. Three days if he gets eliminated on first day. <laughs> uh, Malala, by the way, another top four. Looking pretty, pretty good for Malala. He's pulling away from Rain. Worlds. He's pulling away from Forsen. He has to make distance between him and Kiyun. He's not making distance from Kiyun based off of this fight, though. Injury. Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, wow. my. Oh, oh, my God. God. My so God. What? Dude, this Urgot unit. It just one shot the Ari from full. What? <laughs> Look how much damage the Seraphine and Lulu did, and he didn't win. It's literally a raid. Like a raid boss. Oh my god. Yeah, that, 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 is. that is disgusting. That is filthy. This Urgot unit's kind of cool. I mean, seven country. When did you get the spat? Was it last carousel? Yeah, because okay. there's three spats. So that's probably part of the pivot as well. Is like once you get the country. No, he, no, he, 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 he had, had the Urgot. He had the Urgot. He, already he, had, he had the Urgot and then got the spat, okay. which is like, he was one off. I think he just didn't want to play Executioners. Okay. Yeah. That's interesting. I'm with, I'm with Dan. It, it, I think without Spat, I like Executioner. It could more. be the fact that he made Infinity Edge and like Executioner. If you go to like the six Executioners, you don't need IE as much. Yeah. So he felt like yeah. his items were bad. And like I trust Kiyun to kind of understand a lot. Oh wow, that, that's. I mean, this huge. is Kiyun's a line optimizer, right? Like yeah. this, is, this is comfort zone for Kiyun. He can win this lobby. Yeah. The, the more I watch the patch, the more it feels like a, just an awesome Kiyun patch. I... The one v one. All right. This match is going to be a problem for this ribbon, probably. I'm not gonna lie. I haven't seen much of this matchup, but I think he wants to hug this side because of the horse. I don't think he actually wants to switch sides. Yeah, he's putting the Vex right um, beside the Urgot just so that whenever the Urgot and the the Riven fight each other, the Vex can just start telling the Riven. Oh and my then god, this <laughs> Triple set. How hard can you high roll to hit Mordekaiser 3 playing Riven? Like, come on. Yeah. Isn't that, like, unreasonable? I mean, yes, but no one else is really playing more in this lobby, so... Ed Edge Knight's already proc'd on this Riven. This Riven could easily die. It's so close. Oh! Oh, yeah. He lives. Oh, bye bye. Oh no, he's dead. Oh, oh what the fuck? Oh, wait, what? Whoa! Q oh, lost. My. Q lost with the ghost. Is it a dish that went out? Uh, I mean that fight was a real butt clincher. So I'm not, I'm not prepared to. I know. thought Q was gonna win. It was a foregone conclusion in my mind. Oh. And now it's Q versus I feel like it's I feel like it's all kind of close. Yeah. And Malal can get stronger. I guess the ghost. I thought Q was gonna win versus the ghost. Oh yeah, true. I thought I thought Q would beat the ghost. I agree. Yeah. Okay, that helps. That, uh, leveling up the, the horse is really big. Yeah. Big horse is good. Agreed. Oh, we need Forsen to play seven countries. So then we can uh. call it Horsen. <laughs> Just so yeah, first. One, nah, I mean, you don't, you don't, if you know, you know. Okay, uh, Riven 3 has to get onto the, the Urgot as fast as possible. Diego did cast. Oh, the Urgot's dead. Oh, yeah, man. So he wins. Oh, man. Just so cleared Kiyun this fight. 
And then Keegan's out in third. And that's more distance from a lot to the rest of the field. Now it's at least a three point gap, maybe even four. Bro, this country comp like is terrible. Who I do mean, we even nine eagle, level nine? nine eagle level nine, by the way. Oh shit. Oh wow. What is only for three star four costs? Whatever he wants. And a hyper pop is insane. You get like every oh, medical. Okay, 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 okay. I feel like Malala has to be able to beat this board really? by the time by the time we're done here, right? Uh, I mean the thing is, uh, he's scaling. Okay, he's not actually that close to max score. I thought that if he was scaling to eight bits, oh true, yeah, he puts yeah, him on yeah. a timer. True, 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 true. Viego's on the opposite side, away from Riven. He, he's been choosing to do this. He's getting oh. away from the Lulu and the Seraphine. Like, I mean, he he just wow. doesn't he doesn't want to be in that corner into Lulu. I guess. <gasps> that AOE. But Riven had to walk for like half this fight. Yeah. I, he, he's been he's consistently chosen this position against Malala. He thinks it's correct. Uh, uh, it's dead. Right next oh, cast. Oh, uh, Malala wins another, another lobby. Top four. It's top four every single game. I, I mean, Malala now pulls away from the rest of the field. Oh my God, it's happening. I mean, the set of a lifetime for Malala. He he's gonna win. T right now he's on track to win Vegas Open, KDA Cup, top three MSI, yeah. and win regionals. Yeah. Go to Worlds. I and mean, if he wins, if, if, if he yeah. Uh, caught, uh, shaves Iniko's hair, and if he wins world, I mean, come on, man. I mean, no one is balancing this Malala unit. It's, it's, all uh, it's <laughs> actually insane. Do you think, you think Iniko's people shaking downstairs? Oh, for sure. Maybe. Maybe. Who, right want, who wants to actually cut his hair? Uh, well, I feel like it's got to be Dan, it, right? It, I, it, first of all, we don't have haircut material. Oh, I mean, we can. We, also, we, have, we, have we don't have the setup because we have to clean up afterwards. Oh, we just put down a bunch of towels. I'm, I'm shocked. And for the content, I thought you would be all over this. Going to the backyard. What's that Is it not worth for the content? I mean, maybe. Chat, do you think it's worth for the content? Well, all right, maybe maybe we'll do it. I have to. <laughs> I, I have the thing is, I just have a pair of scissors. So I feel bad. I have to literally just take a pair of scissors and cut them. And I have my 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 peach fuzz razor. Like I don't even have a real razor. Listen, I gave him the chance to choose the terms. He could have said Malala goes one 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 one, and I'd be like, okay. He said what Malala wins. It's cool. Yeah. All right. All he right. opted. He opted in. He didn't. He didn't caveat. We must have hair cutting scissors. How about we all take one snip at his hair? Mm. Okay, I like that. Walk at a time. Can yeah, we, we all get to, and then I'll give the I will give the the shears to my cat. <laughs> <laughs> They're a bonded pair at this point. Unreal performance from Malala. Malala, twenty six points, four points gap from him to dish up Kiyun. Forcing in fourth, degree and rain. Press up and re replay. Bottom two. If the tournament were to end right here, right now, Malala dish up Kiyun. And Forsen Smurf account to be our fourth player based on AVP. What a surprise to turn of events. Yeah, but Wait, the AVP is really is... close. Yeah, how is his AVP after going like dead last? I mean, he's he's 3.94. He's kind he's far, of far, in far it. Away. If we pull, can we pull up Fantasy? It'll show us uh, the point, the point gaps. Wait, what game is this? Is this game five? We're going, We're going, to, going game to game five. five or? We're going to game five. So we have two more games. Okay. So right now, re replay 81. 81 oh, he's 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 three points back that's that's totally doable yeah, yeah, totally yeah. doable three points back from number one in avp yep yeah okay it's doable for sure and dish up also right there as well one point behind it also depends like the people in top three obviously right are not going to be getting through avp right so mm -hmm. i mean it's like it's actually kind of incredible how close the avp has been for all the performers you look at it 83 yeah. 81 84 82 84 82. it's actually insane there's no runaway press event the only is the clear <laughs> outlier in the lobby in yes. terms of total points it's unfortunate that press event looks like he's outmatched in every category right now out, out, out in points and now in avp but at least he's not out in fan he's it, a fan in the call he's uh oh me all over. yeah that's you <laughs> wait i think he's uh, yeah i think he's fucked though <laughs> <laughs> like, even if he goes one one, like yeah, I think he's, he's fucked. Doomed? I think he's fucked. I'm pretty sure. Uh, let, let oh, I mean, there's, some, there's definitely some version of events that you could have where, uh, he, where he's not. But can we, can, we, can we go back to the standings? We we have like an eight minute break according to the main broadcast. Okay, so if he goes one one, he has 27. Do we think 27 ever gets top three? 27 is usually cut off for fourth. But then he might he can't get an EVP as Look well. Look at this guy. He's just hating for no reason. <laughs> what do you, mean? you just said Wait, he's when it kick fucked. A, when it kick a guy when he's down, oh, Wait man. a second. Soju says he's fucked. I, I and mean, everyone's like, whatever. And I, I just literally do the math, and it's, it's I'm the bad guy? Fucking oh, I mean, fucking. yeah. If you do the math, then it's kind of sad. But He's yeah. smiling when you say that. You can hear him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, that's not good. Like... <laughs>
I'm not even uh, hate watching. I love Prestovin. I love just Prestovin. I'm, I'm sad, words. man. I'm sad. Yeah. I, I, I really felt like in my, you know, actually, I technically didn't pre pre predict Prestovin. I, pre I predicted Kiyun. You did. But uh, I, I wanted to be wrong. Yeah. I wanted to be wrong. Yeah. He's worked so hard. There's definitely a little bit of picking with your heart there. I like, he, really wanted – I my he, number one I wanted to see succeed today was Dish Soap. My number two was Preston. You hear it from Soju. You hear it from Milk. You hear it from, like, Kiyu and, like, like quote, no one cares about these Mickey Mouse cups, these Disneyland parking lotters. Like, we don't care about these cups. You know who does care in that group? Preston. He does. He cares so much. He's like – Bro, he's <laughs> – he played 14 games total. <laughs> that doesn't mean he, he, doesn't, doesn't, mean he doesn't care. He wanted to play more. I'm just saying that he, he, want, <laughs> he wants to actually win these cups. He, he, he wants it badly. He does. And it just feels like, I mean, obviously, it's not, a, it's not a desire competition. It's not about who wants it most. It's about who's, uh, who's able to get the points, and yep. he's just not getting it. That's yep. brutal. All good. We can also um, the lobby's pretty do good. we have any highlights or clips from that game? We have one clip. All right, we, we while we have, let's go ahead and watch uh, a highlight from that game. Nico, how's your hair feeling? Uh, he's fine. He's shaking. He's, 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 he's shaking. He, 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 he's okay, we have one clip uh, from this game. We're watching it right now. <clears throat> oh, this is the Urgot. Oh, the Urgot clutch. The Urgot clip. Okay, so country country sucks, but like third is actually still like not like fine. It's fine. But like. I guess at the same time, you get seven country, you get Urgot three, you get Vex three. It feels like you... I mean, but the lobby was really capped, though. That is true. Right? Like, who, like Malala's board, you know, kind and of disgusting. The, the lineup for the Lulu was here, but the fan out was very clutch. And then the Boom. Thresh cast it again. Dude. Oh, Boom. almost cast the it again. The Urgot. Boom. Oh, my God. It's yeah, so satisfying. You know, it's, it is really satisfying. Just shooting with the faceless shotgun. I basically. thought the Thresh was going to cast again, and then he didn't. Because it was, it was basically he winding up. too long. Yeah, he was winding yeah. up. Yeah. I got the Ari. Oh. Okay. I mean, it would be cool. Kiyun has never been to a world championship. Uh, for people who need context, the last time... You can come sit down if you want. Uh, the last time Kiyun was on the verge of making it to the world championship, he got griefed, griefed. by Cottontail. Yes, he did. Actually, so do you, do you remember what happened exactly? Yeah, he needed Gangplank. He was playing Space Pirates. Oh, wow. All he needed was Gangplank. He would have won out for sure. And then Cottontail just goes and takes it from him. On Carousel? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Unfortunate. And then uh, ever since then, that's the closest Keen has got to World Championship. I mean, it's basically the only time he tried. He tried to sell in set four, right? But then uh, Set five. The last time Keen was in regionals was in set five. Okay. If you can believe that. It's been five sets since Keen's uh, even been in regionals. Which sounds wrong, but it is, it's true. Yeah, I mean, it sounds right to me. Yeah. Basically, wasn't playing. Yeah. All right. Uh, in the meantime... Uh, also, want to give a shout out to Rainplosion. She's having a great tournament as well. Iniko, uh, really low roll that game, by the way. Yeah, double, she double did. dupe, like full sends, <clears throat> can't find her Senna. How, how, did you, how was the game from your perspective downstairs? Oh, I, I oh we had to unmute. Off, unmute sorry. sorry. Go, okay, you're good. We're good. Okay. Um, I'm actually kind of surprised that Kyun, sorry, Kyun and uh, Dish Soap didn't top two. Um, all the spot was really good, but I thought that, I, I or I mean, I know Dish Soap top two. I, I, I thought that Kyun maybe could outcap. Um, I guess I just overestimate country. Uh, I just haven't seen many people play it, so that's fair. Yeah, lack of experience with the with the patch, I guess. I mean, I th I think uh, I think third's fine there, and yeah. the six eight bits plus the the HP gap was always going to be overcome. Sorry, I was, overcome. I was referring to my lack of experience, not Kyun's lack of experience. Just oh, to, just to be okay. clear about it, just to be clear. Wow, why do you hate Kyun? Man, I don't know. Man, I, the, other day, the other day, the other day, you were flaming him yeah, for his for his final board and not playing the zigs, and now you're with me you're the one who said now. bad fundamentals. Oh, well, that, no, that was just bad, true. He, he didn't say bad fundamentals. Fundamentally he bad said Fundamentally yeah. bad player. That, <laughs> 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 All right, uh, are you so uh, assuming Malala wins? We're gonna cut your hair. Yeah. The thing is, we don't actually have real haircut, but we have a pair of scissors. <laughs> You gotta do what you gotta do. So <laughs> yes. you're okay with us taking all a hack at your hair? Listen, I is think a true the thing chat. is, okay, I think that Bryce is like really smug right now, but like I feel like I'm in the position of power here. Like I get free labor out of you guys. I get a free <laughs> haircut. Like I'm chilling. I'm fine with it. I want a haircut. Oh my I god. I love it. I just think it sounds fun. Oh man. How short you are we guys make it, it sound content, like he doesn't yeah. want the haircut. How short are you going? <laughs> I mean, I would probably rather you not shave my head completely. No, 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 for sure not. I mean, I mean we although that's probably like, gonna be the most consistently. <laughs> yeah, probably. Sure. Are you sure we you can, want? We can do like a, like a summit cut or something like that. That's fine. Like, 
I mean, you, it's all fun and, guys, fun and games for you guys, but I have to vacuum and clean up. Yeah, you that's guys. true. He has, like, he has the most work. To I have do. so much stuff yeah. to did, get done. Plus okay, okay, Dan, it's your call. There's a bunch we'll, of equipment. We, so. we, we won't pressure you in. There's no way that chat will riot if, if well, uh, plus, you don't cut his plus hair. Plus one right? haircut no coupon for the future. Yeah. Oh, haircut coupon? I can I can roll with that. Yeah, I can roll with the haircut coupon. You didn't, and you guys can just catch me completely off guard with it as well. <laughs> it, <laughs> with it, a razor. It's, in, not, it's a not like you cut, you grew out your hair for a specific reason, right? No. No, it's. Well, I mean, the specific reason. Reasons, I'm too lazy to go get it. I mean, can we? What all if right, we? What right. if we like bequeath it to Riot to but handle what? it at, at Riot what offices? The fuck? <laughs> what what the words fuck? are you, you using? The lawyer word. <laughs> is that really bequeath. that word? That's not okay. It's, but, it's, but it's, what? Fine. it's fine. Please. Bryce, it's fine. Isn't that a pretty normal to a person word? That's a pretty or normal other word. English uh, major lawyer. Will. Yeah, I mean, you can you can send it to Mort. I thought or that was something. a pretty normal word. <laughs> I've never heard that word before. You can send it to Mort. You can send it to Kent. Just don't send it to Tim. Okay. He'll abuse it for sure. Oh, Bryce, man. like writing this down. Bryce is normal. Sorry. TFT players are weird. Agreed. Agreed. Uh, how much? I mean, how many? How much time are we out for the next game? Two minutes. One to two minutes. Okay. Uh, all right. So uh, I'll text my wife to make sure that uh, we have scissors okay. ready to go. It's all on Malala's sh shoulders. He's never had this much pressure. Before. I remember the, the first day we said it, and Bryce was like, yeah, yeah, let's do it. Let's yeah. go there. And Dan is immediately just like. <laughs> <laughs> do like, we have scissors the, to cut Eniko hair? All right. Because, yeah. yeah. I mean, okay. Well, I, feel like, okay. I feel like you'd look good with a buzz cut. I agree. I, I'm down for the Asian hair, uh, bowl haircut. We actually put a bowl on him and cut around it. <laughs> okay, I don't know. I'm sure if the hair bowl that, haircut works with like. Yeah, I was gonna say, does that work? Like my hair, my hair comes out anyway. Like. Yeah, but like uh, you know, you would fit in with us. Get the the bowl haircuts. <laughs> okay, sure. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The reason why I'm a little bit hesitant, just being very transparent, is because a lot of people invest. They, they donated money to his equipment, and if, it, if there's like a bunch of stuff that if there's anything that like makes it go wrong, oh, hair wire. I, I agree. I agree. If you if you don't feel comfortable, it's definitely no, it's, not. It's, it's definitely not. It's, definitely not. it's yeah. just that we're not prepared for it. Yeah. We could also just like we could just phone, do it outside. Go into the backyard. I have an iPad. Oh, oh, that's true. We could uh, we could actually flip this camera back and put him on the patio. Okay, I like it. Yeah. Maybe. Plus, it's it's windy outside, so it's like high stakes hair cutting. <laughs> Oh god! <laughs> it, 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 my neighbor just wakes up and there's just Eniko locks of hair on this door. Yeah, stuff. that's exactly what's gonna happen. Uh, I, I, okay, I don't, I don't, I don't want that to happen. Uh, my neighbors actually have a good relationship with us. Oh. Their kids think I'm really Wait, cool. Wait, which neighbor? The one, to, the one with our left. <laughs> crab rave, crab rave. I think, I think, the, I think the wind's blowing that way, so I think you're fine. Replay, okay, okay. please. Fuck those neighbors. Oh, crab rave. Replay. Crab rave. Wow, replay. He must be rattled. The green is the only it. one on crab rave. Hold on. We, if we want to give away more eggs, we gotta crab rave it. Replay is shaking if he's not standing no. on this right now. Yeah, seriously, I'm shocked Replay's not standing on this. I'm cringing. Really? I'm cringing. Oh, man. Badge. What do we have? Item payouts? Pog. Wow. All I right. expected better from Forsen. Not, uh, not really content for the people. All right, I'm going to take a, a brief take break. A break. Do it. You guys have fun. Here that sounds great. Let's drive away here, chat. All right, chat. Dan's gone. It means we can cut Nico's hair without issue. We can do other fun things. What do we want to do, chap? Oh, six gold, no units. GG's. Okay, there's no way you're bitching about this too, man. Like, Wait, this guy's here? Do you what want... the hell? So, dude, do, <laughs> Wait, you... What? do you want every opening just be the exact same? Like, exact same? Well, well, no, but the thing is, like, six gold, no units. Like, come on. Like, it's, like it's, it, I feel like it's pretty unreasonable. I mean, Riot Games wants every opening to be the exact same. That is not true. I mean, right. Everybody gets the same thing, right? I mean, haven't we been bullying them into like making it more consistent, like time over time? We're like yeah. slowly whittling away at more. He's like, "Fucking fine." <laughs> and now, yeah. and now he gives it so that it's it's no longer. It used to be, we used to get like four gold, and then it was five gold. We complained about five gold opening. Five and to then, six. And now it's okay. All, that was imbalance. It was that was really imbalanced. And now it's six, and so it's just immediately. Okay. <laughs> GGS. Okay. What what about like three two costs guaranteed? You know, Instead of like, man. you could just you, you, you could just guarantee units, right? It could be any combination of units, but you just guarantee you get units for your gold. But the thing is, there's always one three cost that's just so like OP for stage two that like they just win the game for free. I've done a hook my account if, up to tactics on tool stats. Like, would that be boring one. if it was just three two oh, costs? Oh? Uh, like this guy, like oh. this guy gets dropped a set, he just wins the game for free. Like, yeah. look at this. I mean, this this seems pretty good. Natural oh, hearts forces going to worlds. Okay. Jinx chosen. Very few people have bought Chosen so far. 
were headliner. I don't think anybody's bought a show. There were two that we saw. We saw Jinx and we yeah. saw the o- o- Olaf Rakeen. We see some headliners, not chosen. Oh, oh, I see what you <laughs> did there. Hey, listen, if you don't want me to call the thing, the I don't thing care. from before, then you should not just remake the thing. I don't care. Agreed. Uh, we're on we're on Rain's augment choice. Help is on the way. It synergizes well with her play on style because way. she's like essentially not yeah. playing this stage, right? So yeah, I mean, yeah. look at the board. No, yep. no units. Um, the punk oh. jinx slams oh. you, you also have sunfire here, right? Component buff it. That's part of the advantage of buffet on this galaxy is that you're just consistently slamming. Do you? I, do you I not don't actually know if you do. It's buffet, Bryce. Oh, oh, good to know. Yeah, this guy's a lawyer. Damn. Oh, very good to know. Thank you for correcting me. I don't know how keen so, I am on the sunfire slam actually, but oh, I think sunfire slam is kind of good. You just don't like the item? I think it's okay. I think with the Gunblade Slam, I like it a little bit less, but we'll see. Okay. Soap buys Kin and Chosen, not something you see every day. Slam showed Shiv, also not something you see every day. He he took Caretaker's Ally and he got Twitch. Definitely not the droid he was looking for. I think Dishop just understands that like there's not really much value to ever losing on stage two. Yep. Like you might as well just win any round you can. So yep. That's very the chosen. Yeah. I mean this is we've seen a couple caretaker low rolls. We haven't seen have we seen a caretaker high roll yet today? I don't uh, think so. Well, what would you consider a high roll? Just like Senna, like, like Cass, half, half Senna, Senna, Seraphine, yeah. Seraphine. Yeah. Like I guess like Cat, Cat, Cat for Arena. sure. Yeah. Yeah, we haven't really seen the high roll moment with it. So I'm assuming he'll just make Twitch 2 play tempo, right? O- other wind streaking yeah. boards. So he did wind up buying this Eve. Just slams the gargoyle. Also goes component b- buffet. Thank you for correcting me, Soju. I'll, I'll now say it correctly for the rest of my life. Oh, okay, good. This Eve chosen is a unit that I'm. I feel like it's getting bought a lot more these days. Like for a while, people were. You just add, okay. <laughs> oh, 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 nice, oh, nice. oh, nice. We have we have Soju. Thank you for turning on your webcam, Soju. What? Nothing. We just, Nothing. We just we just pulled a Don't picture of you it. and put it in the lower right hand corner so people know you're here. No, it's not a picture. It's him. It's live. Oh yeah, it's feed live right feed. Now. It's a li- well. If it were live feed, then wouldn't it just be his chair? <laughs> oh yeah, true. <laughs> okay, Moal gets an easy fight win against Rain. Looks like Preston and Forsen are playing each other. Oh no, they're not. When you're in these spots where you have to like lose rounds early game for no reason, it really does suck. Yeah. I mean, Preston spot's pretty good. Four punk, made ten, two slam bulls. Like this spot seems good. Uh, the other wind streaker is Dish Soap. We, oh, we saw that board right. That's right. So he leveled. Level so he five. did. He did level to five just to guarantee the Twitch. Push two. And then he actually got, got another, another copy of Twitch. Yeah. Does he ever no. play it? Okay. No. <laughs> no. There's actually no way. Does anyone think he play? Soju, would you ever play Twitch? No. No. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> He can't play the well, triple shift no Twitch. I, I thought the rat, the rat attack. Like one of my theory craftings going into the patch that this might be tech, and then it was and then it's not tech. What yeah. shift Twitch? You no, just, just, you Twitch. just lose instantly. Like yeah. these units are terrible. Yeah. Like low key, if you hit Twitch three like early enough, it's fine, and then you just play towards executioners. But like it's a shiv. Like like you're playing. You'll probably just sell it. What do you like subpar comp? Executioners, and then you're carrying Twitch. So, Shoju, Shoju, can you talk to us a little bit about the shift slam? Obviously, he was incentivized to do it with the item oh. payout, but we saw you slam shift twice over the course of your 12 games, and a lot of people aren't open to slamming the item. So, why do you oh. like shift slam? Oh, it's it's. Oh wait, really? Wait, wait. I feel like a lot of people slam shift. It's oh. um. So like the thing is with Kale, like yeah, Kale shreds, but Kale doesn't actually shred until like it like the shreds Kale fake cast. unless you have double Ginsu, because it only it only shreds on alt, right? So like if you don't have double Ginsu, it doesn't have per mob time. And like Shiv is like one of the strongest early game items. It gives AP, gives attack speed. Like it's not even bad on Kale. Like the people that are like over greeting double Ginsu Kale are like kind of trolling. So when you and then also oh sorry, finish oh, sorry. no no go go oh like every single two cost reroll can use Shiv. It can also tempo into like Lulu reroll. It can tempo into uh, super fan Ari flex. It can tempo into Karthus. Like the item's actually just good. Oh. I think Bow is like kind of low on prio only because like the only like bis item is red buff and that's only in the AD flex line. But that's like. Not that good, I think. Well, okay. is it time? No, he's definitely just holding this to make sure he has something to play at six, I'm pretty sure. I, I don't think he would ever play I mean, he, he's also probably, like, if for whatever the reason there's two Twitches in his next shot. Like, you probably take, like, a free Twitch three, no? Yeah, I, yeah, I, was, yeah. I was talking about the Garen reroll in his shop. Oh, oh yeah. I see. The angle that we didn't see. Okay. Yeah, we took it off the bingo card, so I'm no longer incented. Yeah. To pay attention to that. Yeah, it seems like he's just... 
somewhat committing on the Senna. I mean, it's the easiest thing to do. You could also still play Kale. If he's committing on Senna, wouldn't he rabbit onto the Twitch then? You think so? Probably. Yeah, the, like... you wouldn't rabbit onto the naked. The yeah, naked why would you? Yeah, you wouldn't put it on the non. I mean, I, just... I feel like Senna's still strong as forward though. Yeah, but but you, but if you're gonna is, is open up, really? if you're gonna I open up so. chosen to roll, what what's, what what's switches AP skilling? Any knowers? It's well, I mean, twenty percent bonus damage. It's a secondary damage. splash. It's a secondary splash. Mm -hmm. Wait, it it, it, the AP skill is not bad magic, at all. It does fifty-eight magic damage. I mean, that's what no, no, but it's, gives percent it's but it, it like procs four times, damage and then oh. also it, you oh. get twenty percent bonus damage as well, and then it also opens the Senna slot. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this. Uh, I mean, also the, true damage on the Senna. Though. The, the thing I really like. Yeah. yeah okay. It, true, oh yeah, true damage. That's a good point. Yeah. I, I could just see him going either way with it. Honestly, I, I, I don't. I don't. I think he's committing to not playing Senna. He also could just like play normally from here. As yeah. Well. <laughs> like, and by normally, I mean just yeah. tempo and four costs. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, that seems it seems like what he's doing. So Pressman getting heart seal in on four win, but it is it is a Zach. So he gets to move his Sunfire. So it is the it's the head to head. Who do you guys think wins this fight? Zach? The uh, opinions. The king, uh, wait, wait until the fight. Oh, probably okay. Dishoap. <laughs> Wow, that fight recognition from yeah, Soju. Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna have to go with Dishoap as well. Wow, I don't know why. You know, I think Bessman wins. <laughs> right, well, okay, this GCN is kind of a fraud. Yeah, I mean, Gunblade Jinx. I mean, yeah, doesn't sound very good. I, I think he might actually just play Twitch three and then just play, play Tempo. Executioners. Can we see uh, re play spot? We absolutely can. We're playing like Kale. He has caretakers as well. Uh, character Senna? Senna, so we're playing Senna. Wait, why? Ooh. Oh, yeah, it's I super fan Senna. item. Super he's playing Senna for sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah he's okay, Senna okay, 100%. okay, okay. That's a. Uh, this is the illegal one. This is like the outrageously. Wait, well, no, no. Again. He would have Senna too already. If oh, unless he pre-leveled. Wait a second. You're right. Maybe it's. No. Is it it's just, like, is it just wait, like a random shitter? Wait, what level? It might be like some crash five. Oh, he's, he's level five. He might have sold. Well, no, he could have had two. Or he Oh no, yeah, he. He might have actually just pre-leveled. Wait, what is? Oh yeah, yep. Yeah, he does pre-level sometimes. We we've definitely seen that in his vods that he pre-levels on on in stage one. Punished, punished. Uh, Maybe he didn't know it wasn't retroactive. Minus two. I mean, we'll find out really soon. It, the other options that he's just made, it, he made econ right, like that. It's, that he's, it's some sucks. some shitter. Like that a, is really. No, 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 no. Not like selling a Senna. Like he had a Grogus or something, right? Like he was just he never wanted to play the unit. He's just selling it. Grogus. Obviously, you don't sell Senna. Oh, you're saying like, like he, he just got found some these shitter and unit and he else. just sold oh, the two, whatever yeah. it is, right? Like we can't oh, we'll know. We'll see when he levels up. Yeah, we, well, we well, can I'm, know. I'm, I'm invested. We we'll definitely have to see. But that like, what level. is he pre-leveling for? Because like, wouldn't you only pre-level with for hard seal odds, or if you already have an upgraded front line? There have been spots. Yeah. Where I, he, I don't think he pre-leveled. I'm not saying he did, but there, there have been spots where I, when I vod reviewed him, where he does pre-level, and I'm not, and it's not for hard steel, and I'm not really sure what he's doing, to be honest. Adaptive. Adaptive. Okay. I feel like pre-leveling and being 72 is like, I, I don't think he pre-leveled. I'd be really surprised if it, it, it opened Senna when yeah. he levels here. Yeah, I kind of agree. Ambiguous Wager? Be like Jax. I think he got some, I think he got some trash. Or like, who I guess? Are we wagering? Yeah, do you think it's I, I think he got like Jax, Jax or Pantheon or something. Jax or Pantheon? I, I don't want to wager though. I, oh, I'm kind of, okay. I'm kind of scared. Okay. You're kind of oh. broke. <laughs> yeah, sure. Didn't you top 12? Oh, true. How, how much prize yeah. money did you get? Do you know? N not enough. 20 bucks? A paltry sum. Uh, oh, I think it's actually a good amount, like $500 or something. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. All right, let's see. And what do you get? Oh, oh he what? did pre level. <laughs> oh, so he pre, oh. he pre leveled like, stage one. I'm telling you, he does okay. it. He does it randomly. Like it, but, like, it can't be right, though. Like, no, it's not it, right. You pre level, right. you have a strong front line, and, and, and like, Okay. Almost every, to lose out. Almost every time I've seen him do it, I stare at the spot for like a minute or two, and I'm like, I don't, I honestly just don't get it, and I move on with my life because I just, it just okay, doesn't I matter. I, really I'm never though. considering doing that. I mean, the spot's good because he got the best and he got best in slot caretaker, but it'd be a lot better if you got best in slot caretaker and you didn't pre-level. Yeah. Okay. He's probably just gonna go GS off carousel, save the glove for steadfast heart. Yep. Adaptive on tank as well. This spot is actually kind of good. Yeah. Okay, we got a bunch of augments. I'm just not kind of trash, though. Strong right now. Gonna get the Senna. Uh, someone in chat says, isn't replay guaranteed out? He's not because of AVP. So he's he's guaranteed not making the top three, beca but because his AVP was so good coming to the day, he can actually, if he goes if he goes 1-1, one, one, he's making it, like, most likely. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay, so we have two win streakers to check in on. We got Dish Soap, who did make another Twitch, by the way. 
So at least it looks like he's gonna play executioners and just shiv the twitch. That's what it, that's what it feels like to me at least. Yeah, it seems yeah. that way. Oh, he had a Kali as well. Yeah, like just okay. huge. I mean, you just four one and you just send it with the tempo. Yep. Okay. This comp uh, like needs so much money. He's yep. Just yeah, it does. All good. Uh, Kuhn still. He sold his Olaf. He's rolling. He's gonna roll. Is Urgot too? I, I, so I guess I, he's I'm just down. looking for. Yeah, he's just looking for any frontliner. Like yeah, the scare. This is fine. Line. Yeah, yeah. Hey, with Urgot right. too, I think it's completely correct, right? Hundred percent. Okay. This I mean, position. his board is entirely upgraded. Yeah, the positioning sucks, but it doesn't matter because he has Urgot two, Nar two, Garen two, Kale, Kale two. two. <laughs> I mean, this board is. What the fuck's happened here? Oh, not even poor. I mean, he's, he's a little poor. He, he's got spoiled. I mean, three, his, three, bench, gold. his bench is like full though. Yeah, yeah. He'll, make, he'll make thirty, right? Oh degree. my god. This Kiyun guy is a beast. The grease spot looks really bad. Yeah. Keep okay, so let's, let's keep scouting. Let's look. At... <laughs> Malala also has Urgot too, by the way. Headliner Urgot. What? Oh, it's chosen. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. okay. That makes more sense. Okay. Spat, Spat on a Viego. Any Riven players? Bruh. Rain passes it. What what was the grease spot? I don't remember. Yeah, we're, I'm gonna just do a full. I mean, scout. he just had he just had a jinx headliner with like not that. Wait, good president just got a spot on the video. Okay. We can uh, make sure we check that out. I'm gonna do Malala and then keep going down. Just up gets glove. That's pretty big. Okay, pulling chat. Out of curiosity, when I do these full scouts, just to kind of check in on everybody, do you wish I went faster or slower? I'm trying to like find a middle ground, but I could easily look at all these boards like right now. I just don't know how much time you want to spend on them. We can probably just check for a few. Okay, seconds. so replays, replays rolling for Senna, oh, so we know exactly what's gonna happen. He hit, he hit right away. Yep, he hit right away. True damage, very good. Okay, press event with the spat, death defiance. This this looks like rip. Is it Riven? Death defiance, Riven. Uh... Rip. But what the hell do you do with the? Ah, oh. um, I mean, he got the spat. So. He, he, has, he has buff it, so he, he can just get a bit spat. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he's just ruined. Oh, oh, so do you, just, just so you know, because I don't want you to sound like an idiot, it's buffet. Yeah, yeah, good one. Good one, Bryce. Thanks. Thanks, man. I mean, oh, I'm not the lawyer. Like so. I'll, I'll be here all week. I'm just an influencer. He's not the lawyer. Oh, I'm, not, I'm the professional player. Really? I mean, why aren't you up there then? I'm pretty sure you're an influencer. Oh, bro. I mean, the game's all luck. Like, that's why I'm not up there. <laughs> oh, oh, I see. I see. It's all good. Actually, unironically, it kind of was yesterday for you. It was a rough ride. We were in pain watching it, so I can't imagine. No, no but honestly, like, this regional felt like really fun to play. So I'm not even like this. Yeah, yeah, it's a great, it's a great. It, it was last match. regionals that just felt like I was I just mean, miserable. Yeah. Could always be worse. I think oh, everyone was. Oh, what, what the, the fuck? Early Lucian for um, the AD flex. Wait, player. what? For Forsen. Okay. Actually, this, guy's, this guy's kind of a high roller. Wait, like, I mean, I mean, he's cheating. He's okay, got, so got chosen in a shop as well. Rain still just has the that. Is she? Wait, is she playing for Seraphine? Because she knows that Senna's contested. Yeah, she knows. Yeah, she's yeah she's holding Seraphines. She's not maybe. holding any extra Senna's. A crowd, I feel like Seraphine from this spot, you're going eight. Maybe Lucian. Yeah, it's, it looks like a sus spot either way. And then Degree's spot is this. This, um, this looks really sus. What is he? Is he just playing, he's playing AD Flex? Is he playing like... Wait, it's a Zhonya. He, he has Zhonya with the last Whisper. Is he playing Country or something? I, I mean, he's holding not. Yone, Caitlyn, yeah. Diego. He has like... Last Whisper, GS. What the fuck is it? Wait, what? I'm going to check in on him later to see... To see how he, he tries to not to it. not he's go too eight. poor to four two he can't four one like, for any con like bro this is just I think eight. he's playing like I yeah. think he's just gonna like this like this look like, like a Robin spot looks, playing country spot looks really really bad oh honestly it might be a Riven Zonia's Riven GS and then he's just crazy gets a healing item uh, uh, really? yeah. that's like that's his bench I guess really? but, uh, okay so this is the transition right like this, this is what we know is rolling on four ones so figure we watch soap and then we'll watch a fast eight player who who's fast eighting. Um, uh, weird, weird is weird is for sure. Malala, Kiyun, Kiyun is, is for Malala sure, right? Malala, yeah, Malala is probably fascinating as well. Oh, oh no, no, no. Okay, 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 okay. But okay, so okay. It's, so we'll, we'll, we'll watch we'll watch soap, and then we'll watch either. Do you guys want to watch Forsen's transition or do you want to watch? Oh, no, watch Kiyun's, uh, Kiyun's okay. transition. Okay. Oh, Not look at that! He got, got two twitches out of shot. So that means he's got it. He's yeah, literally he got, got a switch on the level. I mean, he was gonna hit this on roll down either way. This guy's cheating. Nice. I, I wonder if he would have fortuned it if he didn't get this uh, Twitch fair. Mm, I feel like he just he just values preserving HP too much to do that. Looks for any. Really, I, I actually think there's something like the opposite. No. He's, he's really good at like recognizing. Well, he has no chosen, so like, do you really want to play yeah. four one down chosen? Oh, oh my! Two. What the 
Akali 2 right. before Akali I mean, I guess, I, I, guess I, I guess I'm down to play down to chosen under this circumstance. Oh, he has Yasuo and yeah. Chop. He's got a, he's got a switch. Oh, he has, oh. Oh, yeah. shit, you're right. Is it KDA right now? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Lord. That is not good. Uh -oh. This unit is not very good. This Kale can just kind of... Oh, actually, she has Morello. Honestly, it's not even that bad. Oh, it oh, right. oh yeah. Uh, it's, it hasn't... So, uh... I mean, surely with Twitch 3, Akali 2 on 4-1, okay, we'd we be have... Kale fucking 1-2, man. We have, two, like, like low Twitch key. 2 and 1-3. Two and AP, here. AP, KDA, <laughs> Akali is not bad. Wait, wait. Let, what's this Twitch slander? How much damage does Twitch do? Oh, okay, okay. It's... I mean that that's good. That's, that's really, it enables yeah, the rest of your board. Yeah, I mean it could be has worse. one garbage item on it. Like that's pretty Fuck, good. I didn't click on Kyun fast enough, so we have to wait for this Aug to get picked. Oh, that's fine. No, your enemy is really good on this. Oh, stationary is kind of good too, right? Oh, I feel like this unit just blow people up. Yeah. Oh, LDP. LDP. Oh, there's no base stats I, though. I I I, I just bring this out magic. He has death cap vex and then he can just share with uh, a moo vex. Magic wand double death cap this vex. Fuck it. Oh, that's what he's gonna do. Oh, he, he vex shows him. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think LDP is that good on this comp. Okay, so he bought Mosher chosen. We missed the whole roll down. Send a three for replay. Man, that's that's a that's a spectating error. My bad team. I mean, all good. He probably. Oh. Oh. Chosen Poppy. All right, well. He's gonna take that. He has no money. <laughs> yeah. Wait, who is this? It's Forsen. Uh, it's Forsen. Lucian guy. Oh, okay. It's the wrong Poppy, man. I'm that good. Okay, honestly, it's actually not that good. You're right. Yeah. If it were the other Poppy, this game would be over. Wait, he's five heart seal in. Wait. Yeah. His spot is looking pretty good, though. It, yeah, it's... Uh, it's uh, Yeah. Like, oh, Zed, man. Zed, Zed, Zed pair, he has Lucian already. Ezreal pair. I think he's going to try to cheese a, a cash out into into just swap to MF. Bless you. Jazz for free. Yeah, the early Lucian really helps as well. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, Ace is Kiyun, who just like missed everything. Okay, so Degree. Let's see how Degree can try to salvage the spot to not in eighth. He has uh, got three. Wait, what? He's just playing for. Wait, he, he, he took a real crab back and he, and he kept both of them, by the way. He actually hit it. What the fuck? I mean, this he's, spot looks oh, really bad. This just looks. I, he's playing for like not yeah. ninth. Okay, so Rain is playing Seraphine. She's one off. Oh, she's zero on six. It's eighth regardless. Oh yeah, yep. Rain's fucked. Ouch. Had to take her work as yeah. well. Yeah. Get... Still not hit. No, no, no. She didn't take. Also, also, it doesn't have to be Nashers on on Seraphine. I feel oh, like that. I'm yeah, just yeah, way better. Way. Big, that's big grab. Yeah. Do you double Shoujin Lulu then, or do you just GS Lulu? Oh it, no, it would just be Shoujin Nashers, and then it would be GS Lulu. Okay. I, I think the problem with her spot was she was too poor to go seven, and like GS is way better on Ari. Like this is just looking like a dead last. Man, but have I, I, I'm not sure if Degree, like Degree might be going more dead last. Yeah, Rain started the day so strong. She also doesn't. I have guess super uh, bad, so Degree has out. an Urgot three though right now is the big thing. Yep. Zonia's. It's good enough. Might bring him to seventh. Yeah, I, I think he'll go seventh. I mean, Force and Smurf account is winning with five hearts still, so. Yeah, I think Force Lobby's probably just locked. Is gonna win the game. He says hot. He has high odds right now, for sure. Bro, you think the game's balanced, bro? He already won. Yeah, but like, who knows? Maybe he trolls. He, he actually has had a bunch of examples of like getting into good spots and then not quite maximizing placements. He did a little bit better yesterday overall in those spots on AD Flex. But I, I mean, if this like Setsuko, he auto wins the game. I think that this is not an auto win personally. Takes belts, five cost belts. Oh, he's pinging. He, he has ping. 103 MS. I mean, oh man. Oh wow. no, how is he even What playing? will you do? Where is he on the moon? Just took another rod. Interesting. Okay, so do we want to watch this board? Or we want to like. I'm going to move <laughs> somewhere else. Eight. Okay, so Prest Event, eight, Zed Pair. Flex board. Hey, this guy has Poppy Headliner as well. Yeah, the good one too. Yeah, what's going on? Oh, it's here? the correct one. But where, where's the uh, Zero Ezreal's? I mean, who cares also, no about uh, having Ezreal? Doesn't I don't think that matters. Oh, much. but it just pair, it's just free for for Jazz. Yeah. Ezreal. Why is he hanging on to the? Okay, I was gonna say the Blitzcrank feels like it's kind of out of place. You slam you slam GS on Zed, right? No, I think you're saving Gunblade for Zed. He has, he already has. Oh, DD. He has DD, I don't though. think you can justify that. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Wait, really? Oh, oh, he's oh, he's oh, he's oh is he gonna buy this Akali drop? Is locked. I don't think I don't. He's locking. He locked, so it looks he like yeah. Sell this poppy though, really? I mean, when you commit to the true damage, it makes sense. I guess with no uh, with no backline carry. I feel carry. like selling this poppy. I, I think you can just play Echo though. Uh, this poppy's gonna fall off with no backline carry. 
Okay, wait, also, can we come back to this? I'm pretty sure Gunblade Zed is fine with DD. Like, half the point of Gunblade Zed is not to heal Zed. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's. I, I mean, I just think GS is, like, really, really strong. Yeah, it's great on Zed, for sure. I also think you can't sell this Poppy. Look at your front yeah, line. I don't what what yeah. the fuck do you even mean? Also, I feel like having, ha lock? having Poppy is even more important when you're playing around melee carry. When you have wait. ranged carry, you don't have to worry about the re-aggro, but when, you, when you're playing around Zed, you do. I, I really, really don't sell this Poppy. Do you guys even mind a double lock here? I actually don't even mind it. Yeah, and then he has more gold to, to find the new front line. Yeah. Like, I'm kind of down. Yeah. It scales like I the yeah, and he gets better Akali items and it actually scales into stage five. Um Okay. Yeah, I mean the I, 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 what, I can see I, it. I don't know what else we're doing with the spat, so I get it. We got Seraphine at least. The rain. But uh Yeah. I personally go the other way on this line, I think, but uh, so it looks like Looks but like he, he's right in the. You can't sell it now. Like he has no call items anymore. Yeah, yeah, there's no yeah. way you can sell it. Now. No if you sell this to Poppy, you're just going eight. I mean, look, at the, look at this like, fucking like, unit, man. I mean, this Poppy is literally seventy five percent. Look at this fucking right unit. That's I mean, it's dead. the correct one. Shit. Oh, degree's almost dead. That's weird. Okay, you want to do a quick... uh, his? Uh, yeah, his spot on. Yeah. Okay, so Kyun is getting ready for another roll down transition. So we'll watch that. Uh, Forsen is wind streaking with this board. How the fuck is this board wind streaking? I mean, Poppy is kind of just broken. Poppy and. He just got from he has, um, uh, uh, Lowry, Holy Lowry plus Mega Chad. Triple what? Death Cap. Oh my god, that's cool. Okay, definitely have to watch that board at some point. What the fuck? Uh, replay is chilling with the uh, Caretaker's high roll, which is so good for his bigger picture tournament. Preston's going to roll down more. I think you guys want to watch Q and you want to watch Preston's roll? Don't watch I'm Preston's roll. More interested here. in Preston's okay, roll. Sounds good. Yeah. Oh, Lucian. Oh, all right, sure. Oh, oh okay, Lucian. Yeah, is that too big? He needs to I mean, he just, needs, he just needs Echo, right? Oh. Where's the... Okay. I, I, I feel you're done rolling after that. Yeah. Uh, we've got, we're getting ganked oh. by a thing that you can't see. Uh, Austin, do you know where the TV remote is? Any, anywhere, like, behind anyone? Ch chat, we're about to get the... The reason why we're freaking out, chat, is because there's a thing, a countdown on our screen that's about to power off oh, our TV. Best friends. So we're literally about to lose oh. uh -oh. everything. We're not going to be able to see shit. We're losing. He has everything. no best friends. That's okay. not good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna trust you guys to find it. I believe in you. Dan, Dan is hustling. Dan's gonna find it. What a clutch player. Yeah, Dan with 20 seconds, hustles oh, up. This is not good. Oh, he did it manual. Holy shit! He pulled out the wrench. What a beast. All right. Well, president's going oh, eight. I think was, I'm gonna go. We didn't know there was an uh, okay go button on the back. Dan. <laughs> Are you, are you actually dipping Soju? Yeah, TV I'm gonna go knowledge. eat dinner. This is not looking good. I don't want to see Pressman lose. I'm like the biggest Pressman fan. Wait, isn't? I mean, his spot's like not, it's not terrible. even that bad. He has he has like three lives. Am I the only person? Oh yeah, but the thing is, he me he messed up his his transition. He lost all of his best friends value, and then he oh. also didn't play the strongest board. And then now this game's fake, and like I, I don't want to see it. Am I the only yeah. person who thinks oh, that this, this situation is better if you have chosen Poppy still? Like, oh, uh, okay, he's no, he on a 16. So. Never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. He's chilling. Yeah, yeah. I think, yeah, I, think it's, I think his board is really down. strong. I was under the really impression. Strong. You know what? I'm going to stay. I was under the impression this, this, this positioning, is, this positioning is really bad, though. He's going to make his Zed walk all the way around for fun. It's Wait, I'm a what hate watcher? Fast. You're a non precedent hate watcher. Yeah. Wait, I'm a precedent fan. Wait, what? Yeah. So what you do, don't, don't you want to see him succeed here from, from the low roll position? You were saying this game was fake. That sounds like a hate uh, watcher statement. I, I, honestly, he might actually win out. Yeah, he looks strong. This Akali is I mean, so strong. It definitely, it's, gonna, it's, it's the strongest board we've seen once it gets upgraded. Zach, it's gonna come down to positioning for sure. Does he have enough money to level for 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 Bard? It's a, it's like the biggest upgrade. I mean, not for not until six uh, one. Shit. If he can survive until Bard and Zach two and Echo two, he, he's he, back. He needs to shade set one to the right and Zach one to the right, so that his both of his melee carries can walk up and make use of this even trail oh, and not block each other. Isn't it just a uh, Kali one to the left? That's I think fine. It's a, yeah, I yeah. think it's like, not a 50-50, but... Oh, he's swapping. This is good. Oh, oh wait, this 40 fight looks so bad. Kune what is Kune? Had some okay. What is this with garbage? Death Cap, Death Cap Yorick? Dude, Kune's, Kune's out of, he was in such a good spot. He was so far ahead, and he's had two roll downs. He just missed everything. He's sitting on really big pairs on his bench. Like, really yeah, big this pairs. Is looking like an eighth. I mean, this is tragic. And huge bigger picture tournament implications as well, by the way. All right, bye-bye. These Valorant players, damn. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so replay. Oh, true oh. damage. Two true damage. Whoa. Wait, is, is, it, is it TD chosen or no? It was Executioner, right? It was true damage. It was true, true damage, damage yeah. yeah. 
Oh, but he's not gonna go back. Like it's impossible to, to find this stupid ass cannon in Yasuo. I mean, no, you you can play it on eight, but like, oh, yeah. yeah, you actually, yeah. he, uh, he oh, actually fuck it, could. Fuck he it. actually could. That, that's his best play, isn't it? It might be his out, yeah. This so, is the role for this garbage. It might be. Do we want to? Do we want us to go back to Preston? We want to watch replay because he's he's one life. I want to see Preston see if he rolls. I, I, I just want to see. I just want to see Preston see, see if he rolls. That's all. Yeah, yeah. Oh. oh, he got Kennen. Oh, he's got Kennen. He just needs Yasuo. It's really easy to just. Od honestly, I don't even know if it's correct to just sit here and roll for Yasuo. I mean, I think he can actually win this lobby by just by just pushing. If you look at what he has to sell, like he has to sell Zach in set two. That's set two, it, your yeah, board just dies instantly. I mean, like, maybe his Echo two. Replay was in a spot that was starting to slip away from him, and now he has oh, he true damage bat. bat for this fucking Caitlyn. His board got Wait, so back. much. He got Nine so much stronger. And this means he could he could potentially he got enough placements to still be in the conversation for AVP on game six. You want to hold this? Oh, he fucked Hune. Kiyun finally spiked, Zach 2, Zed 2. Zed's getting access to the back line here, but... Zed Zed is Zed is not he's like, he's oh, sampling his Zach. Zach! There is no way! Oh. Dude, that's a, is that a fight? That's a fight diff, right? I, no, I, I don't know strong. if it's a fight diff, but I mean, he if definitely Zach, kills more. I mean, if Zach, Zach, Zach might have just run Zach over both those units. Center, might just yeah. life steal up to the yeah, end of the fight. Yeah, I mean... Jeez. That is so bad. That's a blunder. Okay, Kiyun's on one life now. He got a lot of upgrades at least. Yeah, he finally I got to a how impact, finally got to a strong board. How impactful these are gonna be though. He has Lux. Who are you guys even rooting for? He has no chosen. Okay, he needs to buy uh, the set. Uh, sure. Going into the day, I wanted do dish soap and precedent to do well. That was my hope. Death cap Z. Are we gonna see? Fuck it. So he got what four bruiser. On? I mean, he got four bruiser, and that's not even bad. He's trying to figure. Oh. Out, he's trying to figure out how to like deal with all these melees. This, this board. Oh my God, Olaf stepped up, so he's just got Z. Oh Lord. Dude, he is, is oh, terrible. Is he? I, I'm, not, I'm not gonna lie, you guys. Kiyun has looked really good on reroll, and he's looked pretty sus when he's not rerolling. Oh, the Zed is on the poppy. It's over. Yeah. Bro, the what? poppy's on I the I feel Zed. like his board is stronger <laughs> on stage four. Oh. Is Rear Blade dead, or is he just one life? Uh, oh, Preston lost awesome. one life. It's like one life. His Preston's about to go nine, right? He's... Yeah, Preston's spot's kind of good. I mean, this board's really strong. Oh, he rolled. Oh, he rolled. I think oh he, he, rolled. Hit, he hit. He hit. He hit. He hit. He hit. GGs. Oh, does he have enough to level next turn? He had Zach too as well. Oh uh, yeah, he does have he, enough. Yeah, he does. He does. He has. Yeah, he has Lucian and everything. On like, there. if he can level for like just a little bit more front line, like he's just gonna run everyone over. Yeah. It's the press man comeback. Yep. We haven't, we, we haven't even got to watch any of the triple de death cap boards. Kind of sad, but just the way the HP's worked out, we haven't really gotten to. I mean, I don't think there's that much to watch here. I mean, it's just kind of fun to watch yeah, a Vex yeah. go boom, but I mean, we can't. Yeah, the Vex yeah we, we, we have never seen Vex go boom. This, this um, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty fair. You know what? Fuck you, Inigo. <laughs> um, okay, do we Ooh. want. Oh, Ooh, oh that's three? good. If he, if he rotates into. Oh, he can. He can. Look at his <coughs> augments as well. His augments are super good. Yeah, they are. Almost best. Uh, do you guys want to watch this board or do you want to watch replay's board? Uh, I'm done. I'm done watching Preston's board. All right. I feel like. Okay, sure. Listen. Wait, I mean, it's 9 TD. He just got yeah, it. Yeah, like, yeah, just go, just go. I mean, doesn't he just auto win? Oh, I'm, no, I'm not even like this, this, this counts as a vertical trait, right? For bingo? It, uh, no, it's, no, 10 it's a 10. 10. 10. Oh, man. Wow. Well, it, honestly, this like probably should count because it it's two. It's, you still need two, right? Okay. But I mean, Kali. Oh, this kind of just one shot. Akali is dead already. Wait a minute. Is that, what are you doing? Z Wait Z a Z's minute. Dead. Oh, is it, is it oh, impressive and he's dead? Wait, what's it? It's not doing any damage. What's not? What's going on? It's fucking 9 tree damage. Okay, well. I'm gonna go eat dinner. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Is Zed just sitting there tickling the Kiana? He doesn't even one shot it. Uh. Did it bug? I mean, we, we, we let's go back and look at this later. Oh, sorry. I was stun. I was stun locked. Yeah, that's just just like press event. Okay. Uh. Let's go. Let's go to dish sub. Dish sub and Malala are fighting anyway. Oh, but I thought you said you've seen Vex go boom before. I have. I'm just teasing. We've all seen it. We have. I mean, there's just, some, there's just something satisfying about a triple death cap. You don't see Vex go nuke. So you dipped. Yeah. Dan's back. Oh, hello. Uh, yeah, he's pre Precedent's dead. Soju is sad. I saw, I saw, I saw and they lost. Yeah. He did. Oh, uh, Austin, can we get Dan's mic on? Oh, yeah. Thank you, sir. I can't believe Precedent. Uh, lost with nine true damage. That's wild. And he got smashed. Like, he, yeah, it wasn't even, was he even lost. He got demolished. Okay, solo cast onto Mordekaiser. It does nothing. Vex doesn't go boom. 
Yeah. Vex, Vex, Vex is going. Three. Vex is going reverse boom. Vex three might have been necessary. Vex casted here. on this twice and it did nothing. Okay, I'm down for Vex three. Hey, still alive. Just, we have probably game past Mordekaiser with three. Mordekaiser yeah. is really strong and we'll oh, bleed into a third. Oh, this fight is so close. Or just perfect count, by the way. This uh, increases his AVP lead. He's currently number one. Well, at this point, he's, he's in AVP. He could easily. He's gonna play his way into the top three at this point. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, Orson's that's a good point. Then we go down to the next, uh, next person down. Right now, Kiyun is one that's gonna get kicked out of the top three. From yep. the ashes. Disobed hit Vex three. Look at that. Down to watch this. He's going so, against Forsen. Uh, Forsen. Okay, so then Malal gets, gets the ghost. Yeah, uh, a ghost. Oh, you're, oh, you're, oh we, we, we play is so has disappeared so much today that wow. he's basically like a ghost. Can't even see him. <laughs> he's focus firing with the uh, wow, Bryce. Really wow, hard. Bryce. My, my, my bad. He dodges. He dodges this shroud. <laughs> this shroud. Like, full dodges this yeah. shroud. That might be the least. Oh my shroud god! It went ever. boom. It went boom. Now we're gonna cast on a, a Poppy Chosen. Let's see how it does. Allow oh, his dead as well. Okay, it goes boom. It's quite the okay. it goes boom. Okay. We're going boom. Broccoli. Did you see that oh thresh just slowly on the back line? Sorry, I'm too busy watching the boom! Holy How much okay. damage look at, Yeah, look at, the, look at the fight recap. Boom. Wow. Whoa. Pretty good. Boom. Pretty good, pretty see, good. See, I feel like I was justified in being excited about this. That was crazy. I was excited, too. Everyone in chat was like, what's going on with Dish Soap, huh? Monk and then Monk it was like, uh... It turns out he has this double, triple a triple death cap. I've yeah. never seen that before on Vex. Yeah, I haven't either. <clears throat> it's load multiple times a minute. Uh, big time game. This dope is now pulling away from Kiyun and keeping in lockstep with Force. And this dope is very, very close uh, to put himself also out of range. In terms of like, in terms in. of, he is like, uh, yeah. he's becoming an overwhelming favorite to make it. And that, and that means that there's only one or two spots left. Yeah. Ooh. Love to hear that. I'm down for him to win so he can win the tournament. So then, then I don't have to keep listening to fucking chatters telling me that. How, how could Dirsop be good? He's never won a tournament before. These well, standings are very, very beneficial for replay as well. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. Because Forsen, uh, Soap, and Milala are both looking like they're going to be... Yeah, uh, yeah. He wants the people to keep getting ahead. So yeah. he can, like, okay, so Rain Oh, my always God. Always the Kiana God. walks over and evaporates. Oh. Okay. Vex's next cast is about to be kind of trolled, though. Yeah. It needs to get, it needs to get cast though? off. Emo, though. Emo? Yeah, Emo will help. Yeah. Sure. As soon as it casts, it's going to The wake up cast. Boom! And re replay is Man, down. And this he is needed. satisfying. He needed that placement. That stings. And Forsen. I mean, he's replay roots for Forsen now, right? Because he could theoretically maybe get in. Uh, yes. Yes, he does. He does. Okay, so positioning wise, you're, let's look at from Forsen's angle because we know what Dishop is doing. So Dishop's going to try to dodge. He's going to try to dodge the shroud for sure. Yeah. Um, Honestly, replacing set to guarantee the shroud seems or correct jazz. to me. Yeah. Don't you think? Like, yeah. I, I for sure want to guarantee the shroud. Especially considering how badly he got juked last time. I agree. It's the not it doesn't really have slots, though, is the thing. Ooh, he's I mean, he, he has enough slots. Points. He can put it's like one fight. He can put it on Lucian yeah. yeah. Bard. I know. It's just anticipating. He oh, this is a good shroud. It's a good shroud. He thrash. He hits. Yeah, this is perfect. He, he did exactly what he needs to do. Good micro. So Vex did not get thrashed. So Yorick is going to live. Yorick cast twice? Oh, Yorick man. And Yorick definitely cast twice. Yeah. It looks like it's Forsen's oh, fight. Yeah, it's not even close. Oh, my God. Forsen. Yeah. Most does not go boom e that hard. generational talent. My God. Well, my God. Spike was huge there. Damn, huge. I think uh, Forsen may be the best player. I mean, he said that he's playing the best TFT he's ever played. He's peaking at the right time. Yep. Um, and just to put it out there... Uh, not everyone is able to play Hearthsteel with as much success as he has as well, right? True. Like, we're looking at people in contrast. Uh, people, like, for example, Kiyun uh, is not actually having as much success. And Force has been playing a lot of Hearthsteel AD flex on top of his reroll threat, which we know is his, is his comfort line anyways. He's not actually playing his comfort lines, and he's actually still winning these games. Yeah, I mean, for sure, he is evolved a lot as a player since we were watching him at earlier tournaments. And while he didn't come in with confidence, he's clearly chock full of it now. And he's showing why. All right. Here are the current scores. 31, 29, 27. Degree. 25. And Degree is now sliding oh. in there with AVP. So if the if we were to stop the count right here, is this actually correct? Key that with correct? A four that doesn't point. seem correct. Doesn't look, Dish Soap with a four? Dish Soap with a four should not be. Uh, that, that, uh, we, we may not be finished updating. It might actually be missing. Oh, that might be Dish. Is it Dish Soap's AVP? 
Well, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It might not be correct. Okay, so... Uh, we can go to fantasy. Let's go to fantasy. You can go to fantasy. That's the easier way to... But if we were to end it right now, it'd be Malala Disso oh. Forston. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, okay, that makes more sense. Okay, yeah. Uh, Malala Disso Forston. Replay. So replay then... is in right now. Wait, re replay's in? Yeah, yeah he's, he's in, in right, right now. now. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Because, because when Forston gets right? in... Then everyone else was kind of falling back to the back. That's what that's what Broccoli was oh. saying. That the, the standings of the lobby were overall oh really good God. for replay. This this final lobby you is called him be... a ghost. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> My I God, mean, this he final is lobby still here. He is still competing. It's basically he has Kiyun. everything to play for. It's Kiyun versus replay. Slash Forsen. Slash okay, Forsen. Uh, let's because let's if let's Kiyun let's jumps Forsen, that's can, really bad for replay. Can yeah. we go to Can we go to Fancy just to confirm it? Just to confirm it. Uh, replay might be Forsen's biggest fan right now. Forsen's guaranteed. Basically, uh, if he goes if he goes eighth. If he goes eighth, there's well, a let's see, we'll yeah. see the points. Okay, so let's look at the total true. number of points so right now. Forsen's perfect count ninety two points, most points in the entire tournament. So uh, he's actually, he's the second highest points in the tournament. Technically, Team Casters have the most points in the tournament. <laughs> 599 points. My God, we're good. I mean, so you left at the right time. You didn't want to actually look at this and, and face the music. So second is Disso. goes eighth. Which yes. uh, actually puts Disso in a really good spot as yep. well. And then third place is Malala. And then Riri plays the highest at 87. So Force wow. is not guaranteed. If Kyun yeah. leaps him... He has currently 92 points, and we see that uh, that replay has 87 points, so five point gap. So if replay outfinishes him by five yep. points, yeah, he gets uh, it's entirely possible. If he gets second, I think, and then uh, Forsen goes eighth. Wait, yeah, yep. and, and yeah, and third third to eighth would be a tie. Third to eighth, yeah. Oh I think my gosh. We don't know the tiebreaker is overall EVP, but they would have the same. I think it would be think uh, placement first. in the lobby, right? Oh, I is assume? it? I have no idea. I assume it would be placement in the lobby. I think it's more first. Is replay first, guaranteed right. if he griefs Kiyun in seven eight? Uh, oh, that's a can we go back? Question. Can we go back to standings? That's a really good question. Okay, so no, no, no. Only if the not, first no. three specifically uh, yeah. uh, end in this way. No, yeah, no. He is actually oh, wait, guaranteed because right. degree yeah. can't pass. So yes, actually, it is game theory optimal oh, no. for replay. Are you sure? Yes. If he goes eighth and then if Q goes seventh. Then like degree and rain go one two, but he would but be twenty eight. Degree could get yeah. to twenty eight. Degree theor theoretically tie. Rain can't. Oh, I'm talking about AVP, but yeah. Oh, we're not talking AVP because what? Because what the question is is basically if replay wants to get it off of AVP. Is it grief key? But the thing is, he he, re, okay, actually, it's probably not because if replay griefs him and goes seventh and eighth, oh. yeah. he could get pass on AVP. That's what I was saying. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah, with you. I'm you with can't you. because okay. if you go yeah. seven, you're with risking you. your AVP. Yes, I'm with yeah. you. Totally. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, the but optimal so, thing so, for him so to do the, is the, grief Kiyun while going fourth. Yeah, yeah, the correct thing is for him to try to stop Kiyun from doing something and then... Oh, no. Yeah. Channel your inner cotton tail. Like, 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 like he, they want to play for fourth, but he wants Kiyun to go, like, fifth or sixth. Uh, okay, a score sheet analysis of coin our producer. Playing for top three, Malala should make top three if he doesn't send it. Yeah. Malala auto makes top three. And everyone but re replay oh, press of like in one scenario. Directly, there's one pass. scenario. He goes eighth, and everyone perfect. Okay, never mind. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Yep, yeah, that's right. Man, it's gonna be a wild finish. This is gonna be a big. Because you, you basically, you basically yeah. have two mini competitions going on, right? You have Kiyun and Forsen for the for the third spot, and then depending on whether if Forsen wins it, then the AVP is up for grabs on the bottom four, including Kiyun, by the way. Like, let's say that Forsen goes first and Kiyun goes second. He could easily pass replay in AVP, and he's currently second in AVP in terms of the people who are current on the outside looking in. Uh, yes, that sounds right. We're gonna have the score sheet up the entire time. Yeah. Can, uh, can we not just have scores up? Is it possible to add AVP to it? I have no idea if that's possible, Austin. Okay, or total score or something? No. Like total score for the overall tournament, not just for. Pro now, yeah, we, no we don't we don't have uh, two columns. No worries. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, so, well, well, well I, I, I can, uh, I can look at it. Oh, oh, point. can we, can we watch the nine TD fight? Oh yeah. The nine TD. Oh right, you guys have the clip. Okay, so we have a clip of the nine true damage. Do I have to press something or? Okay. Yeah, let's see okay, the damage. So, so what happens? The Senna just immediately. I, I, I remember Kali dying very quickly. I mean, the positioning is terrible, right? She's so the the, the Kali walks or like around and then up and then. Oh. Doesn't even cast a single time. It, it eats both ulties. I mean, the damage looks. Right. Damage yeah. looks right. I think this is just worse than slot positioning. I think yeah. the Kali literally did fifty damage. Yeah, like fifty. Yep. 
Yeah, the Kali basically got caught wandering, and then uh, she gets AOE down. The pulse, like full mana. pulse. Yeah, yeah. Oh, honestly, man. that's so sad. This feels weird to say. Maybe it's hindsighty. I feel like when you hit nine true damage, you're supposed to just stop playing around best friends. I mean, if you just, just if you just front line a Kali, he wins that fight every time, Ooh. right? Uh, that could be fair. Because it just one shots the every just one shots everything, yeah. or yeah. just you can just front line on the right and it's auto win, right? Yeah, you split up Zed and the Kali, yeah. so that even if one of them dies, the other one is yeah. still there and can. Like sneak up. I mean, it's easy. It's also easy to say now yeah. because, yeah, like, we saw how one side yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, for sure. Exactly, like, yeah. We were all surprised. Right now, it looks fine to position for best. Literally, it does, right? <laughs> yeah, we were we were all it surprised by the reaction. You. Yeah, but, like, or by, by how the fight played out. Wild, wild. I did not expect this. I did not expect President well, to have such a bad day. He also knew that his re or that re replay was his matchup, right? So I think I don't know. Yeah, Could are we more counting this as a bingo? What is the bingo? Oh, um, oh, nine. Trait. There was ten trait. Oh, I mean, it's we said it's, ten, it's, we te we did say ten trait. So. Oh. And uh, also, I don't believe if we bring up bingo, I don't believe that even activates a bingo, because oh, uh, you dropped it. if we if we do, I think it's on the far right. I think it's in column B four. Okay. Or, uh, I mean, we could give B4. it to him just to try to get a little closer for the end. It yeah. does not activate a bingo. No wandering trainer game. Oh wait, I had to win the lobby. Oh, uh, it's definitely oh, not. Yeah, it. Oh, I mean, okay, because ten trades usually like win the lobby. Yeah um usually uh yeah okay do we want to change any of these to make it easier for the last game like make a bunch of them easier about, i mean i mean play losing the crab is pretty hype but i don't know if you guys want to if the crab rate doesn't appear at all though like that is true that is true how about uh a player makes world championship for the first time actually that's already happened it's auto it's already yeah. happened what about a, a player that uh do, makes it back to the world championship is that possible we might have all first timers. Re replay can go back. Yeah, we all. It, it's all. It's entirely possible. Is rain? Is rain mathematically think, limited? I think rain is. I, I mean, ADP. I guess con, theoretically. Yeah, I, I think. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how about that? Yeah, replace golden egg cash out because none of these none of these people are Losers. picking golden egg. Yeah. Nerds. Uh, and then so we we can uh, we can just do instead of golden egg cash out, we'll do a uh, player makes it back to worlds. Instead of last two players alive are win streaking, someone ends the game with more than zero HP. <laughs> nice. Uh, uh, yeah, exactly. So, so, someone has a unit on their chat. Board. I got you. Never say otherwise. We sh you know, it's crazy. We should. We knew Robin was playing this tournament. We should have said, uh, "Player sells entire board to chase legendary." <laughs> we should have. Yeah. Robin, by the way, a player that we actually had invited on the call. I think if we don't get him for here, maybe we can get him for the Worlds co-stream. That'd mm -hmm. be pretty cool. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, player ends the game. Okay, come on, man. Like, I mean, because okay, I guess we're going to give away a lot of eggs. Don't, after this don't, game. You, don't you have like a bunch of codes to give away? Yeah. Yeah, true. Okay, you're right. Actually, we have so many more codes. But the thing is, we could roll it over to the Worlds co-stream as well. Oh. Yeah. Oh, if you want to do that, it's fine. Yeah, 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 it's also totally fine. But we can give away 10 more, right? We can give away 10 more. If we, if, how much time do we have? Should we just give away 10 more right now? We should just do it right now because oh, I think oh, afterwards we're going to do all these interviews and shit, right? Do, do we have time? I'm asking you. I don't want to. Oh, it looks like they're all readying up. Maybe not. Okay. It looks like we don't have time. We don't have time. Actually, okay. shit, I'm going to run to the bathroom really fast because I want to make sure I'm like. Walking. Got it. Got it. All right. Man, last game. It's all on the line. And, uh, man, I'd be, it'd be so cool to see. Uh, Malala, Disso, Forsen, and then whoever else is able to get there. But uh, anything, guys, no, no, there's no, there's no giveaway. Stop typing Spencer. They were doing <laughs> this. There's, there's no giveaway. Dude. There's no keyword. You guys are just. Li <laughs> they've been they've been doing this like even when we didn't talk about the giveaway. Or no, no, they were just doing no this. The pre gaming. The pre gaming. Oh, <laughs> uh, doesn't do anything. I mean, you know what? Okay, you know what? Sure. Uh, get your Spencer muscles ready. If you if, if yeah if you if you if you type Spencer in chat, you you might be eligible for giveaways. You might be. <laughs> All right. Um, this has been fun. Thanks so much for uh, at Broccoli. Thanks for driving down. Uh, you yeah, literally yeah. crossed an entire country board to come here. Entire country, a whole country. That's right. That's yeah. right. <laughs> uh, how you been enjoying it, man? It's been very fun. Because we're about we're about to kick you off at the end of the post show. <laughs> uh, after the after the game for the post show. That's yeah, fine. Yeah. I'm uh, I'm probably gonna head out of here. You know, maybe I'll just leave right now. Uh, <laughs> I mean, if you want to, it's totally cool. Um, no, it's but... been a great time. I've had a really fun time. Uh, Wait, Brock is actually on this end? No, 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 no. no, no, no. Just that, uh, we're getting the talks in now because oh, okay. uh, during the post show, it's going to be three of us on the couch. Oh, yeah, yeah that makes sense. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, it's been it's been fantastic to have you, man. I'm excited to see you pop off a set eleven. 
You're going to go really hard for set 11. I am going to go really hard for set 11. Are you really? Stream yeah. for set 11. Oh, yeah, that's I am hype. going to stream for set 11. Oh, Broccoli, I'm so pumped to hear that. Yeah. We will do what we must. That's interesting. That's interesting. I will pop up in at least one do tournament. Do you think set 11 fits his skill sets, Iniko? If so, it's true, why? actually, yeah. yeah. Can you uh, say a couple of words about set 11, actually? A couple of words about set 11, actually. Nailed it. Ooh, Thanks. okay, okay. Okay. Um, I think Broccoli's see. no further questions. I think Broccoli's best set was set six. If I had to give my <laughs> opinion as a player and somebody who competed against him, I was always really annoyed when I had him in my lobbies in set six. Okay. All right. Um, set six was peak in general. It was so good. It was it, so fun. Yeah, it, it was, was peak really in general. It was. I mean, it was such Man. a special time. Here we go. I don't, Game I don't know number six. Oh, wandering trainers. One time. Oh my God! Oh my God. There's no way. Yes, yes, cute, yes, cute, cute, yes, cute, yes. Cute. Cute needs to, actually, he needs to kind of gamble here. I mean, Preston oh, might rain, as well. Oh, rain. Rain. Okay, I like Dude, it. Yeah. I like it. This I like is it. fucking chaos. Preston is yes. Oh my God. I mean, we have please, lobby, no, please, no, 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 this, okay, come on. It's the final fucking game to go to Worlds. And what to be a better way to wrap yeah. it up than Wandering Trainer Portal? I think that's very emblematic of Item the entire, payout. The Let's go. I feel like it'd be much more fitting. I that was that out. was super stress. That was super stressful for me. <laughs> I really did not want to fucking end the tournament this way. Okay, all right. What? Well, What's wrong? You, you don't want to see somebody get a heart steal. Some of us here for a like good so, time, not a long time. I mean, look, there's so many interesting things happening right now. Like the 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 third place battle is really interesting. The AVP battle is really interesting. There's also yeah. a really interesting battle on the top end of this. We have Malala going for like the best set of all time, and you have Dish Soap trying to get the monkey off yeah, his back and finally win a TFT tournament for the first time at regionals on the biggest stage like i'm really excited about this game i don't want it to be Why decided in fucking stage one interesting layer to it's it. not I mean, interesting fucking layer <laughs> stage one basically decides who's playing for what placements i man. mean you say that but then uh on the other counterpoint little legend eggs because we had one and true. 10 trait wins a lobby so if you guys don't get eggs you know who to blame yep it's all bryce and riri play just those two yep. actually mostly bryce i would what the, what the I, I'll chat. If, if it makes you feel any better, I'll just donate some eggs. You it's guys can have some eggs. It's fine. <laughs> I, I just want this game to be good. It's just the greatest anime betrayal of all time, man. I I, I think so, yeah. Disop has five corkies. Big shot oh? corkies start things off. Is it time? I don't know. How, how baller would it be? He just randomly played Corky 3 <laughs> <laughs> to world. <laughs> I mean, that would be kind of cool. You know, there was one person, I think it was Robovan, who, when I asked about tech, this was his tech. Corky. His, Corky. Tech, his tech was Corky. He said, well, you, he said you play Corky. He's like, if you get, like, seven Corkies on 2-1, you just play it to <laughs> nine, and you just slam. It's like Rage Blade. You slam Lucian items, and you just transition to Lucian to nine. That sounds like it seven worked for him in a ladder on two game. One, in a Masters game on the ladder in EU... Then uh, you'll be fine. Yep. Yeah. Lock it seems good. I like lock it. Precedent's board. Although I guess we won't have to watch much of Precedent's POV uh, since uh, he's effectively out. Let's cut over to Forsen. See what's going on in his territory. He's got Punk up right now. And he's he can do frequent fire Punk. And Forsen's the other player who can play for the win. By the way, I like Ooh, pumping, pumping up. up. I, it, because pumping up is really good with Riven. He might just want to play Riven. Malala, Malala with two, two kills. kills and stars. Oh shit! He's got kill three already. Uh, he basically does, yeah, actually. Un unironically. He has to find two <laughs> kills. <laughs> one kill. find, <laughs> like, find one kill for the two stars. Find is, one kill for the headliner. And, and, and it is so hard to bot four from positions like this. Kill, right. Like, just oh. so good. There's you no way it. you just said that out loud. Did, did I say that out loud? Oh, I don't think I did. Oh. On cast. It doesn't sound uh -oh. like a thing. Not, I don't very cool, right? Not very cool. Not very cool. Listen, every once in a while, you use your powers so, for, uh, for good mostly. You got to use them for evil every we, once in a while. We, we, we saw, we saw this me. exact position in EMEA, actually. Not today, but uh, in a previous event. And that's exactly what happened. Wow. Someone had to KO with Sars are born. They missed. So... Um, I don't think that's going to happen. I, I don't feel like I don't feel like Malaz, Malaz a misser, but... Uh, I mean... We Dude, what if, what if Malala was a misser and this was still his set? <laughs> Re Replay has a... Uh, he's not a misser. I can, I can confirm. I know, I know. <laughs> Trust me, I know. At least it, he, he's true damage and uh, augment. True damage. Blinged out. Blinged out. Blinged yes. out. Okay. Re really, really, really good for him. Yeah, he, he likes the true damage line He's blinking. Slam to Spark, so he's probably just playing around. So. Yeah, yeah, Even with Morello <laughs> and Spoils of War trying to play high tempo, last time... If last time this happened, Kiyun was able to snowball into a third. A third puts Kiyun in a really good spot.
qualify as long as he can get that point gap between him and Forsen. Yeah, it's, it's totally dependent on basically two placements, Replay's placements and Forsen's placements. Yeah, replay just really, really praying for Forsen. Oh my god, the soils prop. Two? Yeah, he gets two gold, which is pretty good. And he gets yeah. to sell the ten. Yeah, he doesn't yeah, take those. Yeah, nine doesn't he doesn't get to actually keep the streak, Wait, but I think it's better than not nothing. Making ten. Oh he makes, he's making ten, he's making yeah. ten. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, everyone hit four. No upgrades for Keen, which is a really big deal on spoils. He needs to find yeah. some of these units. You could justify okay. You could justify I mean, a punk roll. You yeah, could, you could justify honestly. punk rolling here. I mean you it nah, pays, I think you spoils justify making pays back. off spoils. You want to you want to sell 20? the yeah, you want to but I kind of want you don't want to hold the Vi pair because you you're can, playing around the Jinx chosen. I and mean, you can just play the the hard steel units. Okay, it's fine. Oh, okay. So you want to play? The, you want to sell the okay non hard steel units to make twenty? I think I value making twenty more. I feel like the punk roll is like something that people undervalue in general, though, when they're playing high tempo spots. So yeah, like, I just think Kuhn doesn't have to like. I know he has spoils, but he doesn't have to play for like max tempo. You can play the spike and then play for spoils in later stages. Oh, is that a oh that's, that's a, a, death, that's blade a death blade goal? Okay, that that's that's a rare one. That's a really rare one. We definitely take 20 percent chance to drop a gold on kill. Okay, not bad. We take those. Someone's can we check out Preston's spot really fast? Uh, okay. I mean, Preston's oh, not really relevant to this game right now. Uh, I someone said that he was griefing replay, so I was just curious. Oh, Preston really? had to, I mean, okay, he took blinged out, but I don't, I don't know if that uh, counts as oh. griefing. Is he guaranteed? Oh, he is kind of guaranteed out of there. Uh, wow. Yeah. Uh, but at the same time, like, it's, it's like when you take blinged out. I uh, mean, it's like among the best two one augments. So yeah. good, yeah. And remember when Re replay took blinged out and then just played a tempo of Kali line. Yeah, you yeah. can you can definitely play other lines with it for sure. So it kind of I mean, you have to play on true damage, obviously. I, I don't know what Preston's spot looks like at the moment. And we don't we don't know who picked it first. We don't know who scouted. Like, I'm, I'm not prepared to call this griefing. Oh yeah, no, I don't think he's intentionally like hard griefing him. Um, we'll see. We'll a lot see. Of random centers out of the pool right now. Well. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. my god. Oh, my now I mean, now god. that's griefing re replay. All right. Oh my. Replay's god. fucked. Uh, yeah, because degree has a center as well. Like yeah. it's uh, people are just playing it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Replay yeah, seems yeah. to find his way into a okay placement in this game. He does not need to like top four even. True. It depends a little bit on how well Kiyun does. To the other folks, but he does have a small, you know, couple point lead on these folks. That's and assuming that the, that the top well. three, yeah, the yeah. Forsen does well yeah. and stays in there. Yeah, well, the the necessary condition for replay to get in is Forsen staying in the top yeah, three. Sure. If Forsen's not in the top three, unless it's like eighth first, I think it's over for okay. replay. Oh man, going up against Malala with Stars are Born. Malala still not leveling, by the way, level four, focusing on gold. Get that econ going. Dish soaps are only win streaker. Okay. Which is great. Great for dish soap. Just Locked temp just full fire. tempoing. Yeah. Yep. Good. Just very stable. Yep. And you can look in decent so far. Yeah, and if he wins, he can make 30 here, so it's a really, really good spot if he wins. Yep. hundred yep. percent Going up against Rain. Rain has serves up award. Looks like uh wow, BT Titans uh, playing Riven. Edge of Night. Yep. Or uh sorry, uh even Trout. Yep. Looks Riven like with a gambler's blade in this yeah, one, that's, Caitlin. That's interesting, actually. Mm -hmm. She looks like okay, I shouldn't say she is playing it. She, it looks like she's heavily angling it. Yeah, I'd be surprised if it was uh, if it was anything else but Riven. Yeah. But at the same time, um, it's not exactly like a spot that says like, wow, you know, like Riven like seems like the optimal play, but maybe that's what she's gonna go for here. Uh, let's go ahead and look, look at Dishop's fight, actually, because he's, he's streaking. Get Malala, easy win. He's chilling, yeah. Okay. Dishop with the five streak. Dishop, five streak is huge. He puts another five streak on the board. This is a comfort zone. This is a major comfort zone. Yes. Yeah. Just it, tempo, good slams, five streak. It's exactly how he wants to play the game. And, like, it's actually at the right time, too, because how many times has Dishop played tempo, five streak, and then barely and lose it? barely yeah, lost it. Yeah. Time exactly. and time again. Yeah, yeah. It's happened like three times, four times, I think, on stream. Yeah, so for we've sure. Been watching, yeah. So it's like finally things are going right for him at the right moment. Yeah. 
and I think that's what really about TFT is, right? You can't always guarantee those kinds of things, but like you gotta gotta be setting yourself up for success as often as you can. For sure, yeah. yep. that's what Dishop has been doing. I mean, he's consistently put out solid performances. He's had the really high AVP, just never been able to get over the hump. And he might not get over the hump here. You know, time will tell whether or not this game pans out for him. Say nothing of the fact that he needs to get at least two points over Malala, yeah. who is still in a really good spot for this KO game. Yeah, but kind of exactly what we described so far, just no Kale in the shop. Yep. Funny, usually when you say that, something weird happens. But uh, so far, like that Kale pair, no Kales. And no rods no either. No rods. Right, so like kind of converting off these extra swords are going to be a little Same. bit tricky. Yeah. Oh, and there's, the there's Kale. There's the Kale. Something weird happens. So, yeah, I mean. <laughs> something could happen here. I mean, he could easily wind up with Kale, th Kale 3 next turn. Yeah, yeah exactly. Sure. And it, he can it, slam, it, he yeah, can like slam GS Redemption and play, you know, go for Rod. Hyun. Still holding the Hearthsteel, but he's been kind of selling them very piecemeal meal, excuse me. Uh, and he slams here. Stone plate, yeah. Uh, stone plate. Okay. And Shoujin is I mean, you blue, blue slam blue buff. I mean, you know, it depends a little bit on what he wants to play. But if he's gonna play a flex, I think you can. Obviously, you don't need to. Yeah, for sure. I mean, right slamming now, would be nice to keep sword. the gold count, so you get to make thirty and hold your. Yeah, game. but I'm assuming. I think if yeah. you if you don't care enough about Ezreal, Shoujin slam is actually like really reasonable here because you can just have your Ezreal as your Morello Shoujin applier, like sure. whatever, and just save the good shit for Zed. Yeah, oh. that's uh, it's, it's a lot like how like I see some people yeah, see like Jazz Latte approach it. So I can totally see that. Even open sword though for your Zed is pretty nice as well. That yeah. is true. Yeah, sure. yeah, I'd rather play, I mean, in flex, I'd rather play around sword. Play around yep. tier. Malala. Remember your roots? Isn't that just Biss? Biss? Uh, it's pretty damn close to it. Crown Guard is I mean, Crown Guard is also well. really good, right? Right, for the Mordekaiser. Oh, oh my goodness. I like Duelty a lot here. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And here comes the open cell. So. And Malala. One and one. Is a couple a of rolls away. <laughs> oh, one one on. Two. Come on. Just give the boy the kale. Where is it? Uh, how far are you willing to roll for this? Uh, Probably like 10. Okay. Yeah. It's okay. In, we got a few more. We got a few shot. more. You know, Mordekaiser is. I mean, if he's going to stop, he wants to stop on frontline. Okay, I mean, this, right? this, oh. is, this is kind of depressing. Oh. Oh, he's sending. He's sending. He's full sending. sending. I think I, I would have bought the Echo, I think. Oh, my God. That was, that was depressing. Oh, my God. Did you guys think you can stop on the Echo? Like, I, I, thought he, I thought he was just passing because he was getting all backline chosen. Isn't, like, the point of Stars Are Born that you hit? Uh, he asked. He, he, he did kind of force the issue, like, in the sense that, like, he rolled down and says right yeah, here, right now. True. But, um... Oh my God! This is, I, this is. I actually feel like this is exactly what Wait, I saw. Did, did I, is this actually my fault? I think this might be my I fault. Think it might be your, it's your fault. fault. I did also kind of reference exactly I mean, what happened you, last time. You might be the worst. I mean, well, that's my bad. A soju situation. I actually do. I actually do take the blame here. This is definitely an L. Uh, okay. The the thing is, uh, uh, it forced him to surf account. And other people like that also are having bad spot. Okay, last day. Never mind. Last day and pumping up wow. five. Oh hearts. my oh. god. Five he steel. keeps finding himself into amazing hard steel spots. Force is the best. Is, uh, is, it almost looks like I'm, I'm watching Satsuko's games. I don't understand. <laughs> He's a new Satsuko. Uh, this is rain. Do you think spots. he likes. Is it possible that he like space jammed Satsuko? Is that why Satsuko flamed out? Oh, and here we are. Maybe. Although I think uh, Bryce is about the point, point when you realize that Space Jam was actually out before most people in chat were born. No, no, no but they released a new <laughs> shitty version with LeBron James that they've all seen. Uh, they probably didn't watch that either. Okay, okay, fine. Nobody watches movies anymore. I'm really hung up on the dis depressing statistic that Dan just dropped. <laughs> I, don't, I can't even respond to that. Uh, interesting choice here for Dystope to put blue buff on the locket for K uh, for Kaisa and then have her kind of dash back. I, that's a really cool, yeah. neat little trick, knowing that she dashes away. Yep. Really smart. So he gets locket value. PP. Oh, like that. And also item PP. flexibility. 100 HP streak. And if this token can put another 5 streak on the board, his chances of going to Worlds and, is almost locked. And big. Malala yeah. missing that hard means yes. that even if he, even when he does hit, because he will yes. hit at some point this game, right, surely, that it's he's going to be behind tempo economically yeah. and Dishope's Tourney win is very much on the table. And True. it wasn't it wasn't First just win. no Kale headliner, like <laughs> no Mordecai. Yeah, no more. Well, which is like a really big yeah. deal. And, and Even just Mord one. No supporting units so at good. all. Yes, Malaz because it's an all day long. 31 points in five games. It's very incredible. But uh right now things are not looking too hot for him. Let's see. Let's see, maybe next next shop can always have it. Next shop can always have it. Oh, he's playing um 
Oh, this is. Wait, it's just a stop. Yeah. Oh, it's just a stop. Yeah. I'm like, and also, by the way, re replay. Yeah, pretty, I'm so people, confused for a second. Replay is. He, he's gonna, he's gonna have to I mean, he's kind of like he's he's healthy at least. He's just gonna play the board that he, he's gonna try to play the Kali primary carry board that he played the other day. With this setup. Oh god, I mean, it's in Magic Wand as well. But like, how the fuck does he play Senna here? Like, what, 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 how many percentages does Preston have? Because Preston has five Senna. I mean, you can't. You yeah, cannot actually, play that. Yeah. Shit. Oh, has yeah. this as well. And then uh, wasn't Keyun playing around Senna as well? Yeah. You, you truly cannot play Senna here. The, almost all the Senna's are like out. Yeah. That's a that's a tough spot. Man, tough spot. They actually they, 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 yeah, they actually spotted point. LeBron. That's oh crazy. Oh my god. Oh, this is so tough for re replay. Okay, if re replay gets in, he's a hundred thousand percent earned it. Because at this spot, I think I'd be tearing my hair out. I think uh, throughout this day, I mean, he's definitely he's had a hard day. A few yeah. spots, but his spots have not also been good. good for apparently. sure, for sure, agree. Oh man, soap is cruising. Ooh, Ari pair. Ari, Ari pair. Is that even good? No, I don't think you'd pay any attention to it. Orson. This up, uh, by the way, one so, round so. away from a 10 streak. He's already oh, yeah. upgraded his uh, his Kaisa yeah, to an Akali. Yeah, we even seen a board that beats this. Not, not yet. This none, this board is very good. Malala's Malala. board is pretty decent. Uh, I mean, like an items. I don't think Malala can beat him. I don't think Malala wins. Okay. Yeah. He just has too much front line. Oh, well, I mean, he also, okay, he also has, a, he has a lot of threat, too. Like, this Akali, this Akali will put in some more condition yeah. to the center. He has anti heal, like the board, the foundation of the boards is too good. Yeah, there's not much they can deal with. Wow. Yeah. A Kali here. In, in stage three. So board, yeah. Ten yeah, this KDA Kali unit sucks late, but it's pretty good right now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and, and I think that's like something that just it's just important to recognize, right? Like it, at this point of the set, like all these units have their roles. Understanding yep. how to maximize the efficiency of it is so key, especially on stage three. Poppy. A couple pairs. Yone. Force and Smurf Yo, count eight? at seven. Rain at seven. It looks like a lot of people are angling. For... Oh, Rain's gonna roll here. We should watch her. Okay. Uh, for, she's rolling uh, right now. For, she's looking for Riven at the yep. moment. One, two Rivens. Two Rivens. There's a Viego as well. These are the spots where we've just seen Riven struggle, like yeah. from way ahead. Oh. With with like gigabit augments or something, but from sixty four oh, HP, oh, a bow and no, surely, surely. A bow and what? She she, needs to, she wants to clear some best surely. Case she's like also slamming items. Cops. Oh, she slammed last whisper. Wait, before you. Oh, it's a oh, oh that's, that's minus the exact one. Punish. Minus that's one. one. Oh my god, that's the exact punish. Not only was it the worst gold orb drop, it was the worst scenario for the worst right. gold orb oh. drop. Oh. Worst uh, worst uh, headliner. Okay, she, she passed. The, it. She has to under the circumstances. This is looking. So bad. She rerolled her gambler's blade. She can reroll the last whisper, right? Riven two. Uh, I think she doesn't can. want to. I, uh, okay, I like, I like stopping on Yone. She's here. so far away. Oh my god. And Dissope gets to capitalize onto it. Dissope did, went for an eight level eight. I was gonna ask if he goes for it on four one because he's ten. He's ten streaking. I think it makes sense. Good time yeah. to play. Uh, I mean, Dishon like didn't Rain. really get didn't stronger. Get chosen, it, almost, right? it almost looks like he got weaker. I mean, he he has his board is more his, his bench is more expensive. Than his can board. he kill <laughs> this Yone? His, his, There's his, no anti heal. His yeah. bench has like 30 gold. So. Can he overwhelm it? Maybe. Uh, like overtime maybe, maybe it. Oh, oh, broccoli, stuck. look away! Broccoli, look away! <laughs> oh no! Man, this is so bad. Oh. Dishon oh, Dish oh. was in such a good spot to win this game if he if he if he just hits oh. a little bit. Yeah. Yone. He also doesn't have a headliner. Yeah, no headliner. Not yet, not yet. I mean, he's still fine, but like he could have easily protected the streak here. It would have been so easy to beat Rain's board. Or gifts. Or gifts. Gifts. Holly. Hair. Oh. Hey. Full send. Uh, no roll. No, he's gonna roll. He, he's just getting the board on first. Got it. He wants to make sure he plays a board that makes sense, and then he builds from it. It's, it's his preferred order. Oh, oh. oh. there you go. There you go. I mean, that's what he missed before. There it is. Round. It's the right one as well. Yep. Just like one okay. more upgrade. Yep. He's chilling. Okay. And I think that's good enough. Uh, re replay did commit to the center, by the wow. way. Wow. I'm he really surprised that's where. I mean, I don't know what other options he really had. Preston is holding six of them. Oh. <laughs> I just I, I just don't agree with this at all. It looks like he's going eighth. Uh, but like okay, so if you already committed to blinged out, what would you do? I think you just have to. I mean, I think the magic one was the real error. Like I, I think that you know you're contested. Yeah. 
There's, I, I just don't think you can like you can make that play where you're just like, yeah, I'm just gonna play it anyway. You have to pivot. Both you, have you can hit, to pivot. technically, yeah, right? You, like, there's nothing you hit five. Like, it looks you could. like you're gonna hit, but then like you just never do because there's somebody in the pool. If he's able to sneak in a win though, every single win gives him that extra stall until precedent dies. Yeah, I don't know if it's gonna be this one though. Oh man, barely. I mean, luckily for him, Forsen is in a pretty good spot. Kyun. Degree also has last stand. Oh my so god! There's two last stand players, which also hurts Riri play yes. even more. Yes, you're right, you're right. You can't play out to these placements. Kiyun took Inspiring Epitaph, committing to Seraphine. Okay. And then, uh, how's Rain doing on her roll down? Still sticking onto Yone, going for the hard steel cash out. Malala on a streak has that KO3. KO3. Finally. Very much being chilling. I mean, he's more than one, but he's he level seven, so it's like... Two healthy kind of compensates. Yep. Yeah. Yep, and uh, just in general, looks like Malala is in a pretty decent spot HP-wise. If he can finish out with a streak. Yeah, remember, he only needs to go second to guarantee the tournament win. Yeah. And, you know, and then each placement, Dish Soap drops down. He can drop down one as well. I mean, he's going up against Dish Soap right now? No, he's not. He's no, going no. up against Kiyun. This is degree, I think. Oh, it's degree. Sorry, I was looking at degree. No, sorry, this is Forsen. It's Forsen. It's Forsen. Forsen. We'll get it right one of these days. You just named the whole lobby in the uh, Yeah. He's going against Forsen President of Elimination. Nova. Yeah. Can't Forsen believe Riri with a win without last stand. Oh, barely. Okay. His, his augments are really good, by the way. Coming up last stand, Martyr. Yeah. Yep. Degree, not too bad either. Karma Caster, last stand. Huge synergy there. Allow a young carousel. Zed Lucian on carousel. carousel. Yeah. This is a high value carousel. It's a really high value Lucian. carousel. Components are pretty good too. Force in on 80 flex Lucian. gets the Lucian. Yeah, I mean. That's good for re replay at least. Yes. Okay, Ring takes the Zed. What's key No gets? one's taking a Lowey? Wait, no one did so. so he so gets a Lowey? Wow. He gets a troll. What am I looking at? I mean, everyone's re rolling. And okay, so Forsen, Forsen did the right thing. He took Lucian, right? Yeah. I'm fucking disgusted. And then Degree is, he just doesn't want Listen, to. Listen, that's why they call him the I PP, mean, because he mind, he mind games everyone. Everyone thinks someone surely is picking this Alawi. Forsen's oh. literally, de like, he's sitting there and he's yeah. just looking at the screen, like, all right, somebody get the Alawi. Someone get the Alawi, and then just, this disop guy just gets the Alawi. Okay. Wait, can he play it, though? He can't even finish. Oh, wait, he can't even play it. Wait, wait, man. Watch him sell it's it. It's not even that good. It's like actually not even that good. Whatever. He's about to sell it. Feels replay bad, though, hits. Well. That was I mean, his center three. It's a six center. Seven. And it's it's very very close. They both have seven. Oh, God. He's he's on echo one by the way. Kyun's level eight. He's not actually committed to Seraphine. Yeah, here. Kyun no. is. Uh, what is he planning? Lulu. I have no idea. It might be Lulu. It might be Lulu. But level eight. It, Lulu transition. But if he's yeah, if he's you playing Lulu, wouldn't he just play on seven anyway? Yeah. Why would you? Yeah. Because I mean, he, he wants to hit, hit Seraphine too. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Oh, spoils, think, oh, chest. spoils. So, oh, so, oh, oh, that what? it was that all along. He yeah, I mean, we we we're just not knowers. <laughs> that makes he's sense. the best. That makes sense. He's just yeah. the best. Someday, oh, someday okay. if you try really hard, you can see all of the he angles. He also passed Lulu headliner, just FYI. Yeah, I don't think it's I don't think it is Lulu. I think it's Ari. Ribbon three like, for rain. But yeah, I don't know. Oh, can you go oh two my god! Gifts? Oh my god! This I feel like this is. Anyone's lobby Best right now, three. except for re -re <laughs> This board three streaking. This board's three streaking in stage three, by the way. Best hitting center three, out of the ashes. Yeah, I mean, there's a couple yeah. of people who are really who are really weak, right? Like re replay and press event are like weaker than they should yeah, be. And, and Rain uh, has been weak for a while too. I mean, they get not a free anymore, win versus so while he's mid transition. Yep, feels like anybody's game except re replay. Yeah, it's not. I, uh, it's not re replay's game. Well, or precedent's game. I mean, he just hit center three. Yeah, but I think the the tempo window. Yeah, yeah, for is sure. Gone for sure. He just doesn't have the HP lead. Kiyun needs to win this fight versus uh, Malala while he can. I don't know if you have enough DPS. To take D down Kiyun. The D claw is actually. Doing actually a lot. Yeah. Oh, what the heck? She took I don't think they have enough damage though. Everybody's oh, the, everybody's the bunched up. Ari, Ari, Ari. Uh, everybody's bunched up. Uh, that's okay. Decent loss. Good try. Good Lala try. finishes out with a with a five streak. That's huge. Malala's on the doorstep. Great augments. And he's a and and duplicator. A he's a big duplicator. He's popping off something here. GS, I guess. Probably. 
bleed. He's looking. He's looking so for again, double rage. Yeah, yeah, double rage bleed. So Kiyun at fifty one HP, Forsen at twenty three HP. Forsen with a two point lead. Yeah, Forsen has so uh, last stand. We're gonna yeah with last stand. So we're gonna definitely want to focus on Forsen's board, kind of in some the meaningful amount of six five coming up. The yeah. The scary thing for Dish Soap is he doesn't really have great combat strength with his augments. He took big grab bag. Yeah. Um, and he's playing hard steel, so he's gonna get a lot of ends regardless. And he also is like pretty contested in the AD line, so he needs to hit Zed two as real two before these other guys. This is uh. You might just wait for him to die and look uh, at nine. I meant to click force him. Two illusions. Force is rolling to zero. He's a spat. Open spat that he just got. Zed and chosen. No, no, he's he got can't Poppy. He can't sell his Poppy ever. Yeah. He's staring at this for like an uncomfortable amount of time though. I mean, he has so much to do on his bench. Yeah, this spot red is buff. super sus. Yeah, he needs red buff. Red buff for anti heal. Yeah. And then uh, what? Is there another heart seal casual coming coming next round? Damage emblem. I don't know. He, just... he probably just waits, right, for heart seal. Yeah, probably. So one like... one round off from heart steel, and then maybe it gives him a component or something. Maybe a yeah. forger. I mean, yeah. he's kind of banking on Lucian two one eight here. Yeah, I've seen him hit. All good. True. Sure. Nah, he, he's I'd been hit. he's been hitting all tournament. I'd hit. <laughs> Replay, replay gets wins. Easy wow. Win. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's honestly less... so good for replay because any placement he ekes out is a really, really big yes. deal to his potential AVP. And Preston just lost. But he also needs Forsen to hold on, so. Cash out. Oh, one orb. He did, he, he actually he held locked for it. And wow. he sells. I... Where's the front line? Where's the front line? I mean, oh, he got the front line. Line. Yeah, yeah, I found good. it. I found it. <laughs> I is mean, but that, that's not that's not by even, itself enough. He doesn't really even have that many items for it. It's just Hodge BT. Like he can he can dish this Yone for something. He has Jazz Emblem. He has Jazz Emblem. Yeah, he can. Blueless. He can, but he, need, he needs Frontline. Wait, why did he Crown Guard no, he allow? He, he, his Country Emblem. His country. Wait, what? I feel like you for sure Crown Guard set. Set? But. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Alawi does not appreciate Crown Guard. Oh, I mean, set doesn't. He just, bad maybe, for us? he just wants three tank items on the Alawi. Set doesn't really either, but the but problem yeah, is like he wants set in the front line always. Yeah. You don't yeah, always want set gets like a bigger shield. Q yeah, made to yeah. nine, but I can't tell that he made to nine if I didn't look at his username. Yeah, it's very odd. It is, his board he, looks Q's not good. Q's lying this game. Does anyone understand what he's doing? I mean, he's really like fast spoils nine. Tempo he's into some sort of legendary AP fast nine. Legendary So like, like, maybe took a huge loss. Probably Ziggs. Ziggs. Yeah. Oh man. Oh, Zed, Zed, Zed wins. wins. Zed, yeah. wins Zed wins these. Zed clears for sure. Okay. Degree getting last stand. Man, if he didn't need a Lowy, he would have literally no front line. I mean, two people have last stand in this lobby, but this is re replays last stand. Going eighth here, it, it, and especially with the way things are shaping up with the rest of the lobby, it is lights out for re replay. Yeah, it probably kills him. Especially. He, uh... he needs to make a stand here. He has Caitlyn too. His final chance. Man. He has Malala in his pool. Malala's still streaking, by the way, looking pretty. Dropped a golden dupe as well. Yeah, yeah, still has that golden dupe. Re replay fought a valiant tournament yet again, making it to the final lobby. Ooh, he's fighting Dish Sub. This is like best case scenario for him. Oh, is it though? The positioning? Is it? I mean, Dish Sub is trying Ooh. to stack to go nine, so like out of everybody, yeah. it is the best case scenario. Yeah, the problem, the, you're right. The problem is that he beats no one, not, yeah. not that he's fighting Dish Sub. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, he's level man. seven. I didn't even realize Yeah, he's level seven. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. No. Yeah. Oh, 07. Oh, 07. The two Senna players oh, hand holding bot two. Look, he, he flamed out oh, today, man. and that sucks. It really does. And he's oh. probably not going to make worlds anymore. He's still a beast. He still yeah. had a good tournament. He's still tier one in A. Yeah, I mean, that's just, oh, God. One bad day does not make the player. No. True. Okay. So that means re replay 16 points, no longer eligible precedent out as well. Uh, here's the kicker. Uh, <laughs> with that, actually, Preston outplays re replay <laughs> seven by, by two point by one point. Yeah. Uh, in the that's lobby. prize money. Yeah, sure. that's prize money. So Preston has placed seventh. Uh, re replay in eighth. Degree. Uh, I don't know. I don't think he can make it. He's out of it. Uh, Forced in Smurf account, though. Still playing for that top three spot. Yep. Sona two for Kyun. He's going to Sona carry. Okay. Yep. Now we know what he's doing. AP Sona? Oh, healing? Oh, wait, wait. Actually, I don't know. It's damage. It's damage. Right it's damage. It's damage. It's damage. It's damage. It's damage. Okay. Yeah. I mean, makes sense. Yeah, it looks like I see the red. No, no Rage Blade, but does have Shoujin. I see the vision. If she can cast twice. He's trying to figure out how to fit five Concussive spell shells weaver. is yeah. good. Probably have to drop down to But 5K. he wants 7 KD because yeah. his front line is so awful. Yeah. Going up against Soap, 50 gold. Okay. Uh, Here comes the first boom. 
Yes. Disso, by the way, is just quietly... 12 uh, seconds in. Quietly oh Jin Pair. Oh, my God. Zed and Israel died. He's quietly what? He's Jin Pair. He, he's yeah. trying to play for uh, Jin Cap on 9. Yeah, and Malala lost again, which is so good for Dish Soap, because Dish Soap needs to uh, get you know, two places behind Oh, my him. God. I mean, this looks is good. Is this the beta? Kian winning <laughs> with two-star Sona? Nicely done. Wow. And it's so important for him because he and needs every placement damage. he can get, right? He has to get two two placements ahead, so this is exactly Last what... Stand. All right, Force and Proking. Right. Are we willing to give... Vix 2. Are we willing to give a JV bingo if Force and Degree top to the lobby? A JV bingo? Yeah. Oh, because they're like two wind streakers? It's like, I mean, I don't... Th I think we took it off of the... Uh, yeah, yeah, the yeah I'll part. allow it. I'll all allow right, it. All right. Okay, uh, Forsen goes up against Disop, Kiyun, or Rain. And he, the thing is, he's still on Ezreal, Ezreal one. one, Lucian one. Like, country, he actually made it. He, true, he, made, he made the country emblem. I mean, oh my god, he needed he needed for the gold. Yeah, yeah. makes sense. He's going against Kiyun. Kiyun's oh, Ill. Kiyun has the opportunity oh, to take Sona's... his tournament life into his own hands. He can delete the so, Lucian and the Ezreal. Sona's on the what? opposite that, side that of the map. Zed did the map. move up across the map. It's going to get stuck on the front line tank. Zed's going to sit in a long time on this tank. Getting the, the question is, is enough time for the Sona to actually ramp up and cast again? Zed is going to go onto the Akali, but it's going to dash in the back. Does Sona cast? Hell it no. does, but it's not she did, enough. She did, she did, but it's not enough. It's not enough. Hell no, it's not enough. Oh, okay. man. And that's really bad for Kiyun because he needs someone to kill Force and he had a shot at it. He can't do it. Malala oh. loses again, which is really good for Dish Soap. Dish Soap's still sacking Dish Soap. Dish Soap's still very much in play for this tournament win. Oh, my God. He's got two chins already. already. Two for Kiyun. That's really big. Secondary carry. Also, is it time to get off this uh, Akali? I think it has to be. I feel like Akali has kind of ran her course, and you can't really like, like the K. Okay, so the, the the concept is that the KDA um, Akali here is working as if like Sona is the Karthus, right? Yeah. You have them kind yeah. of work in tandem, but <sighs> but any frontliner is more frontline than five KDA, and you can just put the items on Ziggs. So it's like, yeah, he just needs a frontliner. It feels like to me, Ziggs or Ari as well. Yeah, he's keeping it. He's not selling it at least right now. I don't know. It's not going to. I mean, I get it. It's, you know. Yeah, okay. It's also Spike. He just lost to a last stand player. Maybe he thinks that his board's good enough to be anyone other than the last stand player. Yeah. His pool is rain degree Malaz, oh. so he doesn't have to fight Dish Soap. Oh, we skipped that already so fast. Poppy. Mordecai's a three from emo, Malala. Emo Poppy actually sounds really good in this spot, doesn't it? In his pool. What's Mordecai's a three from Malala. More, more three from Malala. Oh, That's my really God. More big. three from Malala That's is really so big. big. That is really big. So oh my god. He he maybe swings the tournament, actually. Oh, D Claw. He saw he was playing Q and he just took the D Claw. Smart. This is the AP matchup. Yep, super smart. Okay, here comes the first Sona cast. This is GSRE's. Zix cast again. Best, but. More three still alive. Sona's going to cast Sona, again, but. Oh, wait, Sona, oh, wait. Really Sona? This is not enough. You can't one shot. Hold the Ari, the Ari's still alive. It's additional threat. Zig didn't cast. Oh, uh, they can't get this D claw. Dude, the the this double ramping on the rage blade. It's not this dead though. It's not oh dead. my it's god! I think Force died. Force, Force died. Force oh. died. Oh, Force oh is dead. Oh my! Kiyun's alive. Kiyun needs to get one more placement. Oh, it's Degree now. Degree versus Kiyun. He locked for a Lowy. Uh, Degree's matchups are Kiyun and Malala. Oh, look at his board. Oh, he's got a good board. He's got a good board. Yeah. That's really scary. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. It's and Kiyun 50 has three matchups. Dish Soap. Dish Soap can taste it. It's actually very close to victory. If Degree beats Malala and kills him, potentially, that could be Dish Soap victory. Yeah. Yeah, it would yeah. It, it would be because I don't think, uh, I don't think Dish Soap can Dish get Soap's Lotus Version two that. places ahead, but yeah. It's Kiyun versus Dish Soap. Kiyun versus Dish Soap. This Kiyun, Zed this Kiyun, Zed. Kiyun needs to get a fight win here. He needs to stay alive. The, the Akali is getting actually onto the Zed, putting a little bit of damage onto it. Zed, on the Zed Sona, one still in the back lines on the Sona, but isn't just gonna feed mana. Zed doesn't have that much damage on the Zed one. It casts oh, it, it, kills the Sona. Oh, it actually kills the Sona. Oh, Akali. Oh no. Oh my oh, god. Oh my god. Akali versus the world. It's not gonna be enough. Oh, he is tournament Kiyun life. Kiyun is off by one. And that means we're not gonna be able to call the end here because it's gonna come down to AVP, force in, in the top three. That's crazy. Malala fights Dish Soap again. Okay, so now Malala, Dish Soap, Dish Soap fighting Malala is like, probably bad for Dish Soap, right? He wants Degree to fight Malala. He needs someone to kill Malala. Oh my god, Force and made it to Worlds. Force into Force Worlds. Force made wow. it. Wow. As we all knew would happen. Uh, yeah, Force all, I the believe goat. all of us picked him. I mean, he was basically locked at this point anyway, right? Because AVP. That's crazy. I, like, I didn't pick him in the thing, but I picked him in my heart. 
Kiyun might actually get in off of AVP. I, I don't know whether or not the points is enough. Rain oh, might go. Oh, Rain might yeah, go. Rain might go yeah, with yeah, her points. Forgot, forgot. Rain, Rain is okay, actually so, still... so Dish Soap needs to come along here. This is the actual oh, tournament. Yeah, yeah, Rain right. is on the line. Okay, okay, okay. The Poppy is casting. The, the, the Mordekaiser is actually taking a ton of damage really early in this fight. Mordekaiser is going to go down. The KO only has 14 seconds. They get CC'd in the back line. No DPS coming out for the KO. Poppy is still alive at full health. Ezreal is still alive oh. at full health in the back line. Here comes the Karthus cast. It's going to be in a little bit. Poppy is still chunking away. No way. Ezreal has enough damage. Can Poppy take care of oh, this? Oh, oh, oh my god. It's oh enough! My it's my enough! Dish Soap, oh Dish, soap. Dish Soap can win! PP! He need, he, if, if, he, if he wins this game, it's guaranteed. If he, if he, he gets yes. second, it's tied. It's a last stand board. Okay. The job's done. The world championship is his in terms of qualification, but can he win the tournament? They said he was not a tier one player until he won a tournament. And when I say they, I mean morons. Morons said that Dishop <laughs> has always been one of the best players in North America. I would love to see him stamp his mark on this tournament, get a tournament win. He's going to Worlds either way. His first win being regionals would be, be so unbelievably sick. And poetic. And so well deserved. Yes. Degree yes. is uh, Degree's level 10, though. He's, he oh, is he's level 10, he last really stand. Oh, really the thing we don't know is the tiebreaker. Tiebreaker, right? Yeah, yeah, we don't know the tiebreaker. We don't know the tiebreaker for sure. Uh, of AVP. Man, I gotta start organizing myself mentally for what the dish soap plays. An AVP. Uh, I don't. Uh, I, I, I don't know. I, I think it's first is the second, which is probably not good for dish soap because he's gone a lot of I seconds. Think, uh, I think soap uh, is yeah, AVP. Guys, I don't think dish soap's winning this game. <laughs> wait a second. Wait a second. Uh, I mean, Zed, 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 Zed has line? done some disturbing things in the past. Uh, oh, you're right. It's AVP. I, I think. Never mind. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I think so. I think he's, he's cleaning, cleaning up. He's cleaning up. Yeah, he's cleaning up. This is gonna be. All right. It's gonna be a tie. I don't even think but, Jindler but, should but win it's, it. But it's AVP, right? AVP is the overall tiebreaker for the tournament, and Dish Soap had more points than... Uh, than it was, a, it was a tiebreaker to qualify you to the next day. I don't know the rules okay. of he, that. Okay. It's, a, it's a Gen 2, so a that's at least two. some no board improvement. Gen 2. Well, no, 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 he's going to put the Ezreal items on it. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. Um, he sticks to runes on Lucian, right? Yeah, I don't think you... I think you have to play for higher cap. I don't yeah. think you can afford to runes this He has this one gen. more round guaranteed. Yeah, this is yeah. smart. He, I think he knows he's not winning this fight. Good, good, yep. good. He's under control. He, he knows everything. We're, like, kind of losing our minds. But... Listen, we don't call him the PP for nothing. We're losing our minds. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, fucking yeah. calm, cool, Wait, what and do you collected. Mean? I knew. He's leaning well, back here. in his chair right now, relaxing. I mean, he's going to Worlds. I, I know the tournament win does matter to him. He would like it to does, shut up the idiots does. as much as everyone else. Back. And for Malala, too, remember, if he wins regionals, yeah. then he has done what is considered to be the unthinkable, winning three yeah. out of the four tournaments. Honestly, Sleep even going even going second at regionals is so disgusting for Malala. Yeah. Dish of loss. And so he has one final chance. I mean, I oh. honestly, this is a blessed timeline. I think this either is... storyline oh. of Malala it winning is. three it tournaments yep. out of four possible... Or just out winning his, getting his maiden W. Someone said PP literally wins with second. I'm just waiting for confirmation. Okay. But he sold Zach here. Let's put it this way, chat. If he does, I've got the PP tweet already fired oh, up. God. Yeah, it's, it's saved and ready drafts. to rip. Actually, actually, let, me, let, me, let, me, let, me, let me let me get it ready so that it goes live I, wait, wait, immediately I, oh, okay. after. All right, you actually had it prepped. Well, it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter, right? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You had it prepped in your drafts? Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah, I did. <laughs> I got it right, right here. You we, want, we need to bring up Bryce's wanna, tweet as you, soon as... You want to see it? No, it's right here. Send it now. Just, know, just, know, just for this just morning. But I, don't know if I, I, want, can, I want confirmation just that he actually wins now. on second. If you really, truly believe in the deep down parts of your heart that he is the PB, just send now. True. Degree. Trying to go for the win. Play for, I guess, the... the Hold on, actually, one, two, three, four point. Okay, I was gonna say the tie for Kiyun, playing for placements, a job well done. But looks like this should be the last fight of the game. And if Dish Soap can win this, it is his guaranteed. If it's not, then uh, we'll see whether or not uh, the tie ends up being the tiebreaker for him as well. So we, two banshees dummies. We keep uh, we keep talking about Dish Soap and Malala for a good reason, obviously. But I'm really happy Degree got to at least finish strong with a first. Oh yeah, yo oh, yeah, big time. Big time. I'm really happy for him. He's underrated. I think uh, he's definitely shown a lot of ways capable of. He doesn't go to the World Championship, but a hell of a run for Degree as well. Yeah. Yes, for sure. For sure. Degree makes it on AVP. <clears throat> Degree's going to World? Really? Wait, really? Wait a second. That's so hype. No you, fucking no, are, way. Are you trolling? No, we, no, we you knew it was like, no, like, like five. There's like hey, five. Hey, 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 so, no, don't look read at, the first thing in, in chat. Don't read the only thing no, in chat. No, I mean, everyone's saying, does Dish Soap win? Can we confirm that? Wait, Degree is in? Look at, look at Fantasy, right? Yeah, Doesn't Fantasy, fantasy tell us? Oh, Let's just pull up Fantasy then immediately. Oh, so, okay, Cookie's OP, Degree is in. And then and and then then Prep their hooray. Dish wins, Degree is in. I'm ripping the tweet. If you guys are trolling me. Holy shit. Ripped the tweet. Just deleted the worst case scenario. I ripped it. 
All right. Okay. So order of operations. We're gonna pull up. Pull, we're gonna first pull I'm up the so fantasy happy. to see who uh, makes it on the AVP. And also the flex. Actually, do we want to do standings then? Let's do standings first. Standings okay. first. You guys, this is this is live. This is the best timeline. Disop on top with Malala, and, and it looks like Disop has won the North American Regional Final. <laughs> Give me a people applause. Oh my god. Woo. Oh my god. Wait. Oh. Is, is this a this degree? Yeah. Degrees three point nine four. This uh, actually, this is actually such a good timeline. What is this timeline? Second, third is four in Smurf accounts, and according to this, based off that first <laughs> place, degree has the best average placement. I, I did not. That means, that. that means the two underdogs coming into today. Force and Smurf account and degree both going to worlds. That's amazing. And, that, and, and, and as a result, punts out both Kiyun and Rain. Rain was yes. actually so Rain was playing for average placement there for degree. Wow. Yes. yes. Wow. Can we look at the uh can we look at the fantasy score sheets? Obviously, it feels really bad for the people who didn't make it, but I'm so happy for degree and dish soap. I'm so happy for them. I am so happy for dish soap. Yeah. It's so sick. I finally. Am, it is such a deserved win. 97 for Dish Soap. Oh best God. AVP in the tournament. I mean, wow. that, that just leaves no question then. He had the best average placement throughout the entire weekend, and he ended number one tied in points, so he is the rightful winner. Yep. Uh, second in points overall was Forsen. Mm -hmm. Third was Malala. And in fourth... Degree was not drafted. True. Oh, we But you really, you can't blame us for that. Oh. You gotta blame them for yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, uh, I mean, that's that, that's on them. They, they, you can blame they, them they for a lot of things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, 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 that's what I'm saying. Degree. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Uh, this graphic doesn't do anything. It makes us look bad. Oh my God! Man. Wow! Congratulations! What a tournament! I okay. Uh, can we bring up Bryce's uh, tweets as I trans uh, transfer over broccoli? <laughs> thanks so much for joining. Broccoli. You, you gotta get some final words. Yeah, final words. Of course. Of course. All right, last words, Broccoli, before I kick you out. Yeah, it was super nice for you guys to have me here. It's really cool being on the other side rather than normally just watching this broadcast. Usually not watching the main one, usually watching this one, so. Oh. <laughs> it's, uh, Shots I, fired. I didn't tell him to say that. Yeah, <laughs> Wait, yeah. what? No, 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 you're good. Yeah, no, the main broadcast is great. I'm just saying, I like, you know, I like mm -hmm. you guys. All right, do you mind if I grab this one? And then yeah, everybody. Yeah, here you go. Bye, Broccoli. So good hanging, buddy. Thank you so much, Broccoli. Broccoli. Get him safe. Uh, I mean, he's gonna, he might hang out with us, but... Oh, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Wow, okay, and Bryce, can you, uh, can you also text a bunch of... Uh, can you just text the people who all made it to Worlds? And yes, I'll start, I'll start messing, messaging people. Yes, uh, Dishto's gonna join for sure. We'll get in Malala, yeah. we'll get in Weird, or a, I mean, Forsen, okay. excuse me. Can... Uh, we'll get Degree as well. Uh, uh, down to interview? Okay, uh, let's bring up the tweet. So, this is what Bryce said. Let's fucking go. PP wins regionals and goes to Worlds. Congrats at Digital TT. I mean, he actually did have this prepped in his I literally, draft. I literally drafted it. Most before. people don't say this part out loud. <laughs> but he might just be the best team fight tactics player in the world. His macro game plan often feels flawless. He plays wider than everyone and yet seemingly never misses on board strength evaluation. Transitions or core positioning within a given line when it's clicking for him it's about close to perfect tft as you're going to see man like i mean it feels so fucking vindicating i'm not gonna man. lie because because when i wrote That's this good shit because Dude, when i another, wrote this, another, another round of applause for just so man i need i need one I mean, My I, God. I, I can't decide if I want to like start glazing him now or, or I want to glaze him to his face for sure. Obviously, I guess I'll get to glaze him to his face when we have him on the podcast for, for the like reviewed set reviewed episode. Uh, it just feels really vindicating because when I typed all this, I fucking meant it. Like everyone was like, this is super over the top and blah, blah, blah. But the reality is that I think that peak form dish soap is the scare. It's like the scarier version of Wajian Iverson in a lot of ways. Um, I just think that he is such a consistent decision maker. And I think that his macro in particular is where he shines. Um, and I think that being able to shine in macro will oftentimes give you meaningful edge over the field because it means that you're going to always get on the right line and then play the line really well. Uh, and he does all the little stuff well in addition to doing the big stuff well. So for me, 
from a skill ceiling perspective, it's really easy to look at the flashy skill that someone like a Setsuko expresses, right? Um, but the this type of skill that Dish Soap brings to the game is it's a little bit more subtle. It's not something that other people are going to get as excited about, but it's always really excited to me about watching him and I'm just so fucking glad to see him win this tournament. He deserves it. He's deserved a lot of tournament wins before this one, but this has got to feel really fucking good for him. And if we could send one person to Worlds to have a shot at winning it, I, I, I'm down for it to be Dish Soap. Like, I, I think that he actually probably is our highest uh, highest likelihood of making final day, highest likelihood of winning the tournament. He's so fucking good. Dish Soap uh, has been told by a lot of people, or rather people are saying about him, that... Uh, it wouldn't be surprising if the first time he makes the World Championship, he wins the whole thing. Yes. Um, amazing representative. And everyone had their chance, right? We've had Setsuko, Weijin multiple times. Uh, Re Replay has won the World Championship. I want to see uh, Dishop's first crack at it. And, and I know he's not going to let it go to waste. Uh, and here's the also really most impressive thing on my perspective is that he did it by himself. Mm -hmm. uh, he's, in, he, he's not in a group. There's no... I mean, honestly... If it's like, who should he thank? I hope he says no one. I think yeah. I think me. Yeah, for like no help. Yeah, like, like he, he has no study hey, group. Hey, I vaud reviewed his games with him last I, night, I so it's me. No I, one I, I won was there regionals. for him. I hope he thanks Solus. I think he should. I, no, I genuinely. I, I think hope he, he, I think he actually I, might. I, I hope he I says think nobody. He actually might. I hope he says I like to give a shout out to myself, <laughs> and that's it. I I I, I think know, he might take thanks Solus and deserve it. I don't mean to backseat chat, but we're spamming we're spamming a good copy pasta, the Bryce one. Don't get me wrong, but we need to be spamming the dish soap. You care about the dish earlier. They already did it earlier. No, no, no. As soon as, as soon as he won, <laughs> they, they started yeah, winning yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's so Danny has a fucking command points. for it. Yeah, I have a command for it. I have a command for every player's iconic quote. It's so good, man. Oh, man. Okay, Iniko, you've gone through a lot with Dish Soap. You've practiced with him. You've teamed up with him. Now you're casting him in his maiden win. What's it like? being in your seat right now i'm just really proud i I'm, I'm happy for him um just as a friend honestly uh i think it's been a long time coming i mean we like it's like every everybody knows everybody knows it's been a long time coming he can finally block out the haters fully 100 percent, no doubt now it must feel good for him um i hope he's really proud of himself as well i know for tft players it's hard to be like yeah i did a great job instead of i just high rolled but I don't know if you're listening to this stuff. I really hope you're proud of yourself. I mean, he's I not, he, he can't be listening because he's got to be main interviewing right now. I mean, oh, he, he is, probably okay. is, but waiting for the main interview, but watching the stream. Okay, We're so, proud of you, buddy. So I think I'm really happy. Everyone has said yes. I think we get Malala and Degree in first. Yep. Does that make sure, sense? Sure, because sure, they're, sure. they're study group together. Yes. Uh, I want to say another thing, too. Uh, I might do this for our podcast. I'm sad that you're not going to be there for uh, the regionals review slash uh, preview, but... Um, uh, I, I, I've been hyping up Dish Soap a lot uh, back in set seven where I uh, just knew, I just knew that he was going to be a special oh, player. Baby. Oh, hello. Oh, sorry. Oh. <laughs> what, is, is that Malala? Yo. Oh, and Degree. Both of you are here. Congratulations. Perfect. Congratulations. Um, so first of all, uh, I guess question goes out to Degree. Uh, what's it like, man? Uh, you are, I, I, you know, I'm gonna, th I'm not, I'm not gonna change your name to the buzzer beater because yeah. you do this every time for snapshots. You're down 450 LP or something like that. You do it in one sitting. You sneak in there. Now you also once again, at the very close, at the end of the fourth quarter, you sneak in through AVP. What's it feel like, buddy? It's a it's a pretty crazy feeling to be honest. I thought I was out. Yeah, did you know? Did already, you? Did you? Yeah, did yeah. you? Yeah. No, no, no. In going to game six, I looked at the AVP and the scores, and I thought that I was out for sure. So I was like, you know, fuck it, first race, like, just get it, just get a a good finish. But somehow was able to sneak in the AVP. So it was, yeah, like, at the end of the game, I, I was like typing to my stream. I was like, oh, probably out. Like, but yeah, it was a good run. It was really close. But yeah, and then I and then everyone was like, "No, you're in, you're in." Like, are you then, uh, like are, two hundred hydras? But yeah, whoa, <laughs> okay, hold on. Uh, no, no hydras in my chat, yeah, please. Not here, uh, not but here. degree apparently has given the pass. Oh no, I think um, he just can't control it. Uh, degree, are you screwed for midterms, man? Are you no, sitting no, 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 no. Degree, I've I've written world's letters before. I literally have a template. So let. let, let <laughs> yeah. It's true. It's so true. so like, has. let's have a conversation if about you maybe need to get out. If you need to get out, mailing some professors. Midterms. Multiple for DQA, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. I mean, what? But, I mean, but wait, what is your midterm situation? Yeah. What is it? 
Oh, I'm not in this school. I'm, I'm like, yeah, I think that's weird. Already. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, it was weird that I was doing midterms. Yes. Oh, yes. my bad, my bad. Okay, yeah. uh, apologies. Um, so actually, yeah, what, uh, dude, you were getting IRL diffs, and now you're here going to the world championship. Uh, hopefully, you're not getting IRL diff for for next week. Are you gonna be able to lock down, lock in, and focus? Yeah, I think I was just super busy with work coming into the the weekend, but. Uh, I, I like wrapped up most of it Perfect. in the past nice. week and just kind of just grinded it out and was able to uh, get some good practice in the last few days. So yeah, hopefully next week I'll also um, have the time and yeah, really gonna just lock in and what will, do my best for the world. What will prep look like for you? Will you take any days off work? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think that this is such a big opportunity. Yep. So I'll do all I can to just uh, lock in and, and do what I can to, to succeed in that journey. So. Okay. Uh, what I I do have another question. What does uh degreeness mean? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I keep seeing it being spammed every a, time you show up. It's a replay. It's an emote that they made of my face inside of a penis. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It's pretty self-explanatory, I feel like. I didn't realize they you know, made the actual emote, but... The, yeah. I, didn't, I, I didn't know that. <laughs> uh, Dan, Dan wouldn't have asked if he and had now, known. And now I can't undo Yeah, that, now so. you can't done. Okay, and can, now that's a new part of my life. I, now I, I, not the so we pulled you and Malala in together. Oh. Malala, I want to I want to kind of get you into this conversation. So first of all, can we talk about the merging of these study groups? I mean, wh were they always one? How, how did they kind of wind up coming together? Um, because it, you want to put this incredible five-person group and, you know, preparing for a lot of regionals. So talk, can you talk about a little bit how you guys want up working together for this event? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, uh, yeah, you oh, go first. Oh, no, oh, you go ahead. Okay. okay. Yeah. So originally our study group was, uh, it was me, Replay, Deepay, t Lides, Ripple, uh, Nikhil, and also Cambly. Yep. And then after, um, after Heart Seal Cup, and we kind of, wanted to just get the people that made it to regionals and combine forces there. Uh, we were always like kind of uh, close with their group, like Weijin, Malala, and all of them. And so we thought it would be a good idea just to join forces and be able to all uh, work together for regionals. That's awesome. And Malala, you are in the process of what is probably the the greatest individual performance across an entire set of TFT. Yeah, what the heck? How, man? how much does that matter to you? You know, weigh on you? Did win did winning regionals matter to you like at all, or are you just happy going like was it only goal going to worlds? Like, how are you feeling right now? Uh, I feel pretty good. Uh, I think like after the first three four games, I really wanted to win because. Uh, I think like a lot of people were like sleeping on me, especially like after I won, and like just because like I didn't do well, or like just because I like placed like thirtieth at Hearthstone Cup, everyone was like counting me out, which is like kind of weird because like yeah, I just won two care. tournaments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just and like everyone's just like, and like a lot of people were like giving me flack, like saying that like I don't work as hard as them or something. So like I really wanted to win and just like should talk a lot of shit like. <laughs> oh, oh, that's okay, great. Okay. Follow question. Name, talk uh, your shit. Na name, name, <laughs> name two shit talkers. Name two shit talkers. Yeah, yeah. as yeah. many who, as you who, got. Who are the doubters? Wait, uh, so like I also wanted to win without gold openers because like because uh, <laughs> oh, Setsuko. That, yep. Setsuko, like, okay, yeah. all right. Okay, Setsuko, okay. where you at? Oh wait, that's right. He went. He went 16. Okay, one more, one more, one more. Oh, but like so like, but the only person who said that I didn't work hard was Soju. But like, there was like some kind of controversy on day one where I like kind of griefed him because I thought I was gonna win out. Oh, but then, like, yeah. oh, right. Okay, he, all right. Oh man, he's just he's but, just he's just going head to head with the other study group. Great. No, I mean, but it, like, but like Soju like reached out to me after that because like. Everyone on Reddit was like talking shit, but like he like recognized it could it could have been the right play. So he like messaged me and was like, "Yo, okay. like these guys on Reddit are really stupid. Like, don't yeah. listen to them. I hope we're good and stuff." Yeah. And he actually he he actually responded on Reddit as well. He like found his Reddit password so he yeah. could log in and respond <laughs> to them. And be like, you guys are all fucking idiots. Oh man, who's trying to win? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, good stuff. Uh, I love that Malala made sure you can get in so you can get an interview just to clear his name. <laughs> it wasn't even, it was just about to take care of business. Uh, man, uh, I, I'm just so proud of you, man. I'm, I, I, I mean, I, I feel like I'm on a broken record. I, I said it at Vegas, I said it at KD Cup, uh, I said it after your MSI, and now you're going to the Worlds. Uh, but Worlds has to be even more special, right? That, uh, uh, diff than compared to some of the other cups that you've played in. Yeah, I think like the like thing missing from my resume was sort of just like a world's appearance. Yep. Um, I think like when I was talking to Michael when we were playing in TLC, he's like, "You got scammed out of worlds in mid set and set eight and in regionals." But, like now, and you like we we're like planning on going to that's right. Each other at worlds. Yep. That's like, right. Yeah. 
in, in set eight, he was so close, and it was uh, instead Weijin that went. But uh, so yeah, let's talk about that. Let's talk about the resume for a second, Mola, because uh, did you do you happen to see the re-replay rant on the podcast? The like is replay tier one. <laughs> yeah, I did. Okay, okay. I, I'm glad that you laughed. That's we good. all did. Um, <laughs> so. We've got this established four. I think replay. I think we all kind of feel like he belongs in there by top eighting this event. Do you think you belong in there? Are you tier one in A? Oh yeah, I think I think I'm part of the big five. Okay, the big five. I I mean, we're just expanding it. I like that. I agree completely. And yeah. for what it's worth, I I I thought that like going into this event, my top five is yep. re replayed just so Sesco Wajin Malala. Yeah, I, actually, I felt confident. I actually that. put him fourth going to this event. I, yep. I feel like Malala was super underrated for no reason at all. Yep. The generation of miracles, some would say. <laughs> Only weaves really know what I'm talking about. Uh, Malala, that's actually incredible. Okay, uh, do you feel like it's just anybody's within the given five, or do you feel like... Because Bryce said on that same rant, too, said Zuko's in a tier of his own, but do you feel like it's just all five of you are the threats and anyone can win a given day and you're all equal playing field, or do you feel like there's even separation within that tier? Mm, I think, like, with some players, there's, like, more variance, but I think, like, Wajin and Dish are, like, more consistent. Yep. <clears throat> yeah, but I think like probably in my opinion, I, I always think Weijin is the best player, but uh, Setsuko just has like slightly better results. How much has Weijin helped you uh, in the course of either prepping for tournaments or even just uh, performing in them? Oh yeah, well, I mean Weijin's helped me a bunch. Like I'm pretty sure I would be like a like the same shooter I was in like Set Six. So I never met Weijin. So <laughs> that's all good. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> okay, if you were to give analogies of what NBA player you are <laughs> and what NBA player he is, Weijin. What would be the duo of Malala and Wajin Iverson right now? What's 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 the comparison? Wait, yeah, me and Wajin are Steph and KD from the Warriors. Yeah, yeah, but who's yeah, Steph? And wait who's a second. KD? Does that make does that make degree <laughs> Draymond? No, what? <laughs> Showtime. Is... I don't fucking know. <laughs> Jordan Poole actually. Yeah, I thought, Showtime, I thought Showtime was Pat Bev. No, no, no. Showtime actually. <laughs> Uh, no, I just I, I put I said that uh, Showtime is Jordan Poole because he's the most unserious TFT player out there. Wait, but... wait, degree. Are you a basketball fan? Do you have a do you have an NBA player analog? I don't watch basketball, okay, so okay. I don't really. Know. Okay. All right, <laughs> Dray Draymond, it is. No, what? <laughs> that's no way. Un yeah, unlucky. Yeah, that's rough. That's unlucky. so mean. He had the opportunity to correct the record. That's so mean. Okay. <laughs> uh, he basically yeah. Okay, no worries. Uh, so who's cl who's cl uh, who's uh, Steph and who's KD? Oh, so like the joke is that like uh, so when he was playing basketball in like high school, they they would call him like Asian KD. And like when I play basketball, they call me Asian stuff. So, yeah. Uh -huh. Wait, no one, wait, wait a second. Wait, <laughs> no that wait is a, second. a joke. Are, that is a good are joke. You, are you good at basketball? <laughs> oh, okay. So like, like I used to play in college, like recreationally. Col okay, recreationally. Oh, oh not like. Oh, yeah, man. I was gonna say. Yeah, I was like, like, what? Okay. Yeah, yeah, you bear the lead on that, but that's okay. Keep going. <laughs> yeah. And then, but like I used to play like at gyms, like a like, twenty-four hour fitness, like every day. Like, okay. That was like my so you're, you're a big pickup player. He's got the work. Yeah, yeah. Man, I kind of want to get together the TFT basketball game. It sounds fun as fuck. Although I'm really old now, but yeah, uh, I have no cardio. You, I, you I, I can, can, I can play you, a three. You guys can cast it. What do you no, mean? no, I'm fucking playing. Are you kidding me? I'm oh, gonna yeah. smoke these twelve. <laughs> Rice has got a pretty good jumper. I was pretty good at basketball yeah, back in the day. Pretty, it's been he, a while. He's got but. a pretty good jumper. Um, okay. Well, okay. Interesting. Asian Steph Curry. I like that. Um, I. Yeah. Looking ahead to Worlds. Yeah, we're gonna head to Worlds. Are, 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 are you guys gonna? Are, are you, yeah, Malala, are you gonna be able to adjust it? Cause I know you're also juggling real life schedules. Are you gonna be okay to prep for Worlds as well? Yeah, I think me and Degree are both like Cali, so it's like the time zone is kind of bad. Yep. But yeah. I, I'm gonna same. take like a few days off, probably. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. And we also have a tradition. Uh, where we put yep. all the world's players into a group and because basically you guys are the last people on the server playing <laughs> TFT everyone else is taking a break uh, so you guys we will get the group together the usual yep. stuff yep for sure yeah it's, it's like a locker room this for is, uh, for the, for the this team. is also the first time since set six that I've been like you know in, like actually being able to contribute so yeah I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, excited right. <laughs> it's gonna be fun okay all right uh we have weird yep. ready to get dragged in as well you guys uh thank you so much uh congratulations feel free to hang out can we do a can we do something like a hooray the pipe pause whatever you want uh congratulations Ooh, look at that production yeah. value My God. hello hello congratulations there to degree is. and malala we're joined by weird currently uh, uh, forsen i think we decided forsen we're joined by forsen the the hearthstone minecraft now team fight tactics legend forsen what's up man Feeling good. I, I still can't believe it. Yeah, it just yeah. I mean, you were talking about how this is just kind of the miracle run for you, uh, and you said you can't believe what's going on. Uh, but like, uh, just walk me through the process. When you realized you were going, what what were you thinking about? Honestly, like, I mean, I, I, I 
like that last game was pretty pretty high roll, but I piloted pretty badly. But like as soon as I saw like I was like top six, and I was like, there's no way, I, there's no, way I'm not going to worlds. So I was like, wait, I'm at worlds. <laughs> it's like <laughs> I don't know. I I still can't. I still can't believe it. That's that's awesome. I, I don't know what to say. I, I I love I mean I I love that you're here I love having an underdog story as part of our worlds group every time and um it's been cool to watch your kind of confidence build over the course of of the tournament right you going in you were so low on yourself and we spoke with you yesterday you were so high on yourself how do you feel about your games today outside of game six? Right, I'll be honest I think I high rolled like very hard today. Okay. Uh, the execution was not really there especially non game two, but uh. I guess it had, I guess like the luck kind of made up for like I, I executed like well enough I guess to like like play my high roll spots so so I made it I think I played much better yesterday though okay but okay I, I won't complain <laughs> and uh, does, does that motivate you to get better like um, I guess a lot of people would be like really discouraged and be like man I'm kind of like a fraud I don't believe in, in myself or whatever but like some people also take it as inspiration so I kind of want to wonder where your head's at when, when it comes to those kind of oh, situations. Uh I mean, it just means that I can improve a lot, right? So I think I like it. I can I can become the perfect hard steel player. <laughs> Amazing. Not really. Amazing. Not really. I can I think I played hard steel like all six games today. It, it was quite disturbing. Uh, it, it was it was it surprising like it. <laughs> to us that you actually played hard steel every single game because I thought that you weren't gonna play hard steel every single game. Um, but we'll see. Uh, going to the world championships. Uh, now, how, how well do you know Malala and Degree? It feels like you've been kind of adjacently related to a lot of the practice groups. I'm curious uh, about your experience with these other players you're qualified with. Uh, well, I played with Malala and Degree a bit for, for the scrim group, right? Like before regionals, a bit, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'm, I us I'm usually hopping in Malala's chats, I guess. Oh, <laughs> you're, are you Malala? A known Malala chatter? Ma Malala love watcher. Malala I'm a hate watcher. Oh, oh you're a hate watcher. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, uh, I'm the biggest hate watcher. proud. So, I don't think we got into this yesterday. Do you, is most of your TFT prep solo? Do you have other people that you work with? Uh, it's mainly solo. Okay. I mean, I type, oh yeah, I got to shout out the uncompetitive TFT server. This got discord.gg slash LFGF. Okay. Uh, I usually just type there randomly. And uh, I think, like, I think I get most of my advice from Darth, I think. Oh, Darth so Darth. you came from like the competitive TFT subreddit origins. Darth Snub my goat. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my gosh, so you were like a shit poster, and then you eventually became a TFT Oh player. no, I was a lurker. I was a lurker. Ah, okay, okay, yeah. got it, are, got it. Are you excited to work a little bit more collaboratively? Dan was just talking about, I don't know if you heard, but we always put together the group of the of the world's qualifiers from Renee, and, and usually it's a super, like, very active chat, collaborative process. Are you excited to kind of dive deep into TFT with some other elite players? Uh, I would be, but I have five midterms next week. In fact, I need to leave soon because I'm getting <laughs> on a two-hour card ride. I'm getting on a two-hour card ride, and then I need to wake up for 8.30 midterm tomorrow. Okay. Oh, my God. All right, you're going to get out of here. Uh, wait, 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 really fast, just so you know. I have yeah, written – there are two separate worlds qualifiers from today that I've, like, written formal letters on behalf of to, like, bump midterms or finals back. You can so, do it again. So if you – I have a template, so if there are any – Test like later, like if you want to take the one tomorrow, or whatever. But if there are tests later in the week, you want to see if you can move. I'm happy to help you try. I can't promise anything. Obviously, it's totally uh, up to the professor. But um, I'll be honest, I don't think that's happening oh, in my school. Oh, I okay. don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I messaged Nasser. Clear. Oh, I mean, oh, I thought she wanted to give to me because she was so th I was like, wow, she's so thoughtful. She, how did she know my throat was raspy? Uh, so, sorry, do you want to oh, share it? Oh, my God. We, here, here, I'll pour some in mine and you can have some. Uh, right, sorry, wait, I didn't, I didn't hear the answer to my own question because Dan was trying to gank my water from me. Uh, can you repeat your answer? I'm sorry that you have two water bottles, uh, No, it's man. empty. <laughs> uh, I'm just saying, I don't think the email will work. I feel like the people at the school do not care very much about student health well-being. So it is what it is. Wait, where do you go? <laughs> I'll take it. I go to the same school as Claire, University of Waterloo. Okay. I mean, isn't and it a good esports team, uh, university? Okay. Yeah, it is, actually. Oh, we're, we're the Ice cold TFT, water. That's for sure. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, weird. Good luck on your midterms. Uh, get out of here. Congratulations. Congrats. You're going to the world championship. <laughs> so happy for you. Let's get a round of applause yeah. for Forsen joining us to represent North America. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, oh, we here. do have the PP. soap. Wait, waiting and ready to go. Uh, thank you so much to the three of you guys. Congratulations. Uh, we're going to kick all three of you out so we can make room for the, the champion of the tournament, uh, Mr. Dishsoap. So, GG's, everybody. Congrats. GG's. Congratulations. Congrats, we'll be in touch soon. Good job. Yep. You. All right. So uh, do we have Dishsoap on the line? That'd be kind of embarrassing if you just kicked them all out and he's not even here. 
He's here. Uh, oh. He's here. Oh, there Hello. he is. Hello. Hello. Oh. This soap. The man of the hour. Congratulations, buddy. Let's do oh, my God. <laughs> what, 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 what's going through what, your mind? What's going through your mind, man? Talk to I us. Don't, I, I, I don't know. Like, I'm just so happy. Like, the, there's, there's not really that much else. Like, I don't know. I'm just... Just it's it's about time. Yeah, it's it about is about time. it's about fucking it's about time. time. You kept us waiting, man. Come on. Yeah. Well, why why didn't you just win a tournament earlier? Yeah, for real. <laughs> I might be, it's, it's I might hard, be partially to blame for one of those though. I am partially to blame for one of those. Why yeah, didn't he win a yeah, tournament? Yeah, fucking Nico. <laughs> you're, you're, you're supposed to hit, what the fuck? man. I just have to hit the the Z or the set or whatever, man. My bad. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's, that's his dream. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Amazing. Thanks, I'm, I'm I'm really proud of you, man. I I don't know. I, you might have been doing the interview or whatever, but I'm I'm really proud of you and. I know I'm. I'm just. I'm really glad you're happy. I hope you're proud of yourself. It's definitely been a long time. For sure. Though. For sure. You should be. You okay. worked. You've worked really hard for this. It's time for the question. Who would you like to thank? <laughs> Who would you like to thank that helped contribute towards your maiden victory? This guy flies fucking solo, yeah, man. Don't, it's Amelia don't, Earhart. Don't break an arm over there. Come on. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm. Ha I'm having so much fun. I mean, I, I did shout outs on, on the main interview. I shout out Karum, Gubom, Solus. Uh, they've been cheering me on the whole time. Even though they don't play the game anymore. Yep. I also shout out you two, Bryce and Ferdan. Oh, uh, oh sick. yeah, we, we, uh, I mean, me and Bryce like bought over last night as well. Um, yeah. I felt so good. Then, after, I literally showed up this morning. I already had my tweet canned, and I was yeah. like, I, I literally, first thing I said today when I came, I was like, I watched all six games with him. He's fucking winning. He's fucking winning. Yeah, man. he said he's peak form, peak form. Uh, did and you then, have anyone else? Yeah, I was going to shout out Kite, YouTube editor as well. Nice. Uh, oh, that's right. Been a, Okay, uh, so yesterday, <laughs> yesterday we announced that there was a website coming out uh, with TFD Hub. <laughs> However, uh, just being very candid, that is a project that is like uh, just like you know something that we're doing for for passion from our hearts, and also it's not something I'm doing like very much. I'm we're, I'm trying to just put the people in the right place. Okay. All those but people this. are going to be in motion. This is a project. This is the actual big project I'm working on as well for 2024. Yeah, the actual big project. Only Dan's 12 other big projects. M myself yeah. and Dish Soap are launching a website, a TFT website, <laughs> yeah. that we like to call TFT Academy. Wow. Uh, we have Dish Soap, the number one player in North America. Wow, we can say that right is now. such good fucking advertising. That Dish Soap, really the good. winner of North America. Thank God you won, buddy. Yeah. Oh my God, thank God you won. Uh, and myself are gonna team up. Uh, we're gonna put up a lot of great content. A lot of people don't know how to get into TFT. They also say these tier lists are outdated. Where's all this content going? We want one thing, one source of truth that's always updated. And there's always two people you know you can go to yep. who are always has their nose glued to the screens with TFT. It's myself and Dish Soap. So we'd like to formally announce TFT Academy is coming and it's going to be launching with Set 11 as well. Who gave you your legal disclaimer at the bottom? This is an official copyright language. Uh, I'm just kidding. It's good. Wait. I was oh, okay. Just, I thought you you it's did not it. Not bad. No, I didn't do it. Okay. Is it is it is it good? Yeah, it looks like you copy and pasted it from somewhere. But yeah. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. It's probably. We, 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 how, we need. How legal. original can you get with something like yeah, this? Yeah. Like, we, we need, need legal. Copy I'm just trolling. I'm just surprised that it's oh, on there, but it's okay. great. Uh, so I say my piece about it. Uh, why don't you talk a little bit about uh, TFT Academy? Uh, I mean, we've all like all of us, in like the pro scene, have always like looked kind of down on a lot of the websites available like currently. Um. We like a lot of text to that tools, but honestly, that's kind of hard to read for like newer players. So hopefully this is something that is easy to navigate. Newer players can appreciate, but pro players or like good players will know that it's not just a bunch of nonsense. Yeah. So, so the idea is you guys are trying to cover the whole spectrum. You're trying to get like the brand new TFT players and trying to create a, an onboarding experience for them all the way up through super high elo. Yeah, our hope is that uh, we wow. cast a really wide net and just make sure that we have something for you to learn about the relevant things about TFT that you need to know. Because uh, quite frankly, after observing a lot of websites, it's, a lot of them it's like very set and forgets, uh, or, or it's just kind of hard to parse because there's so much information. We want to get the really clear and uh, proper information out for you and all that content. Are you guys going to have stats too? Uh, I, I don't know. Okay. We're gonna leave, we're gonna let tactics. Well, you're not, tools you're not gonna leak the tech. Okay, okay, okay. No, we can't do stats. As far as I know, Dishop, we're not doing stats, right? No, we're not. We're Dishop no will stats. actually input all of them himself. Yeah, <laughs> like by hand. Yeah, so it, it, it's actually his, right. it's his personal stats. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's like I think bling out, bling out's like roughly a three point nine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. Um, so according to uh, Kite, who, who's also basically our partner in this, uh, it'll come out on set eleven day one with some features, and we're gonna keep developing other cool. tools. We want to do other fun stuff too, like other content, like maybe some positioning puzzles to really help people learn things like the set. 
uh, and other things like maybe even a rolling simulator help people really feel like they can get into TFT. Uh, it's not just going to be something that's just like, hey, come watch our YouTube videos and like our content. That's it. Uh, we want to make educational stuff and tools that's easy for both newcomers and returning players and Love even it. the most hyper-engaged TFT players. Love it. Uh I want to return to this fucking win, man. I'm not done yeah, talking sorry, about yeah, this. Yeah. I just felt like we could. No, he, no. He, he I mean, this is, are you kidding me? I would. How could right, you back, not back, do this here? Back over to the win. Back over to the how win. How could you not do this L here under the circumstances? Um, do you feel like you played your best TFT this weekend? Like, do you think this was your best ever? How'd you feel about your play? I mean, it's definitely the best I've ever played in a tournament. But I mean, there's still like, there's always, always, always ways to improve. Um, so humble. Uh, what, what do you think? What do you think you improved over the course of the tournament? Like, how are you be better today than you were on Friday? I think I got better with itemization. I think I got better with knowing when I should and shouldn't play reroll. Like, it's not as simple as you have item plus like the like the Senna one or whatever. It's a, it's a lot deeper. It depends on like what other people are playing. It depends on matchups. Can I ask you um, a question real quick? Sure. Can you uh, comment on the Vex game? <laughs> Yeah, the, the that was probably the in, most interesting game we saw today. Three honestly. hats. It was fucking sick. Like every step of it. So you took caretakers and you just kind of said like, "Fuck it, I'm riding with Twitch." Or, oh, I mean, I mean, my spot. Okay, I mean, I took caretakers because I could play literally any reroll comp. I think. Right. From, yeah. I, I forgot the exact spot. Uh, it was like rod tier bow. Like yep. I can do whatever yeah, I want for sure. Yeah. Um, and then I get Twitch and I'm like tilted, and then I'm like, <laughs> and then I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna like tempo in a hundred streak and like get like a fifth or a fourth. Um, and just like never not playing upgrade aboard, just staying strong the whole game. And I think the the lobby capped a little bit low, and I got really good matchups, so I was able to keep HP and get a second. When did you commit to playing like playing the Twitch, going Twitch three, playing an executioner board versus just kind of tempoing into something else that uses a shiv? Uh, two one. Oh, two one. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. Really, okay. Interesting. And I, I mean, I I am still curious like three duck caps on vex was it just like you just had to because it was what you had okay i was trying to get a morello the whole game but i got okay. grief bone belt three times in a row <laughs> so like it is what uh, it is yeah, yeah, I, I don't you, know I maybe, maybe. It, it looked but, like true biz to me it went boom if you don't yeah, put it was this, pretty good, it was pretty good. It, but the thing is disto by the way has low-key been an amazing tube tuber farmer oh, yeah. and, the, and the number one rule is always think of the thumbnail he has the thumbnail, the he triple death yeah, cap. He has non, a, non photoshopped. The three as well. death cap vex. Yep. It's pretty amazing. The man. Miss Police will not be coming for him today. <laughs> that's right. They're coming for DK. <laughs> uh, man, that's a, that's really good stuff, man. So uh, overall, um, when you when people look at the level of the World Championships and look at the level of North America, they always say like, "Hey, regionals is like the hard tournament. World's like easy." But Worlds has been leveling up as well. So uh, is anything changing in terms of your mentality when you're looking at, like, the World Championship versus North America? Or are you going to just kind of stick to your game plan and play the way you always do? I, I'm just going to stick to my game plan. I, I'm not sure if there's enough time to, like, learn how other people or, like, other regions play in general. Um, I think I'm going to play very similar to how I played during this tournament mm -hmm. and hope it works out. Uh, remind me, uh, do you have experience playing against, like, outside of, like, Vegas? Do you have experience playing, like, in global, uh, like, tournaments or against, like, a lot of different regions with different types of uh, pocket metas? Mm, not really. I, I did, like, Super Server once. Okay, that's right. Um, I didn't think, it, like, it wasn't that hard. But I just oh, never had time. Oh, all right. I, I, I didn't have, I, I didn't okay. have enough time because, I, like, I, I, was, I was in school and it started at, like, midnight, so. Yeah. Okay, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, how do you feel about the strength of North America going in? Uh, I mean, I think we're really strong. Probably best or second best. Okay. Um, I haven't... I watched, like, a little bit of China Regionals, but... Uh, like, they, they would probably be the only ones that could compete. Okay, wow. Okay, I'm down for a little bit of self-glazing here, Dish Soap. <laughs> what makes you special as a player? What, like, when you, you watch so much TFT and play so much TFT, what do you think is is that stands out as you like why are you part of north america's like but one of the best players in one of the best regions in the game world? All right. okay I, I think i have like i'm like the fastest learner okay like out of anyone and i think i have like an insanely good memory yes um, you do yes you do that'll help so I, I i feel like i can change my game plans pretty fast and like i'm usually ahead like i, I feel like i'm usually ahead of other people uh, Reed was. Okay. I think it's pretty fair to say. Yeah, yeah I think totally. I disagree. Uh, how, how are you going to celebrate tonight, man? Or uh, are you even going to celebrate? I, 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 I don't know. I'm just going to... 
Yeah, yeah VOD review, know. aren't you? You're gonna. No, 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 TFT tonight. I'm just, I'm just gonna chill. I think. Okay, awesome. I know your dad watches. Oh, that's cool. And follows alongside. Has he reached out to you? Have you, have you like talked to him already? Yeah, he he like texted me as soon as I won. Uh, I think he was watching the whole thing. Awesome. Uh, uh, he's he's been yeah, extremely he supportive. Before. Yeah, he like he he's like a he's like a Twitch memer as well, right? Like he he like knows the passes and stuff like that. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know if I want like. Yeah, L last time I like I, I showed it to you and I told you to keep it secret. Then you just no no I won't I won't I won't. That was my bad. That was my bad. I, I wasn't thinking twice. I, I learned better. He, I learned he better. He leaked Dad Soap's username. No, it's not, it's not yeah, even yeah, real. Yeah. That was his. Dude. That was his alt. That was his alt. Yeah, it was his alt. Oh, it was his alt okay. for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. If, I, if, it was, if I leaked his real account, that would have been pretty bad. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, did you see what Bryce tweeted about you, by the way? Yeah, I mean, he t he told me he was gonna uh, <laughs> tweet this like when we were voting like last night. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that's true as well. I, like as soon as soon as it happened, I was like, "Fuck all the people who are memeing this." Like, whenever you win your tournament, I'm just tweeting this. And then last night when we were VOD reviewing, I was like, "You're gonna win tomorrow. I'm gonna tweet this." Wait, so this is a year old. Well, no. This is however long ago. When, when, uh, when, did I, when was? Do you remember how long ago? When did this meme start? Uh, set, set eight. eight I think. Set eight. Yeah, it's been it's been a little while. It's time we reclaim it, Dish Soap. How do you feel <laughs> about reclaiming this? Just fuck it. Lean in. You are the best. Uh, sure. I mean, I mean, I I, I could I can like I can do it for like a bit. A bit. But, okay. uh, then it's time to get down. I, to I, don't, I don't know if it. I don't know if it's my style. You yeah. Don't, don't want to overstay your welcome. Yeah. That's true. true. Does uh does it feel good though to like I mean it, it, like do you have, you have, you have people who like almost jokingly but also not jokingly kind of harass you about your tournament. Oh stuff. my god. Like, no man, they're so they're so dumb. They're so dumb. <laughs> like Soju like, nonstop in Twitch chat the other day just harassing you. Oh man. No, no, it's fine. I, I don't care. So I, I, I know, know Soju's like know. just yeah. in good fun. But, but then, like no, yeah, as soon as I see as soon as I see a Twitch chatter type yeah. or like like anyone type ladder warrior, I just think they're an idiot. Yeah. Like, <laughs> idiot. I agree. Like you're just dumb. Pop Inter off. Interesting. Interesting. Sure. Okay. Um Man, that's uh, I, I'm so happy for you. This is the uh, best timeline. I'm I, so happy you won. Yeah, like it's actually it's so great. Um, do you think anyone else kind of deserves uh, like another shout out that you think didn't qualify, maybe didn't even make it to today, but you're like you kind of want to pay it forward, yeah, right? Who, who's next up? A in lot your of eyes. people pay a lot of like hype for you. Who do you think is like this new, next like underhyped or under uh, underrated player? Uh, let me just pull up the regionals players real quick. He says soulless, man. Yeah. I swear to God. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> pull up regionals players, man. Regionals oh, players. You hear okay, that? Okay, okay, okay. He didn't say which uh, regionals. Okay, uh, like, 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 honestly, like, like, honestly, Billy. Um, oh, whoa, Billy. Billy. I thought you were gonna say Preston. Tell, tell us more about Billy. Okay, I, th I think he's like extremely like underexperienced right now. Yeah. But he, uh, I think he has like a lot of makings to be. Uh, Wait, a good player. He, what, just, he just needs more reps on. What makes you say that? Have you watched wow. him? Are you, are you, are you just from being in his games? Oh, I mean, like he seems very, very motivated. I play against him on ladder all the time. He, I, I think he doesn't like want to follow people. I think I saw him play like executioners like three times. No one really wants to play that. Um, and he seems really, really motivated to do well. So okay, wow. wow. Cool. So he's taking the, he's taking, a, the, he's taking the intangibles. There's that's no, a wild card. No, like, he's stats, a believer. There's no like, yeah. Wow, I like that. A believer. Yes. Oh my god. All right. Okay. Uh, I think that's it for for mine. I'm out yeah. of ammo. In any final words, dish soap. Uh, not really. I feel like I've said all I had to. All right. Okay, let's get some some people applause. People applause. Some PPs One in last the chat. time. People clap. You're a beast, man. Congrats. So, so happy for you. you man. We're, well gonna, we're gonna get the group together and we're gonna get right back to work so we can uh, follow up for our second win. Yep. All right. Let's congratulations. All right. So, uh, chat say bye to Dish Soap. That's gonna be it for him. And I think that brings us to the end of the show. Wow. Yeah. That's it. Uh, we do have the world's announcement. Uh, world's is in. Let's say today is Sunday. It's like four days. It's in four and a half days. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah. yeah. So uh, Iniko's gonna leave, and instead, do we have uh, the the graphic? Instead of Iniko, uh, we have Ramblin flying in. Oh, nice. We're upgrading. <laughs> really? Wait, wait. Oh, are you guys sitting out? <laughs> oh no no, uh, no I'm, actually, I'm the big one over there uh, well if i'm sitting out how are you guys gonna turn on the tv oh, oh shit he's right yeah, he's, he's right. actually he completely he's correct. correct he can't get rid me to both of us <laughs> uh so me bryce ramblin and asa will be joining us asa is going to be kind of doing what broccoli did joining for the second half of the weekend oh. uh ram is going to be here all weekend long 
um, and we're going to be covering the entire world championship as an official observer, which is really cool because um, some co-streamers are just going to watch main broadcast, yep. uh, but we're going to be in-game, uh, clicking, memeing, shouting, hooting, hollering. It's going to be so fun. Yeah. I'm going I'm to... Do as much as I can live. I might do some of it remote. We'll, yep. You and I, you and I can have a conversation we'll about this. We'll figure about out it. what we can do. At uh, the very least, I'll be here for final day live. So uh, the thing about it is, it starts at 4 a.m. Pacific. So it's very, very early. It's going to be miserable. Most likely, it's going to be me rambling here on the couch and yeah. then, uh, some remote guests. But uh, we're going to have it all. And I hope you guys uh, enjoyed it because uh, this is just the beginning. It's just the beginning. It's going to be so fun. Yeah. Um, okay, so that's our last announcements. Let's get our final words. Start off with Mr. Iniko. Thank you so much. <laughs> Dude, this guy uh, took personal time off of work to come and cast with us. That's, oh, that's, that's not, I'm really that's touched, man. No, like, okay, I've been I've been absorbing too much glaze energy from Bryce, so get ready. No. Yes, <laughs> good. I, I just need to say, like, this was okay. For, first and foremost, obviously, super fun regionals. I think this was the regionals I most enjoyed, like, so far in yeah. TFT, uh, even more than the ones that I've played. Um, I just want to say, like, to chat, like, Dan and Bryce are so ridiculously good for this game. I feel like I, I feel like there's a very real possibility we are going to look back on TFT in the future in this special moment in our lives and be like, holy shit. Like, did we still take these guys for granted even though we recognize how much they do? Like, like with like families and like real careers and like all this shit, they still have time to like do this and go the extra mile. Like Dan, like, like above and beyond. I, I get stressed out when I don't have five and three minutes to sit down and look at the wall. Like <laughs> this guy is doing like twelve new things, launching yeah. two new websites. Yeah. He's juggling spinning plates, is what I told him yesterday. Um, but I, I I need to make sure the world knows like how much I appreciate you guys. Seriously, it's, uh, we appreciate you too. The fact that you even showed up here, man. Yeah, yeah we're not yeah. paying you a single dollar. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm glad so, to be here. Yeah, I mean, thank at the end you, of the day, you. we're friends too. I just like yeah, hanging totally out with you guys. Yeah. I wish we got to hang out more. Yeah. I wish that like yeah, yeah wish I had more time. Hopefully, uh, hopefully not the last time. Come back anytime. For sure. All right. For sure. Uh, Bryce, I mean, I'm with Nico. I think this is, uh, it's favor or second favorite for me in terms of regionals. But it's been a look. I, it's been a long time since I really enjoyed watching TFT like this. It's been since set six, and I have been critical when I have not been enjoying it because I try to always speak my mind. I think that my kind of number one guiding light is if I'm going to be on camera on this stuff is I just want to be truthful. I don't want to ever feel like I'm being anything other than my authentic self and. The nice thing is when it's good, that means I can really glaze and I can really have fun because <laughs> there's so much. There was so much skill expressed this weekend. There was yeah, so yeah, much opportunity for, sure. for outplay in decision making around macro, in execution of the lines, in positioning. There, so many people had different takes on this. Dish Soap played this patch completely differently than Malala played this patch completely differently than Degree did, than than Forsen did, than a bunch of the other good players and. It, it's really fun to see all these different people putting in all of this work and having the opportunity to actually demonstrate that in the way that made me fall in love with TFT in the first place. Yeah. I felt like, you know, this, this I, I frame it the opposite of how Milk does. Milk says everyone's bad at TFT. And he's not wrong. What he's really trying to say is this game is too hard. There's too much opportunity <laughs> to make mistakes. And so we all it make is. a bunch of mistakes yeah, in are. these games. For sure. But for me, that's what makes it so special because it's this game that has this unbelievable amount of variance and every game is so different. But if you are a monster, if you've thought about everything in advance, if you can think well on your feet, then you can have the opportunity to do something special in this game and beat someone with your mind in, in this truly beautiful way. And so I had been looking forward to this all week. I am I have not been this plugged into TFT in a really long time and I've enjoyed every single fucking second that I have spent prepping for this event, hanging out with you guys, talking about TFT in the background, watching these games. I am and the result to get dish soap, get get the fucking monkey off his back and finally be able to shut up all of the doubters who never really had a valid opinion, but it's just nice to have moved on from that once and for all. So I I'm just so happy right now. My heart is so full. This was such a great weekend uh, and I can't wait for more of this to come. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. That is, uh, I can't, I can't outdo that glaze. My God. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I think that, that Bryce summarized it very well. This is uh, my favorite regionals um, so far. So yep. far, hopefully, yep. uh, just the, the the beginning of many things to come. Uh, my last words is uh, if you guys want to watch the VODs, uh, please, if you can, there's a channel that's dedicated to VODs. So we can save all the co-stream stuff. It's youtube.com slash at FrodanVODs. We put things like regionals. We put things like any watch parties that I do for other regions, like China regionals or EMEA, which I'll probably watch tomorrow, SEA, which apparently there's some drama. we got to figure out that. A uh, lot of drama. Uh, and, and other things like Japan, Korea, even uh, Brazil, right? Right? We did Brazil regionals. Um, also, our previous co-streams, things like KDA Cup, 
up, Hearthstone Cup, and even Las Vegas, because I want all these special moments to stay around. The big thing is uh, we want to get to 1,000 subs, so that way we can get to uh, the fat YouTube partner and upload a bunch of stuff. So if we, if, if anybody is here, if you're able to sub and follow that content, we upload this pretty quickly, right? We have yesterday's yeah. uh, co-stream, yeah. and we have it up in the next morning uh, or even later that day. Please, uh, just consider something. I mean, there's like 5,000 of you. Surely we can get 150 <coughs> subs, like, right now. Like, please, just, just yeah, click. Yeah, it'd, it'd be really good. I, I believe in you. Just, just go to YouTube, Froden VOD, subscribe. Thank you very much. If you and click then, videos, it'll show you how extensive. And then uh, just tell can, two can friends. Just click the videos tab to show you guys and scroll down. Like, we All do everything. Stuff. China, Brazil. We did, oh, it's KT Social Invitational. If you missed yeah, that as well. love it. Um, so, yeah, this is all the, the different watch parties. So it, it's also another thing is, like, if Wait, you... Uh, refresh. How many subs do we get? Oh, I, I don't know. I, I bet you. I bet you we're we're like close to over a thousand. I, I mean, I, w I would like it if we could. Oh, oh, nice! Oh, 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 go, oh chat. my god! Thank you, chat. Wait, that's so wow. good. I mean, we're basically there. I mean, so. if, he, if he refreshes again, we're refresh there. one more time just for the one k. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a great oh, way to end the weekend. Clock. All right, you know what? Mm -hmm. I'm out. I'm just gonna die happy. That's fucking like, great. Honestly, I, I, that's all I really wanted. Okay, I can retire. Oh. Yep, you can. Thousand. Right. That yeah. was that was Dan's goal the whole time. Thousand subs. He's packing it up. Okay, uh, but actually tell two friends and then have those two friends tell two friends as well. We can get exponential here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and, and it's a giant TFT pyramid scheme, and then yeah. I, I just cut everyone out. Okay, <laughs> I, I, I know I yapped a lot, but there was one thing I didn't include that I wanted to include, which is I wanted to build on what Aniko was saying, which is that what Dan does, and I and look, I'm always thrilled to... Uh, anytime I get lumped in with Dan, something good is happening in my life, right? Um, <laughs> uh, but the reality of this is that there is, a, there is a support, and there is a carry, and I want to be really clear that, like, I... Dan does so much. He pulls so much weight to put all of this together in order for this product to be what it is, to work with Austin, to bring, bring people out for the co-stream, to evolve this so it doesn't stay the same. It's going to keep getting better and better because yeah. of Dan's commitment to the product. I am uh, grateful to be along for the ride, and, and we're just getting going. I mean, wait to see what Dan has in store for you when, right. we're, when we fast Whoa, forward a few You're hyping so much. I don't, I don't you will. You're going to love to it. We know. Everyone knows you're going to, man. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, we have some egg codes to give away. Oh, we have egg codes to give away. Let's do it. Oh, should we do some Spencer, egg codes? You're right. Spencer okay. in chat. All right. Uh, no, no, no. We've got to do it better than Spencer. No, no, no. The, the keyword so, is PP. PP. W Glaze. W Glaze. Oh, I like it. The keyword is W Glaze. One word. W Glaze. We're gonna give away a, a bunch of codes. One word. One word. Okay. W Glaze. Some, one word. Some, one it, word. It, someone misspelled. They they put W Gauze. Yeah. Oh, no, that's not gonna get it. W Glaze. W Glaze. Sounds like a personal problem for them. Uh, oh my god, even our editor's in on it. Okay, um, thank you so much, man. Bryce, you're a huge part of the reason why this is successful. Um, it's uh, I I'm only as good as I am because of you. I'm only as good as myself uh, because of the support I get. Uh, for my moderators, thank you, Kana, Raptor, Night Savior, uh, Folk King, everyone who hangs out all the time. I'm probably forgetting people. Austin, Austin we have to thank Austin. My producer, he's 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 so behind the scenes. He doesn't even really want to come on camera. Yeah, he doesn't ever. want to come out here for the for the, for the glaze, but, but my he God. is the brains behind a lot of the technical of how we can improve it. I just keep throwing ideas at him. And he's like, uh, okay, maybe. And then he's like, and then he's like, the next morning, he's like, I figured it out. Um, amazing Peace. stuff. Uh, but most importantly, uh, my loving wife and partner Taylor. Uh, I mean, you guys see that, like, how do you juggle it all? It's because uh, she is the big reason why I'm able to yep. do everything. Um, she makes sure that I have all of my food and support. Uh, the, the, the stream is up there and the schedule is open. She takes care of all these responsibilities. I, I, I turn off the stream and she's just like, I took care of our financial stuff. I answered, like, I followed up with the lawyers on these kind of different issues. Uh, all of our bills and utilities are paid. Like, she's yep. making sure that I can focus on this. And so it's a complete team effort. I can't take solo credit. It's really about the team. Yeah. And with that People said, clap for enough W Glaze. Let's roll it. Let's go ahead and roll it 20 times for these codes. Congratulations to Sam Iverson. Wajian. Wajian's brother. Yeah. Congratulations to Bang. Ooh, what's up? Thank you for uh, subscribing. Consta P. Raindrop777. Marmlay. Uh, Violet Eagle 7. Uh, ZH Delta. Rage Vile. Chunky the fourth. <laughs> Thanks for seven, man. KJM9198. I don't know where we're at, so we just, just keep going till we stop. King Shane. Uh Game G Win or Gwyn. Crispy Mango. Crispy Mango. Nice. Thanks for subbing as well. Long time. Scara Swags. I don't know what that means. Uh, XX, you forgot the XX. Yeah. Uh XX. Uh, Dr. Kumiho. B N D P. And Ain Gots. 
Oh, we still got one more. W H Song M S Robo Jaker and the last winner of these little legend eggs that we have. Oh my God, the eggs! Diego Nepo. He's got Thank the hot, so much. the yeah. profile picture. Well That's deserved good. winner right there. <laughs> yeah. That's very good. Give that man some eggs. Osmo Ha. All right. What uh, a weekend. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. From Frodan, Bryce, Ian Co. This has been the North American Regional Finals. We'll see you next time for more TFT action. Have a good night. Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye, chat. Woo.